Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Oh, I'm excited to be with you. I don't know why, but it feels like I haven't been here for ages. It's only been two days. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's so bizarre. And I don't. Ross and I were talking earlier on that when you do the kind of kind of shifts that we do, you don't never know what day of the week it is. No. I'm always all over the place. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking now it's the weekend, but it's not the weekend, is it? It's Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally out of sync. But what a Wednesday morning it is going to be. And we've just been ogling your kits. <gasps> They're amazing and they're so colourful. I've been waiting oh. for some colour and you've got like every colour. <laughs> yeah, well, they're premiering today. So Kumihimo discs, brand new Kumihimo yeah, discs, which are pretty. absolutely awesome. Let me show you those. There you go. Brand new Kumihimo discs, which Debbie can walk you and talk you through. They are going on pre-order, so you can snaffle yours ahead of the auction. It's coming up at nine o'clock, but make sure you grab yours. And then, look, check this out. Check this out. Oh, my goodness. An entire case full of all your beautiful colours of cords and threads. And then I particularly like these. So on trend. I mean, my daughter makes these for her friends. And when she saw me open this for my kit, I mean, she's 15, Daisy. She went, oh, and we're sat on the bed cross-legged working out colours and... I love yeah, that. Amazing. Absol I mean, take a little look at Debbie's makes. They're so much fun. And I like that about jewellery making, the fact that you can actually yeah. do it with, you know, particularly Kumahimo, you can do it with youngsters. You really can. And if you're thinking about, you know, we're coming up to the summer holidays. Mm -hmm. So just amazing. I mean, I used to get my kids to help me do the Kumahimo if I had a show and had lots of Kumahimo bits to make. Yeah. Um, I'd get the kids to help me and they'd, they'd make them. So Daisy's been doing Kumahimo since she was about 10. She's 15 now. So if if you look at the one that says Daisy on it, funnily enough, Daisy did make that one. <laughs> I love that. Um, so I just hung, um, well, she just hung the beads on there for something different. But of course, you can put them on like the breathe one to remind you of an affirmation or yeah. Father's Day is coming up. You could put dad. 
Um, you could do a dad key ring or a dad key fob. You know, I like this way of personalising because it's fun. Oh, me too. And do you know, funny enough, weirdly, yesterday, I was looking for Father's Day bracelets. Mm. Um, you know, personalisation. Just, be, I mean, I, I know that we can do that here, but you, you, it's like thirty pounds yeah, for really for like a braided. They they were paracords ones I was looking at, oh, but yeah. they're like thirty pounds yeah. for one which actually maybe has the kid's name or something like that. Well, if you get hold of the kit, you can make it yourself. Absolutely. How fabulous is that? So we have 200 of these. They are available on pre-order. Okay. And then to add to your beautiful, colourful stash, this is one bundle with the large spools. And then you've got two bundles at the front there. Um, I think these are absolutely going to fly today because it's been a long time, Debbie, since we've actually had these kind of cords. Well, it's the satin cord. So you get the sort of the thicker, sort of slightly shinier effect. So they would be really good for those sort of bracelets you were talking yeah. about if you want to do your paracord of course all of this can be used for any knotting technique yeah Macrame, kumihimo you can just simply use them to do wish bracelets plating, plating tassels anything so they're so so versatile well there's 200 of the big box the big colorful box so you can get pre-ordering on that one right now and also your kumihimo discs now also coming up at 10 o'clock we have Jake joining us in the studio for some brand new, and you're going to love these, mm -hmm. Debbie, brand new MasterCard Type A Jadeite. Um, they are incredible, and they're a bit of fun, which is what I quite like. You know, there's a lot of sentiment behind mm. jadeite carvings. You know, we've had the Pixu, the Haigu, um, we've had tigers, we've had all of those kind of things, the cross. Um, these are a bit of fun. So you've actually got um, a, a magic mouse, I shall put it. Uh, a, a magic mouse. A magic mouse. Um, the other carvings that we've got have gone blank. Why have I gone blank? A pig, a little lucky pig. Um, we've got a what? A pouch. Jadeite pouch. What, you can put things in? It just looks like a pouch, oh, like a lucky cute. pouch. Yeah, oh. yeah. Um, a fox, a cat, a tiger. Look at, look at the pig. Oh, it, he's adorable. Oh, I love the pig. Look at him. I love pigs. Pigs, so I, I. it's my mum's favourite animal, so whenever I see pigs, they always I love pigs. straight away. They're adorable, aren't they? They are gorgeous. Look at him, though. He's a cute <laughs> one. He is, isn't he? A little, 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 little well, he's like, sat there with his little snout. And adorable. Big, cheeks. big chubby cheeks. Yeah, so we've got loads of your beautiful animal jadeite carvings. Oh, that's really so A bit different to what you've actually had before mm -hmm. um, in your type A jadeites. There's going to be so much. And then at 12 o'clock, we're going to be bringing you tools, essential tools, in clearance. <gasps> some of your favorite tools. Ooh. We need the locations within the vault. We're gonna be bringing to you in a clearance uh, hour. So Amazing. that's gonna be a lot of fun. Right then, but before we get cracking, it's the wall of fame. And we're gonna be showing off your beautiful creations. It's also time for the draw. So we get to make two of you um, a little bit richer with Jewelry Maker credits. So it's the wall of fame with your wonderful creations. <laughs> Love this bit. Love, so love, love I. this bit. Now, if you've never actually entered into the Wall of Fame, it's super simple. Um, then take a photograph of your makes using Jewelry Maker products, of course. Send us a lovely message as well so we can read it out. Um, and um, you get entered into the prize draw. One of you will receive £100 credited to your Jewelry Maker account and a runner-up will get £50 credited to you. We've been doing that since we started. So generous, isn't it? I know. That's loads of money. It, it, yeah, hundreds of thousands uh, uh, of pounds uh, uh, we've that, actually given it? away. Yeah, yeah. Literally hundreds of thousands um so without further ado starting us off this morning is karen good morning to you karen you're number 318 she says good morning jm team my open uh, hematite beads arrived last week and they are gorgeous i've made simple earrings and pendants using hematite stars and hearts within the open beads simple but very effective in my opinion sold as a set at a craft fair on saturday everything is from jm good luck to all fellow waffers well i'm not surprised that they flew out the door very commercial very wearable very beautiful very low and uh, you know when you go craft fairs i think earrings as well yeah. and then you know people want things to match that's the beauty yeah. of what you can offer Absolutely. that's so lovely beautiful loving those designs 319 is <gasps> oh wow is from Yvonne. Oh my goodness. Is that Kumihimo with the, the sort of snake beads? 
Uh, yes. Yeah. Ah, I've done this. It's beautiful. Yvonne, that's incredible. She says, hi all. This is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a Kumihimo necklace using Magatama beads mm. and fancy Jasper rounds to finish off. Thanks for all the fun, inspiration, deals and the madness that makes my day. <laughs> You've got that right there, Yvonne. Uh, good luck and love to all. That's Yvonne in Sheffield. Well, that's incredible, Yvonne. I absolutely, absolutely incredible. love the colours of that as it, well. It literally looks serpent-like, doesn't it? I made a bracelet like that and it feels amazing when you're oh, wearing it. Oh, it's beautiful. beautiful, Yvonne. Loving that. Uh, number 320 is from Caroline. Morning, Caroline. <gasps> Wowzers. That's wow. In such intricacy. Hello, everybody. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's my version of Monica's Vine necklace. Hope you like it. Best wishes. Caroline, it's absolutely absolutely beautiful good luck oh and oh look at those i've got three two one and it's julie dudley hello again everyone this week my entry for the wall of fame is a pair of gold plated copper wire work earrings with seed beads <laughs> these have been snuffled up by my son's new girlfriend i know how that feels <laughs> probably the first pair of many good luck to everybody entering the draw this week love and best wishes they are beautiful i'm not surprised they got snuffled up very egyptian they are they're lovely very okay. statement mm. beautiful well, good luck to you. I've got 322, two, which is Sue got. Oh, another gorgeous pair. Love. Hi, this is my entry for the Wall of Fame. Beautiful pearls, as always, from JM. Cluster earrings with silver plated findings. It's like a timeless pet design, this, isn't it? I love that. And I've got some of these with sort of uh, natural colour pearls, and I wear them all the time. It looks a bit like a bunch of grapes, doesn't it? And the movement that you get from those, amazing. Absolutely stunning. So good luck to you, Sue. And then we've got 323, and it's Joanne Dean. Oh, I love the colours. I love all the colours today. Hi, JM. Watching Mark on Tuesday morning making colourful bracelets reminded me I'd made a purple cord adjustable bracelet with tourmaline cubes full of gorgeous colour. Mm. Good luck in the waft drawer. And that's Joanne from Lincolnshire. That's beautiful. Lovely for stacking as well with sort of silver bangles or something. So good luck to you, Joanne. They're all amazing. They're so clever. I know, I know, I know. And listen, it is time for that draw where we make one of you, two of you, um, richer in jewellery maker <laughs> credits. Now, do you want to do the winner? Oh, please. On. Go on, have a rummage. I'll have a rummage. La, 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 la. The winner, oh, oh, is number... 287. Oh, 287. Sarah Beswick. Sarah Beswick, congratulations. You're our winner this week, so you have... A hundred pounds wow. being credited to your jewelry maker account. Right, let's give it another little whiz. <laughs> I know I gave that some welly, didn't I? <laughs> good bit of yeah. good bit of welly there. Have I got one? Yes. yes. Our runner-up today is. Oh, we, did we read it? Oh no, not Nearly. quite. Ready? Number three hundred and fourteen. Susan Wright, oh. congratulations. You're our runner-up receiving £50, uh, 50 pounds credited to your jewellery maker account. Congratulations. Make sure you send those entries into the Wall of Fame. Even if you don't see it on TV and they're not done by merit, can I just point that out? We're not, we don't select which ones. Um, <clears throat> it is, they are all entered into the prize draw. So well done, ladies. That's amazing. What a great way to start your Wednesday That's morning. Very good, yeah. Right then, I'm loving, I'm loving the goodies that you've got coming up within this hour. Um, one of the things I clocked with Debbie this morning, I said, like, oh, I love your bracelets. Very apt for the eight o'clock hour, because if you take a little little peruse, a little schmooze at the tea bar, you'll see some beautiful eyelight, some amazing natural lapis lazuli, some amazing tiger's eye. Yes, that is tanzanite also coming your way. Perfect for, you know, the Ashley Clark stacker style bracelet yeah. vibe. Oh my goodness me. Also, we also have five base metal chains which, oh my goodness, we've never had chains quite like this before. Look at, look at these. I'm going to put them on separate busts so you can actually see them individually. Uh, but check these out. Beautiful, beautiful different cuts, all of which are 18 inch. Diamond cut as well, but in your base metal. That's so, so useful. Super affordable. That's really good. Now this is a big star buy. Can we pre-order on these then, Roscoe? They are on pre-order right now, and we've got a big quantity of those. You won't believe the price they're going to, honestly. One of them shouldn't be the price that we're going to. Um, anyway, so without further ado, so get pre-ordering on your beautiful chains. In fact, let's bring them back into shot so you can actually see them. Um, and also, the kits are flying out the door. I've just heard in my ear. I'm, I'm not, not surprised. 
when my husband walks in and goes, is that the kit? And I go, yeah, and he goes, oh, that's good. Isn't it? <laughs> that speaks volumes, right? Well, it just means that it's different. It's something he doesn't usually see me work with. And the colour, uh, just look it at It resonated. The... Yeah, and, I, you know, he knows that Daisy likes to make a friendship bracelets and her little bracelets with the little names on. And I've got one that says mum. And, and she, you can put your little nicknames on them. And, you, oh. you know, she puts her friends' nicknames. I'm not nicknames sure I'd want and... my nickname on mine. Oh, really? No, because I grew up going through school being called Sumoto. <laughs> I have got big toes, all right? Uh, yeah, it is. I don't fall over very often, though. And it's why I was good at ballet when I was younger. <laughs> it's like suckers. Well, think of a new <laughs> nickname. <laughs> um, OK, let's get cracking, shall we? Some beautiful... And I'm thinking of that Wall of Fame entry with the, with the pearls. Look at this Vagana. Oh, I'm literally about to blow you away on the first auction. The quality um, of this Ghana is just unreal. Oh, should we take it to a brand new low, regardless of the quality? Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it? This is why, for me, Garnet has got so much more about it than may maybe many of your other uh, red gemstones, full of re refraction. That's yeah. why you see that wonderful ricochet of light. What you, what's tickled you in the gallery? Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, you know when somebody's laughing and you don't get the joke? That's totally, that's a such a scenario. Um, oh, it was Dave's face <laughs> in the clock, was it? Okay, from Hobby Maker. Oh, okay. Yeah. For no reason whatsoever, Dave just appeared on our clock. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that for quality, though. Imagine that with some pearls. Absolutely stunning. It, I mean, it would look so expensive, a necklace, with just little pearls in between, wouldn't mm, it? Oh, yeah, just restranding it yeah. together. But, I mean, straight away, this needs no introduction. You can tell it's fine quality garnet. Totally natural. Mozambique deposits just seem to... Of all, all the colours of garnet just seem to be on a whole other scale. Wowzers, that's an amazing deal. $9.99. You've got an entire parcel here. Oh, my goodness. And much like it's been actually stranded, you could do that with, uh, with, with your seed pearls. You could use it with your seed beads. Mm -hmm. You could definitely incorporate it along some of the faceted rounds that we've got coming up as well. Definitely. I was looking for drops the other day to put on an, um, the bottom of a pair of earrings that I made. And I've just gone through all my drops. I haven't got one strand of drops. Oh. Because, and that's how much I use them. Because I use them for charms, I use them for earrings, loads. Like on the, one of these on the end of a chain. Oh. Just beautiful, like long but understated. So drops are something that I'm always running out of. And can you be, we're, Debbie, we're looking at it in its, in, in its worst possible lighting. I know. You know, Garnet loves to be seen in natural yeah. sunlight. So imagine what this is going to do with the glorious weather that we've got. It's really beautiful. I mean, even like looking here in the studio at it rather than looking at it on the recording there. We always say this, that the lights have bleached it out. But I'm seeing like yellows coming yeah, off of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pink. Totally natural. Um, never been under £10. And you recognise the quality. That's why so many of you are there. Gabrielle, Shaolene, Margaret. Uh, hello, Sue, Janet, Diane, Sharon, Alison, new customer, Diana, Margaret, London. How many do we have, Roscoe? 30. OK, that's not that many, is it? Not that many, not for a Wednesday morning when so many of you have already, already got involved. It may well be an on-screen sellout, and I don't blame you. And it think, you think it looks lovely here mm. and on the back of my hand? Mm. Wait until you see it at home. Oh, they sing. They positively sing to you. They are beautiful. Love garnet. They look so expensive. They do. Don't they? Like some strands <laughs> just look really, really high end. Yeah, that's pricey. One that's one of them. It is. Well, I mean, 20 pounds would be a good deal, wouldn't it? Well yeah. done, well done, well done. Um, tenor is a bargain. Uh, let's do some lovely tourmaline, shall we? Oh. Another beautiful, colourful gemstone. An amazing palette of pinks and greens and blues, all completely and utterly natural, of course. Um, again, we, you know, we're going to sort of, well, reference really. It's not necessarily a presentation, but we're going to be referencing lots of the big designers that are incorporating faceted beads. Uh, they really are at the minute. Big brands. And, and in, you know, necklaces instead of chain, they've yep. got these tiny faceted beads. And when I saw that, I was like, yes, I love that look. Yeah. It's fun, isn't it? It's, it's fun. not it's so pretentious. No, and it's summery and it's colourful. And then when you look at the prices, you're like, yeah, I could make something like that. At a fraction of the cost. Fraction. £6.99. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. 60 of these available. 
Ross wants to start. It's, it's natural Brazilian tourmaline. I know all those beautiful colours, and we're going lower than six ninety nine. Start joining us on the phone lines and on the website. Um, I think I, th I think I know. I think I know what Ross is going to do. It would be perfect addition to your kids. It really would because you can do your beaded kumihimo or your beaded macrame mm. designs, or you can just hang them off as, as little um, accents. Like Daisy charms. did. Like Daisy did, yeah. That would be lovely. So, yeah, you could have them underneath your alphabet beads, couldn't you? Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, in 20 seconds, it's going even lower than what is an already incredible price tag, especially for tourmaline. I think most of us will know this, but tourmaline, you should have that expectation of an investment price. Yeah. Most of us know that it is, you know, quite, um, quite a considered gemstone, especially when you've got. Look, I mean, look at the look at the hot pinks there. That's rubelite. Love the colours in this. Me strand. too. It's so pretty. It's a blossom tree. I know I was saying ah. that. It is for me this strand. I love that. I heard it. Um, I heard a blossom tree described as nature's confetti, and that stuck with me. And I love standing under, and, and then all the petals go on you. My kids are like, "Mom, you're such a hippie," but. You know, when they come, the wind blows oh, and they come lovely. down. That's what it reminds me of this time. Totally. Totally. It's slightly. <laughs> a little bit. It's, it, you're, you're, if, it, I like that, though. I like the fact that you, you always call yourself as a bit of a hippie, but that's wonderful because it means you appreciate the little things. I love life. nature and all of those sort of things and just that, you know, my son will go, oh, that's such a you thing to say. <laughs> Not sure how to take that. <laughs> that's all good. You wouldn't change it. You wouldn't change you at all. Look at those lovely colours. £3.49 only. An absolute giveaway deal. I don't know, Ross. If we could we just reference some of those uh, some of those pieces that we were <coughs> talking about this morning? Is... Yeah, let's do it. Because this would be a... yeah, three forty nine for tor Brazilian tourmaline as well. Oh wow, I'm going to get a couple of these if there's any left after. Fingers crossed, because there's a lot of people there. Sue Snaffle two. Well done, Cheryl. Well done to you, Stephen, Heather, Lavinia, Brenda's got three. Devon, Diana, Marie, Nora, hello to you, Cornwall, uh, Mary Claire, Gail, Nikki, Mary in Worcestershire. Designs like this, you know, are, are absolutely everywhere. This is the uh, biography collection, which is from Ashley Clark. Um, and would you all agree? You could make that, couldn't you? Definitely. Is the, we've got, you know, we've got different types of agates to bring you. Tiger's eye, lapis lazuli. There we go. There we go. Um, and then just a little charm on there. The reason why I always show these is because I know that you could make it. Yeah, definitely. And that's what I looked at a lot of these sort of designers this time. And you've got to look as well. It's it's gold for my. It's not it's not gold. No, exactly. And that's 135 pounds. 100, I mean, it's beautiful. I think it's lovely. It is lovely and very, very wearable, isn't very it? Wearable. But as jewellery makers and crafters and creators, you could make that within a nano... Well, not quite a nanosecond, but you could make it, it within 10 long. minutes, no, couldn't yeah. you? Um, amazing. With a little bit of know-how. Uh, hold on to those phone lines. Stay where you are. Make sure you check out your baskets right now. Let's bring you a gemstone, which I can't remember the last time I saw. It's been a while. Um, oh, Ross says that's exactly why I scheduled it because he thought exactly the same. Um, there we go, plop that in our basket, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Straight in my basket. Um, soda light, beautiful soda light. It always reminds me of my grandma's crockery. So yeah. light. Is it? Was it called the willow? No, my it. my nana had that as well, and she had the gravy boat and everything. That's she it. had it on the side. On the dresser. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and it, it's so pretty. I've got some of it now that I just took for sentimental reasons, but it does, and it all also reminds me of this of wearing it with like jeans and a white shirt. Love it. Or very wearable every day, isn't it? Pop a red and blue in there. Yeah. Really lovely. Quite nautical. Yeah. In terms of its inspiration, totally natural soda light you're looking at here, and it is all about that in to go blue i think that's probably why debbie you're thinking about your pair of jeans aren't you it's that yeah. lovely casual indigo blue um, with a pair of boat shoes i love oh, that yeah. look yeah yeah you know a little tassel on the front should we take it under five pounds there's 40 of them available super 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 versatile again all of those biography bracelets that i've showed you and there's other designs that, you know, we could, we, could st we could sit here for hours, couldn't we, showing all of different designs with beaded jewellery, because it, it is everywhere. Necklaces as well. Yeah, lovely. They're doing it where a half of it is. It's so much so, it's weird that you've got these today, that I actually went through my stash and pulled out all of my beads of this size, all of my gemstones, because I wanted to make bracelets and things, you know, for me, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Um, because I love that look. And I said, oh, what, how, what have I got? And I, I went looking because I thought, oh, yeah, that's a really good idea. How 
often do you make jewellery and it gets snapped up by your uh, your your daisy? Oh, loads. And, you know, I get, can you make this for so-and-so? And she makes, she's very good. She usually goes and raids it and makes it herself because I taught her. But, I, but things go off my wrist. Oh, I like that. And I go, here you are. <laughs> <laughs> my mum used to say to me, she was like, oh, my bras are going out, out outside without me. I used, <laughs> see, I, love, I used to steal my mum's underwear, like bras. Yeah. Bras. Yeah. Um, whereas your daughter steals jewellery. Oh, all my chain. All oh, your chain. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Well, four pounds and ninety nine pence only. Already, lots of you getting oh, involved again. Those beautiful, beautiful indigo blues. So much potential. All, you know, and yes, I've shown some more relatively high street brands just there. But even the likes of your Bulgari, your mm -hmm. Tiffany's are all working with your opaque gemstones. Firstly, but uh, your faceted gemstone, your faceted beads rather than your calibrated sizes. Um, good morning to you all. Don't be shy. Come and text in. We'd love to hear from you. Debbie and I are here um, to launch some fabulous kits in the next hour. And between now and then, we've got your base metal chains that you can pre-order. You can pre-order on Debbie's colourful Kuma Hemo kit. If you've never done Kuma Hemo, you're going to love it. Oh, you absolutely addictive. love it. I always tell this story, but I used, when I first did Kuma Hemo, it was so relaxing that I just had lengths and lengths of, of Kuma Hemo thread, and I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I just, just made, just, just loved it. it, loved the process of it. I mean, yeah. it was invented by monks, so there's something in the mindfulness aspect of it, but the colour makes me happy as well. Yeah, and it's lovely to see these colour threads back in stock, because yeah, it's, yeah. it's been a while, hasn't it, since we've actually had them. Uh, lots of multi-buyers on this one, well done. I particularly like Soda Light alongside Pearls. Oh, yeah. I think they look beautiful together. Um, Shall we do some sunstone as we've got a as we've got a hot weather appearing sunstone glimmering in the British Ooh, sunshine yeah. would be quite beautiful yeah it's going to be hot I looked at my phone this morning on Friday I might volunteer to work or just come and sit in the corner because yeah. it's air conditioned in here mm. um, 32 degrees it's too hot for me that I don't is. think it's going to be 32 degrees in Yorkshire it rarely I'm gets coming up to you then. Thirty-two I can't degrees. Nor me. I have to sit really still. <laughs> I just turn into a puddle. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and good for nothing. <laughs> Look at this beautiful natural sunstone. Little tight. Yeah. Little, where's El? Oh, she's down there and I put just a little puddle on the floor. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, beautiful little flecks within this gemstone's natural formation mean that you get beautiful adventure essence. If you love moonstone and labradorite, you're going to absolutely adore your sunstones. In fact, they're sibling stones, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and all have got this really lovely magic to them. Uh, a beautiful, beautiful nude-like colour to these. So um, imagine... Choose a colour, Deb. Mm. I thought you were going to say that one. Nice. Can I add? Yeah. Or what about this? Yes. Oh, yes. Look how it brings out the different tones in it. Yeah. Yeah. Or. Yeah. See what I mean? All of these are going to complement so beautifully. Three pounds forty nine is a brand new low. Um, tiny little flecks of magic. Love it. Hello, Patsy. Morning, El Debbie and all at JM. Debbie, I know how you feel. I lost many pieces <laughs> of my jewellery to my beautiful sisters in the past. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great compliment, though, isn't it? I love it, though, because I know that I can make it again. Yeah. So usually, you know, I'll just go, oh, here you are, and I'll make myself another one. And I just love the fact that people are walking around in my jewellery. Like jewelry? my daughter in law is literally like a um, uh, uh, walking advertisement for my jewellery. She gave That's birth lovely. in one of my chakra bracelets, which is oh. lovely. And it just adds to the whole, I don't know, story of the jewellery. It totally does. I totally get that. I get that. Um, you know, I did that, 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 that gemstone setting with Claire the other day. Yes. I was telling you this yeah. this morning, wasn't I? Um, so set a little stone, took it home. Of course, Willow's, Willow's clocked it. And she's like, ooh. And I knew, <laughs> I knew it was going to... Because it's adjustable, so it's going to fit around her little five-year-old oh, finger. Yeah. And she was like, Mummy, did you make this? I said, well, I set the stone. I'm going to treasure it forever, she said. Oh. I know, I know. And all of a sudden, I'm like... <laughs> Which one did you set? The little mermaid tail? The little mermaid oh. tail. She loves it. She absolutely loves it. So it's nice that we can do that. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of labradorite, oh, look at this. You've got 240 carats, totally and utterly natural. It's coming from the location of Discovery, Labrador, of course, within Canada. Um, a member of your... Uh, of your uh, 
Feldspar family, sorry, I went blank there for a second. <laughs> uh, Feldspar family, you actually have tiny, tiny microscopic layers within the gemstone, which trap the light. And that's what gives you this beautiful Aurora Borealis um, like uh, performance within the gemstone. It's not coated. It's not man-made, all Mother Nature's doing. Now, when it comes to things like your chips and nuggets, it's, for me, texture. Absolutely, and for me, I look at that and I think it's a lovely long strand. I just want to crochet it. Oh, nice. Because if you've got your crochet necklace, um, you're going to get the benefit of all of those lights and that labidrescence coming off of the gemstone because, you know, it's going to move and it's going to catch the light there. Um, yeah, that's what I do with it. Oh, that's lovely together. Look at that. Would you put the eye light? That's eye light coming up. Beautiful strand of eye light. I just think they work, don't they? They really do. I love eye light. It's a really particular shade of blue, isn't it? Yeah. Very rare. Purpley grey almost. That's beautiful. Maybe you might want to add some natural lapis lazuli as well. That's a gorgeous kit together, Look isn't it? That's a kit, Elle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Drawing out those blues of your labradorite. These are both coming up. Um, how many do we have available of these? 25, but at three pounds and 99 pence, they are flying out super, super duper fast. Um, Virginia, Alison, Karen, Anthony and Kay, Janet, Julie, Elizabeth, Jacqueline, Brenda, Carol. Hello, Lavinia, stay where you are, on the verge of selling out. So I'll leave that one with you. Um, shall we do some emerald? Some beautiful, when we say, when we say some, these are huge, absolutely huge. And like, much like the garnet, Debbie, yeah. just restrand that. That is beautiful. Emerald was my mum's absolute favourite stone. She loved it. Um, so I was always making her emerald things from, from here. But, you know, she's no longer with us but when I first worked here. But again, look at the, the shape of that. There's yeah. so many design opportunities. But you could put little spaces in between. You could put your little pearls, anything, really. Beautiful. You could treat them as solitaires, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you, you could. know, Because you do things like bezel, mm -hmm. uh, bezel mounting or even prong setting. Yep. You don't have to use that drill hole no, you just don't because it's to. there. No. Um, emerald, of course, it is a type 3 gemstone. So what that basically means is we should expect there to be internal inclusions. Yeah. They call it le jardin. Um, and um, often those, uh, those inclusions will aid us to distinguish the location of origin. This is Brazilian. You can kind of recognise that by those beautiful uh, sort of forest greens that are synonymous to that location. It's a parcel. Again, you've guessed we call it a strand, but for me, it's a parcel. At £19.99, and 99 pence they are absolutely huge 16 by 9 millimeters now what's that sorry the next price that we're going to crash to is not even your end price F 35 carats oh wait 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 40 carats of genuine natural emerald and we are not even stopping here. On what planet did we ever think it was possible to get hold of 40 carats of emerald for a tenner? Did any of us think that was going to be possible? Is it me, or since we've gone to the morning, have the prices gone down? Mm, maybe. Because... I'm seeing things for like under ten pounds, three fifty. It's prices I didn't see before. Yeah, I know. And it, you know, it's brilliant because people can get hold of them, and it's not a fortune at all. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even a strand like this, you know, go back four, five years. Yeah. We all agree would have been about twenty pounds. Yeah. Well, we showed you it was twenty yeah. pounds. Now, as if we're going lower than nine ninety. That's what I mean. But, but more often than not, though, as well, certainly within this hour, we can't replace them at oh, some of the prices that you're about. How many do we have of these, though, Roscoe? A hundred? Oh, I was about to say it's a clearance. But there's a hundred, so that's not, not true. It's not clearance. <laughs> <laughs> it's not clearance. There's a big quantity. Oh, goodness me, as if it's going even lower. Those of you that haven't yet dialed, maybe you're rubbing your eyes thinking this can't be, this can't be right. <laughs> can't be right. Surely that's an admin error. I'm going to get a phone call from Jura Maker saying, saying we've fluffed up. No, no, no. $7.99 for 40 carats of Brazilian emerald that's in amazing. a Marquise cut. That's amazing. And if you've got an anniversary, what, which anniversary is emerald? May. Yeah. And so, you know, 
and you want to make a present. And the trouble is, if somebody's got a very expensive I mean birthday, gemstone, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. So if someone's got a, an expensive stone for, as a birthstone, you know, like diamond or emerald or ruby, you can still make the I present. Know. That's really cool. I know. I know. My, my auntie, much like your mum was saying to me the other day, she was like, emeralds are my favourite mm. stone. So it's nice to be able to give them, isn't it? Hello, Kayla. Hello, my darling. Morning, gorgeous ladies. Those emeralds are lush. Got yeah. two, very happy with that price. Absolutely, yeah, well good. done to you. Um, you're not alone, by the way, Kayla. Quite a few people have multi-bought. Janet, Gabrielle, Cheryl, Alwyn. Hello to you, Brenda, Margaret, Virginia, Kayla, uh, Alison, Maureen, Hilda. You've got yours. I've got Christine, Lorraine, Lorna, new customer, Tracy, new customer, Julie, Hazel. Make sure you check out your baskets. We had 100, but they're gonna fly out. Um, you know, one thing I haven't mentioned is the fact that a Marquise cut is, is known to be one of the most expensive because it is one of the most wasteful. Oh, right, yeah. Seven ninety nine today, though. Seven ninety nine. That's brilliant. Mm, isn't it just? I know it's a bit. I, I, now you've just said that. Absolutely. It does seem to that our prices are always amazing. I, I mean, think. I don't know if it's because I didn't see uh, these clearance hours because I often worked in the afternoon. I don't know if, if that's it, but. I've seen some prices that I think that I've never seen before, no. since, you know, recently. Yeah. Or maybe it's nothing to do with being in the morning. Maybe it's just some, what we're doing. But really, like, affordable. Like, you can really build your stash up. And it, I like that because I that mean, means everyone gets a chance. Well, I mean, they're not even... They're not plastic or glass. Exactly. That's genuine emerald. Hello, Angela, saying silver emerald bracelets were my biggest oh. sellers waiting for my strand in the post. Well, I'm not surprised no. by that, Angela. Because, again, it, it's like sapphire, rubies, diamonds, mm. precious metals everybody has that perceived value don't they absolutely and i just think to be able to get an emerald strand for 7.99 and you can see it's emerald yeah i mean if you're in the know you can tell that's emerald it's totally totally and, and i love brazilian emerald because it actually has those patterns you know why don't we celebrate it with turquoise yes we celebrate it with how yeah why wouldn't we celebrate those markings with uh, with this gemstone? Yeah, I think and it, it adds to it. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. And it's lovely when you actually see an emerald with uh, with a certain amount of clarity. Do you notice I don't say eye clean clarity because they very is, rarely are. No. Yeah, um, but I actually really like those kind of opaque, beautiful uh, patterns that you see within Brazilian emerald. Well done. I've got to move on. Congratulations. Now we've got four one hundred centimeter strand, but Every single one of these are single figure quantities. Now I'm going to start with nephrite jade. Single figure quantities. Those of you, oh, I want this strand. A hundred centimeters, it's graduated. Oh. Look at that color. Would we all agree that's spinach green? Well, oh. spinach green is a terminology that you use with nephrite and it bears as much significance <coughs> as imperial does to jadeite. Both nephrite and jadeite, well, they are jade, basically, mm -hmm. um, and both bear huge significance within Chinese history. This is actually the original jade, because uh, nephrite is far older than jadeite actually is. You can tell the difference because it tends to have a much more spinach-like color. Mm. And also they describe it as like a waxy luster. Yeah. So it's got, it, it, it tends to be a little bit more lustrous on the exterior of it. That's all completely and utterly natural. Just imagine that in a Marla necklace. That's what I was thinking. Definitely oh. a long Marla type. Beautiful. Necklace is stunning. I bet you get a bracelet out of that as well. Yeah, probably. And the fact that it is a metre long length tells me I'm going to multi-buy to actually make that Marla no, sweet. No, no. I've got more than enough here. It goes from three millimetres right the way up to the six millimetres. So you've got that perfect graduation. Now, for 250 carats of natural... This is that millennium, millennium jade. Do you know why I call it the millennium jade? Well, it's not me. Um, it's because this was considered to be one of the most significant discoveries um, of jadeite throughout history. Here we go. Although Chinese nephrite prices received little attention for many decades, since the rise of China's economy in the 1990s, the original jade, which is what you're looking at right now, has appreciated tremendously. As of 2014, the world's auction rec record for jade is held not by Burmese jadeite, but by Chinese nephrite. You're looking at nephrite. 
right now. There's the piece I was just describing. That's a mutton fat or imperial uh, white nephrite carving. Notice again, level of opacity. You've got the, the, the different color tones within. Look at the price tag that it fetched actually at Sotheby's. There was only ever, how many? 16. And I've got four of them left. <gasps> At, a, at 699 pounds, you can get that home. You can get that home today. Oh, okay, I was gonna say for 174 pound on split pay, but no, we're not even stopping there. Can you imagine, this is the type of piece that I can imagine seeing at Sotheby's in the future. Don't forget as well, those of you that tune in regularly, that email that was sent to us by Dave Troth, um, one of our amazing gem experts here at Gemporia, um, when he actually clocked that Ross and I had um, some of this, some of this parcel. It's the same parcel. And he, and he emailed both Ross and I and said, guys, just seen your strand for tomorrow's birthday deal. Uh, this is a new mine of Burmese nephrite. Country of origin doesn't really make much difference. Originally, this was being sold as jadeite because it's so translucent. Ess essentially, this is the original jade from the new mine. I've just looked through them all. You've got spinach green color and it's natural. Spinach green to nephrite is what imperial green is to jadeite. We could never dream of bringing you in imperial jade and i don't know if we'll get the chance to get this grade again you are sourcing canadian millennium jade and today you can get hold of it for 149 pounds there are just two of them left within the vault and i've got a few of you on the phone lines and also on the web it will possibly be the last time that you see that well done though um, remember single figure quantities of each of these strands i'm going to do tanzanite next I don't think I've ever said this next sentence, Deb. <laughs> Tanzanite and Amala. Um, yes, please. It's my birthstone. Oh, you need it then. I do. I need it. First one's gone. There are six of these. <gasps> Look at that colour from that distance. That is <gasps> stunning. When you can see how, how vanadium rich the blue is from this distance, you know you have fine quality Tanzanite. These are faceted rounds, yeah. Oh, wowzers. That's gorgeous, Debbie, isn't it? There's something a bit celestial about this colour, isn't there? It's a bit oh. magical and, yeah, it just, I mean, I think that it would lend itself to a mala or a rosary link. Oh, or, of course, you can make a suite of jewellery if you're not into those sorts of designs. You've got absolutely loads of different sizes within one strand, which is so useful. Oh. How about adding the highlight mm. as well? Yes, or some please. pearls in yes, there. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I want this strand. There are five of these available. Again, yes, your four Cs, but tanzanite colour is the most important. It's not pale, it's not wishy-washy, it's not insipid. It's got that wonderful presence of vanadium, and that's what giving, is giving you that, um, that wonderful blue. Remember as well, very peri is the Pantone colour of this year, of 2022, and we might as well have just described tanzanite as a yeah. gemstone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, tanzanite blue, because that's basically what it is. £129.99. 99 pence for a full meter of faceted graduated tanzanite rounds if this doesn't go i'm going to get these i'm going to get hold of these take a little look here we go there's the pantone color of this year very peri there we go notice that it's a it is a fusion of blues and purples now take a little look at your gorgeous uh, your gorgeous tanzanite strand mm. would, we, would we agree yeah, that one They're literally the same color yeah. the final two of these it is very peri. There's one left. Oh, no, Deb. We, do, we, we, could, we could imagine that piece of jewellery. And it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Uh, please send that piece, if you do make that, into the Wall of Fame. Well done. Next up, sapphire. So we've gone from your birthstone to mine. Ooh. Oh, is your sapphire? Oh, yeah. Lovely. I'm a September baby. Ooh. A direct result of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, here we go. And of course, sapphire comes in a multitude of colours. But still, the most iconic, I think many of us would, would agree, is that, that beautiful, beautiful blue. I love this. I love the fact that, it, you know, fast, uh, you think sapphire, and yes, most of us will think about the Royal Engagement Ring yeah. and, say, Elizabeth Hurley's collection. Yes. Yeah. But again, it's, it's lovely to see these gemstones being incorporated into your traditional rounds and yeah. your rondelles and things yeah. like that. Because, you know, affording sort of 
highly faceted eye clean sapphires is out of most people's budget. Yes. And also, you know, maybe you know, I'm not into too much blingy jewellery. That's not really my thing. I'd prefer something a little bit more organic. So this kind of sapphire strand for A little personally, bit more boho chic. Exactly. I prefer this for my personal style. Yeah. Um, I just like the colour of it. I think it's very unusual blue and so wearable. It will go with anything, really. And durable as well, given yeah. it's sapphire. It's nine on the most scale, so you could wear this on a daily basis yeah. without even worrying about it. That's completely and utterly natural, by the way. So no enhancement, not diffuse, not fissure filled. Um, goodness me, wow. Straight down to it, £129.99. But do you know many people that own 255 carats of natural sapphire? I <laughs> know. I certainly don't, other than our lovely jewellery maker viewers, potentially. But 255 carats, imagine that going into one amazing piece of jewellery. Yeah, that's amazing. It's impressive, it? isn't it? It's going to sell out. Well done. Now, the final of your metre long lengths is... I can't bring you tanzanite and sapphire and emerald without maybe including your ruby. I love this. So for all of you July babies, as if that's next month. That's Where's this my year son, gone? My son's a July baby. And Willow. Oh, look. Also, all the beaded jewellery that we've been talking about, oh, discussing, that. that's amazing quality. Look at all the different colours, like all the different... I don't know, I can see purples and pinks yeah. and plums and reds. Oh, it's stunning. I love this strand. When we, when we aspire to ruby, most of us will think about that real... Mm. That, like you said, it's a glowing red, isn't mm. it? Where you actually have the flashes, the secondary hues of pinks and purples coming through. Totally and utterly natural. Would you use this with a tanzanite? It would be beautiful with a tanzanite because look how it brings out like that, that colour oh. that we were talking about. You know, that purple. So, oh, imagine that together. That would be gorgeous, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, I love that. And maybe some round pearls. Yes, please. I know, that would be absolutely beautiful. Well, you know what to do. Remember, there's only single figure quantities of each of these. Right now, we're talking about the king of gemstones, your beautiful, beautiful ruby. Also, don't forget, we've got your master carvings, brand new master carvings coming up at 10 o'clock today. Um, so the little pig, the fox, you've got the, the little mouse in there and also the little, uh, little lucky pouch. Yeah. Um, so how beautiful would they be suspended from a string, a rope of ruby? Oh, I know. Yeah. Red and red and jadeite just goes perfectly so, uh, together. Is the jadeite? Can you put it for jewelry? Yeah. Can you? Mm, they're oh. all drilled. Oh, I know. I so love you that idea. Your lucky pig. I like the lucky pig idea and the lucky pouch yeah. as well. And then having like a rope of gemstones. Yeah. Oh yeah. How about a rope of rubies? Yes, please. Now it's the last of your hundred centimeter strands. They've all got single figure quantities. I think I know what he's going to say. The last one before your early bird, those beautiful base metal chains. Shall we take it even lower for natural Indian ruby? The glow, that wonderful presence. That's how many we have left, though. Straight down to six. Well done, Virginia. Today, we're not even stopping at £129.99. There's Sharon, Carol, Maureen and Elizabeth, and those are the names that I can see. There may well be more on the phone lines. £99.99. Do you remember when we first launched uh, sort of strands, Ruby rather, they were like, what, 25 centimetres? Yeah, little ones. Little right? ones? Yeah, they were. Now, look, now... You're getting a full <laughs> metre of it. A metre of Ruby. I know. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, it's just 200 carats of ruby that I've got here just wrapped around my genuine ruby. You know, let's not get complacent here. Look at that. What a head turning piece of jewellery oh, that would be. And people will ask you, what's that? Oh, I love this. Oh, it's ruby. 200 carats. I really ruby. like this strand because I'm seeing the lilacs coming off it. Yeah. You know, the different colours. That's what I love about it. £24 you can get, £24.99 on split pay, 0% interest, four of them are left. Oh my goodness, you're going to have to start checking out your baskets. Powis, you've just got yours. Uh, I've got Lorna, Brenda, Eleanor, Sharon, Carol, Maureen, Elizabeth in Suffolk, and I've got people on the phone lines as well. What are you going to do? Oh, Virgi uh, who is that? Brenda, you've got yours as well. Well done. Well done, lovely. Uh, what are you going to do with yours? Turn them into simple stretchy bracelets? Are you going to braid it? Are you going to incorporate it into Debbie's awesome kits? Mm. Are you going to marl and knot them? All of the above, absolutely. All of the above. 
I've got one left with seven of you with it in your basket. So for those of you that actually have multiples in your basket, there isn't that quantity, I'm ever so sorry. So good luck, good luck, good luck. Um, make sure you do check them out. Beautiful, beautiful quality. And uh, like Debbie was saying, you can see the violets and the presence of pinks within. 200 carats, approximately, wrapped around my wrist just there. That's oh, pretty lovely. awesome, isn't it? I'd love to get that through the post. <clears throat> Me too. Right then, it's time for your early bird. Don't forget you can pre-order on Debbie's amazing kits coming up in the next hour. Are we doing the chains? The two mils first. You can pre-order on the chains as well. So take a little look at this lovely uh, selection of faceted. Two stroke three mils, I'm going to say, because mm. we've got beautiful natural lapis lazuli, natural uh, iolite, and tiger's eye. Now, there is one tanzanite and one ruby left of those uh, meter long length strands. So those of you that have that in your baskets, good luck. But up, ne up next is your early bird. Sorry, we're I was just, just doing the early bird song, but we were making it up. Yeah, I think ours was far, far more. Uh, yeah, it was far more relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about something we've touched on. Um, how the gemstones that you've been working with for prob I don't know whether it's six months, one month, or whether it's uh, it's twelve years or even longer. Um, isn't it wonderful to see lots of the big designers actually working with those same cuts? Yeah. So not just your round brilliant cuts and your ovals and your trillions mm. and, um, and your pairs, not those calibrated cuts, but using strands, mm. shapes exactly like this T-bar. And take a little look, and it got me sort of cherry picking a few out of the various different PowerPoints that I've actually brought to you over the years. This one will go down in history, and I think our kit team actually... Uh, put together a, um, a kit actually designed around that photograph. That's beautiful. It's amazing, isn't it? And it's what, right angle weave? It looks it. Right? Yeah, it looks it. Something like that. It's um, like a capriccio bracelet, what we call in seed beading. So you could do it with seed beads or micro faceted. And it is basically an um, altered right angle weave. It's stunning. Can you imagine that with lapis lazuli? Oh, yes. Can you imagine that with iolite? Yes. Or with tiger's eye? All of it. Um, we also spoke about nice little charms uh, from the biography collection from Ashley Clark. There we go. Literally alternating this mm. cut mm. with a precious metal spacer bead. I absolutely love that look. Me too. I think it's so beautiful and you can just stack them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Arm party. Just like that. Yeah. Just like that. It looks very much like your wrist. Literally yeah. layered up, beautiful gemstones. Yeah. There is actually a, a bracelet that you, I saw that... that um, on the on the screen <laughs> this is like a homage to jewelry making my wrist <laughs> um here look this is garnet and it's very similar oh. to that photo there where you just take the gemstones that mean something to you like this is my granddaughter's birthstone these are the little um i don't know if you've got the little um lotus yes i love those so i pop those on and then i've just put sort of sterling silver spaces a moonstone amazonite and i swap them depending on what i feel i need on that day so i've got amethyst ones i've got all different ones that's gorgeous um, and i just pop them on and i just stack them so them yours on. like stretchy bracelets or a mixture of beaded bracelets stretchy bracelets? all of the beaded ones are stretchy yeah. because i just i find them very comfortable to wear and i yeah. wear them like that there with chain bracelets and with bangles that i've that i've made with with metal smithing well look here lapis lazuli and i'm about to bring you lapis lazuli as well within your early bird i mean look how lovely that is that's again Stunning. just gorgeous to fall over the wrist line look at the lapis lazuli in fact i'm going to say this and yes i know that you you might go with favorite isabel because you know jewelry maker but i think you'll all agree i think our lapis lazuli is better quality mm. than what you're seeing in this photograph because that is natural color yeah. there's no dyeing or anything like that it's all natural color so you've seen ashley clark there's a few other designers that I can show you. Written about, here we go, within the jewellery editor. Weaving keshi bills and gems into works of art. Um, you can see it there. I mean, I'm not necessarily, you know, weaving tiny keshi bills to produce a unique mesh-like effect. You can, uh, so many of our jewellery makers are working um, with these wonderful techniques. It's been written about now within the jewellery editor. Um, again, have a little look. You can see this, you know, those little drop shapes at the bottom. I mean, how often have you seen strands like that? on jewelry maker yeah 
loads and loads of times. Um, again, look at that, little tiny seed pearls. You can see literally cre creating a casual twist and you've got little green rondelles as well dotted in between. This is all out of, that was all out of uh, the jewellery editor. Um, uh, Estella Bartlett, here we go, using lapis lazuli, as you can see, little choker style necklace. Um, and then this, rosary linking. How often do we talk? That's on, I recognise the writing. That's on, uh, not on the high street. So it'll be wonderfully, that'll be a, um, an individual business. Good. Um, but what was that, £156? Green micro faceted quartz and a single pearl. Look how beautiful that is. That looks a bit like your bracelet, It's actually. very similar. And then we're back to your Ashley Clark. And also, uh, Monica Venada, whose story I really like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is doing it a lot in necklaces yeah which is lovely. so instead of a chain having just these smaller gemstones and i love the look because you bring in the color yeah and i love bringing in color well that is if you want to make stone. that that by the way bear with me a second if you want to make that look hang on i'm just going for one in particular chain ah oh, she's here we go. I'm just going to take some of those chains off the bust for a second. Imagine. Oh, yes. And they do different versions, different colours. There we go. You get the idea. Yeah. Yeah? Add your charms of choice. But you're probably going to be able to make that multiple times over. This is totally and utterly natural, exquisitely faceted um electric blues you know we talk about lapis lazuli for me it is literally the the mask of tutankhamun you think we should be it should conjure up Im images of sort of uh, um ancient egypt of course cleopatra this is a firm favorite her gem uh, firm favorite gemstone of hers but it is all about that wonderful electric blue now you can dye lapis lazuli to get that wonderful um beauty however this hasn't undergone any uh, any dyeing process now it's your early bird so you can bet your bottom dollar that we're going to bring you an amazing early bird price tag how many do we have though roscoe remind me a hundred of each of these uh, of these faceted strands so again same applies imagine using this with your tiger's eye imagine using this with that beautiful eye light um to be inspired by the cuts that we are seeing written about in the jewelry editor mm -hmm. on all of those big brand names that we know lola rose ashley clark monica venada misoma you know i could go on and on and on 14 pounds and 99 pence for 20 carats you've got a slight graduation to this we're not stopping there but time is ticking by you've got that awesome imagine this with debbie's kit and kumahimo exactly the sort of of uh, gemstone you could use and the size would be perfect should we take this under 10 pounds oh yeah <laughs> we're not even stopping at 9.99 there are a hundred Imagine that beautiful woven cuff bracelet with lapis lazuli. I think you're going to find in the coming months that you will, your jewellery makers will be like myself, going through their stashes looking for this size of gemstone because you're going to have loads of different <coughs> ideas. You're going to see what's coming out, you know, in retail, especially if you make sell. Or like me, I think I love that bracelet. I'd like one like that and I make it for myself. I know yep. I'm a jewellery designer, but I love jewellery. That's why I do it. Mm -hmm. So I make for myself and my friends and family a lot. And I think you'll find you're going to be looking in your stash for these gemstones. And if you don't have them, this is a tar I don't know what this is going to, but this is a very good time to, to get them. Well, not £135 for that, for that lapis That's lazuli I mean. piece. You could make that probably three times over with this strand. Yeah. We're at 9 99 but we're going even lower. That's amazing. For natural, not dyed, totally natural. If you wanted to make that cuff, you probably need to multi-buy on it, obviously. In three seconds, I think these are going to absolutely fly out the door because so many of you have chosen not just to get them one, but to get twos, threes and fives. Um, I don't blame you for that. Natural lapis lazuli of this quality, £7.99, pence, which takes me back to the conversation, Debbie, that we were just having. Mm. The prices that we're bringing for the quality of the gemstones just seems to be getting better and better and better. Yeah, and like when you look, like I've had a look at some of these bracelets that I like online, and I looked at one the other day, and it was turquoise, and I went into the small print and it said dyed turquoise, yeah. colour dyed turquoise colour oh so, so it's not even no, a gemstone so it's not even and it was over 100 pounds so, yeah and also if you want to do your seed bead designs where you'd usually put your bicones or you'd usually put your fire polish beads because obviously you might need 200 um, and you know two you think or oh, 200 lapis i couldn't afford well in this case with these sorts of prices you can substitute those things 
for actual gemstones. Yeah. So see how many you need in your pattern and then buy however many strands are, are going to fulfill that number. So say for the bracelet that we saw at the beginning, like the Capriccio bracelet, you'd probably need all crumbs about 200 or something like that. Okay. Which is usually that you'd think, oh, I can't do that with a precious gemstone because it'll be too expensive. But prices like this, you could. Well, you probably could, yeah, because even if we said that's what, three or four of this yeah. strand, yeah. That's not unachievable, is it? No, and if you think how much you would have to pay to pay. buy it. Now, oh. Oh, this one's lovely. It, it really mm. is lovely. I like, I think it's one of the most, I don't want to say underrated because it, it can be hugely expensive. Mm. Um, but it just doesn't, it's only because it's not as well known as the likes of your sapphires and your uh, aquamarines and your tanzanites. Mm. Um, why isn't it as well known? Why isn't it as heavily marketed as those other blue gemstones? Well, simple, there's not enough of it. It's very, very, very rare. Um, and like Debbie just said, it has one of the most distinctive blues. Yeah, it does. It's also massively pleochroic. So you might look at that and go, oh, it's a pretty blue gemstone. But actually from different angles, Say you're looking at it from a 45 degree angle, you'll see greens, you'll see pinks within there. Um, it was actually a gemstone, and I was watching uh, Pirates of the Caribbean last oh, night yeah. randomly, um, very random. But this was the original. Uh, this is how the sailors used to uh, used to literally navigate across the vast oceans. Totally and utterly natural, beautiful eyelight. Nobody is going to pay the first price crash. Now I can't do an eyelight showcase. We don't have enough firelight within our vault. We could do sapphire. Probably couldn't do tanzanite. Could possibly do aquamarine. I couldn't do eyelight for sure. We're not stopping at 9.99. Now imagine that bracelet. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Oh. Just one pearl. Uh, maybe you've got a pearl left from a strand that, you know, you, I often get sort of single pearls or a couple of pearls from different strands left yeah. over. Um, just pop the great way to use them up and pop them in the middle of one of these oh, like that piece. strands. Yeah, like that piece. Like that, yeah. that, that green like that. microfaceted quartz mm. with one single pearl in the centre. Yeah, it's a great way to use up, you, you know, your pearls if you've got some little, little lonely ones sitting in oh, your drawer. we can't have lonely pearls, <laughs> can we? We're not even stopping at 9 .99. I like again, it's a beautiful, very distinctive gemstone. Um, it has almost like a more of a steely like blue mm. to it, I suppose. But then you don't just think it is one solid colour. It's got masses of pleochroism, and one of the most pleochroic gemstones that actually exists. You'll see this wonderful uh, flash of pink, beautiful greens, full of fire. Because even in that recording that you were just seeing, it, at the back of the uh, uh, sort of turntable, can you see those dispersions of fire? Mm -hmm. That's down to the quality of your uh, of your clarity within this strand. Six pounds and ninety nine pence, and there are tons of you there. Uh, I'd love to know what you're going to do with this. You're going to turn them into tassels. You're going to do things like your big cuff beaded bracelets. You're going to go down the sort of Ashley Clark and Monica Veneda and Misoma like route. Um, are you going to go? And you know what? Go back to the jewelry editor art article. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, you know, like mm. I've got what a couple of these bracelet busts mm. and I've got like two completely full of my stretchies in different gemstones. And I think at prices like this, that's not that indulgent. So you just basically, whatever goes with your outfit, whatever you feel in that day, you can just pick off your stretchy and make an arm party. An arm party? Mm. I want to have an arm party. Look at that, just little t finishing touches like this, like our lovely Alan Sue has done. Oh, that's beautiful. Just a couple, literally mm. suspended to create that little je ne sais quoi. Mm, that's now imagine this in exactly that same technique with your beady beads um, in your eye light. It's going to be absolutely stunning. This is very, very, very popular. I'm going to be finishing now with, uh, uh, with the tiger's eye again. All the big designers working with Tiger's Eye. Also, we know it is the year of the tiger. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> uh, very poignant in terms of those of you that if you uh, are into your crystal healing and things like that. Um, it's a gemstone of courage. It's believed to um, bring your own self-confidence forward as well. Um, but I love it because, again, it's got full of chatoyancy. It's quite powerful. It's very unisex. Very unisex. So you see a lot of gents designer jewellery with this gemstone, don't you? Thomas Sabo. Yeah. They love it. Always using it. Always. In fact, they've used it for the past probably decade, yeah, I would they say. Have, yeah. Not stopping there. 
not even stopping there. And because these are actually smaller, I think gents might gravitate towards it. Yeah, especially if you're thinking, well, I like that my dinner if I'd wear it. A small one, you've just got that hint of colour. You can wear it with a watch. Can yeah, you? yeah, definitely. All 100 of these are going to sell out, says Ross. Why, are you going to do something extra naughty, Roscoe? <laughs> Don't forget you can pre-order on your beautiful base metal chains. Um, we're going to do that at the end of what? The next hour, okay. Um, and you can pre-order on Debbie's amazing kits. They're coming up immediately after this, uh, the break after this auction. Uh, not at 9.99, but def uh, we're going even lower. So something that, sorry, I get my words out. I don't know what's wrong with me all of a sudden. <laughs> something that will work perfectly alongside Debbie's kits. Kumahimo. Mm, lovely for macrame oh, as nice. well. You know, like if you want to do a macrame sort of cord bracelet, Father's Day, that would be really cool. Very cool. And again, that cuff style bracelet. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> I know. Wait until you see this. Oh, wow. That's so. Oh, okay. For that's Tiger's really Eye. That's amazing. That's so good. Again, all the big brands work with Tiger's mm. Eye. You know, your Gucci, your Liberties of London. Yeah. Thomas Sabo, Piaget, they're all working with this beautiful gemstone. Why? Because, oh, I mean, it, it's that chatoyancy. It's magical, isn't it? Tiger it's Eye? another magical gemstone, isn't it? I mean, it's something that is a talking point. Most people recognise it as yeah. well. Yes. Um, Willow always calls this, ah, funny enough, how our graphics has spelt it, Tiger Eye. <laughs> it's actually Tiger's <laughs> Eye. Uh, but yeah, my five-year-old goes, oh, Tiger Eye. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it does have that same almost like, how they stalk their prey, the movement of the eye. It's Eyes, just majestic, yeah. isn't it? Totally natural. So many of you there. Are these going to be simple, stretchy bracelets? Are you going to rosary link them like those little pearls that we showed you? Um, are they going to be spacer beads? Or are you going to be weaving them as an alternate, uh, alternative to your, uh, to your seed beads? I mean, like, like Debbie said, I, I, yeah, it's the kind of strand that I literally rummage for and have done actually for the past few years. Yeah. And, you know, certain things go quicker than others, don't they? And mm. Like unisex jewellery, I tend to use this and like a, maybe a dull black onyx. Oh, nice. Um, if I'm doing gents jewellery, together with my cord or my leather. Um, so I think for, again, I know it's Father's Day, but, you know, it would be wonderful for that. You could even put it on sort of keychains or if, if they don't wear jewellery, you can you can make a personalised keychain yeah. or, you know, anything like that to go Book on the car mark. keys. Bookmark, anything like that. All those things, Four ninety nine. well done. We only had a hundred, I say only, there was a hundred, uh, but they're not hanging around again. Lots of you choosing to multi-buy on this one. Four pounds and 99 pence. Um, you could do something beautiful, very feminine, actually, like, like Anne and Sue have done here with your classic beady It's lovely, bead. isn't it? Well, that's the beauty of a three mil round. If you want to make it bigger, you can. That's true. Those ladies are so clever. They are, aren't they? That, the jewellery they make is so beautiful. And they, and, and they make so much. Yeah, all the time. And they're always coming up with just beautiful designs. I know, I know. Clever ladies. Clever ladies. <laughs> they sit in, they sit in, the, they've got their own lovely little office surrounded by beautiful treasures. Um, well done. Now, the last chance for you to get hold of these kits on pre-order. Um, this one is absolutely flying we had 200 um yeah i think they're going to be an on-screen sellout it's absolutely amazing and you've also got the little alphabet uh, letters just down mm -hmm. there um also brand new kumihimo discs coming up as well so that comes in with the kit it's complete yes oh awesome i thought they were I think so oh yeah, yeah. Comes oh, awesome. So if you get this, then you're getting your Kumi yeah. Hemo discs as well. And we've got a couple of extra bundles in your cords as well, which is slightly different. So what I love about these, they're all different cords. You've got your very yeah. high shine, you've got your finer gauge, and then you've also got more of a, um, like a softer, yeah. a softer fabric. Um, all coming up with Debbie in a very short time. Pre-order yours, don't go anywhere. And likewise on those beautiful selection of base metal chains. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. 
Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, jewelry. Oh, this is going to be a busy hour, Debbie. We've got some good things. I'm loving your jewelry as well. It's oh. nice to see Kumahimo back, isn't it? Isn't it? And I just, I love a bit of Kumahimo, and I have been saying to them for a while, oh, you're going to bring some Kumahimo back? But, you know, I didn't think I'd get it. I got it. Yay! Oh. Happy dance, happy dance. Happy dance, happy dance. Do. <laughs> uh, Susie's little happy dance is like this, but um, Adam was saying I look like I'm milking a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Poor cow is what I'm going to say. That would be a tall cow, though, yeah, wouldn't it? Tall, yeah, very tall, very, very tall. Um, just before we dive into your kits, which are already flying on pre-order, can I just show you these amazing, amazing necklaces that are coming up within this hour? Now, there's different designs. Each and every single one's different. Um, so you've almost got like a, a, a like a little dot chain there. Can you see that? Where you've got in, uh, sort of inch sections. This one... Can't, I don't know how to describe that one. It's almost like a, like like wheat or barley, how it almost like yeah. folds together. Um, again, you've got a very, very Tiffany's inspired chain, all of which are diamond cut, different designs, all 18 inch, you can pre-order yours. You will not believe how low they're going. In fact, you know what? We'll gauge the reaction. For all of them? Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. See, I there told you. I told you that we were doing prices I've never seen before. That's very good, very, very good. Let's just say it's going to be significantly less than £5 per chain. It's good, isn't it? Oh, yeah, when you think about it per mm. chain. Mm. I know. 
There's 243 of those available. They will sell out today. Coming up at the end of this hour. Now, remember also at 10 o'clock, brand new type A jadeite master carvings and some of the sweetest carvings uh, that you've ever seen. I think many of us who watch Jewelry Maker, we are very much animal lovers. I know you are. Um, I'm a massive soft touch for anything cute. Me too. But to be honest, I say that. Tom, my husband always says to me, Elle, if I came into, the into money, if I, if I won the lottery, I've always said it, the first thing that I would do is buy a, a, a big house, a palace, not for me, but to rescue lots of animals, That's what rehome I would do. lots of animals. I the ones that have been in there. In, in, Absolutely, in that the no one wants. Oh, the ones with one eye. That's my dream, to, have, to sell my house and get some land and do that. that I'll, I'll, if you win the lottery, then I'll work for you. Perfect. Doing that. Doing I mean, that. You, can, you can milk a very large cow. <laughs> So, do you want to have a little look at some of our brand new carvings? Oh, I've got one like this. It's beautiful, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it stunning? It's a three, oh, you've got a three-dimensional, brand new type A lotus flower. You've also got some wonderful, uh, <coughs> well, look at this one. You've got a rosebud or a peony bud just here. Isn't that lovely? Just before it's about to blossom. Um, we like also have, have you got the pig there? I don't have the pig here yet. Let me see a little piggy. But we do have the tiger. Ooh, look at that. I know this one's going to be extra popular. Check this out. There's the tiger. And then if you, if I move this one in. <gasps> Is he a the fox? fox. Oh, I love him. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I love that one. I really like that one. So, so, so pretty. And then, look at this. Such detail. Jake's going to be talking to you about these. Look at the intricacy of this one. Look at that. You could do so much with that as a design, couldn't you? So amazingly intricate. Mm. Coming up with Jake, we've also got the pig that we spoke oh, about earlier one. on. And also a mouse. So there's brand new master carvings coming up with Jake at 10 o'clock. Now, are we ready to melt the phone lines? Are our call <laughs> centre ready? Um, we have actually had this kit available on pre-order and they have flown. We have 200 or rather past tense. Um, and I don't think I've ever seen a kit with quite so much cord actually included within. Now, to make this fair for absolutely everyone, we're going to do a 60 second clock. So that's when your graphics will appear. This is very much your call to action if you're fancy and getting hold of this. Be that on the web or on the phone lines. Um, yeah, that, just, just get yourself ready because this will absolutely fly out the door. I'm scooching it over so you can actually see these. I know they're hidden behind the actual clock, um, the clock graphics right now. Um, I mean, that's so, there's so many colours, Debbie. There's so many colours, and there's so many colours within the colour wheel. Um, and what my daughter and I did was, was we sat cross-legged on the bed and we got out different colours and put them together. So not only can you use this for practical means, but you can get colours and start to match them together mm. and use it for your design. So if you know, always use the same colours together, and a lot of people say, I'm not very good at colour, I don't know what colours to put together... You have got so many shades of blue, so many shades of yep. pink, you know, everything. So you can sit here and put them together. You can see that how your cool colours and your warm colours go and don't go together. Yeah. Um, and then you can, like, completely match an outfit. I love it. You I absolutely match. love it. I mean, the, uh, e on each of those little spools, there's a lot of cord. I'll give you the exact measurements yes. shortly. If you've never done friendship bracelets or kumihimo or macrame, definitely something we can teach you. Uh, 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 as you said, very mild. Mindful. And it's even youngsters mindful. can do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, my daughter, she makes this. She made herself a kumihimo choker, oh, crumbs, about five years ago. And she has endlessly worn it. Mm -hmm. um, and she, she was helping me. She asked to help me with these kits. Oh, mum, can I make one? Um, because look at all of those beauty. We've got all the pinks, the dusky pinks. You can really play with colour with this. And you can put single colours together. You can mix and match and you can really sort of get a feel these discs do come with a protective yes. coating on so you need to peel that off before yes. you use them perhaps I'll, perhaps I'll do that for you so that you know that it is actually a really oh have you got one there so you see that that's it's like that on both sides but it comes with just a you know like when you get sheets metal yes. sometimes and you have the blue it's just like that yeah 
so it, it keeps it all nice so uh, again acrylic so it's never gonna yeah. damage no. it's gonna be very very robust um and again debbie you're going to be demonstrating aren't you uh with with, with these so uh, we know how to do kumihimo if you've never done it before i will i'll be going through the basics of kumihimo but there are so many different types of kumihimo um, the little flower disc you can do one with seven braids which is really easy lots of tutorials online i'm sure there's tutorials on our youtube from before when we used to do kumihimo i've definitely done kumihimo years ago when we were here in this studio next door actually yeah. um, so there'll be lots of jewelry maker kumihimo and macrame mark's done some fantastic demos uh, with cord uh, all that you can do with this case. but all that aside what an amazing gift oh I'm, i want to buy these for willow for yeah she's a school summer holiday it's you know. so massive these bracelets where you write things yeah. with the little um alphabet beads and then to have the three discs the box and all of the colors just for a gift this is amazing yeah mm. i mean i mean my my daughter she's almost six years old she can plait yeah so even they're lovely just, plaited even if she just plaited they're them, lovely plaited or created things like tassels or just put the, the beads on and tie a knot either yes. end, and then just tie it on your wrist like a wish bracelet and you've got your little letters of the alphabet just here all comes within packets. the storage um let me just open this up for you there's in total 96 of these lovely colors Gosh, that's amazing, isn't it? So it's going to go a very, very, very long way. Did you say two of each of the letters? Yes, yeah, so I'm thinking that they're two full alphabet sets. OK. Um, but of course, you can supplement these by adding charms, adding your gemstones, yeah. adding beads, whatever you want. Well, initials, just go with something like initials. Yeah. yeah. If you wanted to or... Yeah. Um, yeah, you could do like an I and a heart spacer bead and then a yes, U. Yes, that would be you? lovely. Lots of different things. Um, we've had a question for you Debbie Debbie is it possible to kumihimo with just four strands that's Joanna and County Durham mm, have I ever kumihimo I have a feeling that I've done a flat braid with four strands but I can't say for sure because I for another channel once shh, I did a whole <gasps> kumihimo show and I promoted a book and I did lots of the um, kumihimo braids from the book so I can't say for sure because I can't remember but have a look um, online there are so many different ways you can even do a flat braid on yep. the round disc oh okay yeah and if you have a look at this braid here on the necklace this is sort of like i don't know if you can see that but it's a box braid so if you have a look it's actually a square braid. oh yes so that's slightly different um, but there are so many tutorials do have a look there's a great book and i can't remember the name of it um, and it's got loads of different patterns and i'm sure that i did do one with four yeah we've uh, we've we've had kumahimo books and certainly we've done dvds and there'll be yeah. countless tutorials across yeah. youtube our youtube channel as well um McCray Macrame, you know, you can definitely do macrame with four braids. Yeah, definitely. Just macrame. have two lazy strands. Definitely. Um, now, we're not even stopping at £34.99. Oh, OK. Pounds. 96 of your colours, plus you get your three Kumihimo discs. Yeah, and your alphabets. And the alphabet beads, times two. £29.99. For those of you that maybe have children or grandchildren or nieces or nephews or friends, this is the kind of thing that any age can do. That's what I really like. There's no sharp materials. There's nothing here that's going to cause any kind of any kind of damage. Or can I also say damage to your home? Um, something I've learned the hard way yeah. just recently with our dining room table and Paints Willow with her crafting. Yes. Yeah. Um, whereas this, you can literally sit on the sofa or, as you said, cross-legged on the bed and start creating. And it's so amazing, this price, because I bought Daisy alphabet beads in a box. I think they were from Amazon. Um, and they went in two minutes because all of the friends and all of the people in the class wanted them. So she made them. So then I had to get her some more but as a top up. So I got her a box of black and white. Um, she had some colored ones as a top up and they were 12 99 Wow. So twelve ninety nine just for a small box of alphabet beads. If you look at it that way, and you're getting everything else. You're getting ninety six different colours of your and uh, three uh, discs of your, of your yeah, and the Kumihimo discs. Half the stock is gone. We had two hundred. Oh crumbs. Ninety five of these Oof. left, and we're not done. Oh, were you going? To, oh. Yeah, we were never stopping there. Okay. So those of you that have it still in your baskets. It's amazing. Um, I'm quite excited. Sharon in Caffili, new customer, Lynette, <gasps> Janet, Carol, Sarah, Ke uh, sorry, Kathy, Pat, Joanna, Pauline, Christine. I literally you go off the bottom of the call screens. Those of you that haven't yet checked out, 
This was never your price tag. Uh, yeah, you mean lots of us, we've probably got your hobby shops nearby, haven't we? Yeah. Where you can go and get your alphabet beads, you can go and get maybe these on individual cards without the storage. We've not even mentioned the storage. And don't forget, you get those Kuma Hemo discs. So really, for me, I look at it this way. One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, because there's two alphabet, five, six, and then let's, I mean, all of those cords, if we can even call that one component, that's seven massive components in this one auction. But not only that, I can see people are multi-buying. Are you buying them for each child? Because, you know, I don't know about you, but, you know, when you go on holiday and the kids are in the back of the car for hours on end, I used oh, to do goodie bags. Idea. But to have all these in a comeback box that they can put on their lap, and sit and That's a great idea. And if you're make, going on a flight. Going on a flight, going in a long car journey, going on a ferry. Um, they've Caravan. got this and it's all, you know, they're not in the bottom of the bag going, Mum, I can't find this, can't find that. It's all in the box. That's three letters. You get three of those letters of the alphabet. Oh, do you? So there's three of them, not two. Wow. £24.99. pence. We had 200 If there are any of them left, I'm, I'm grabbing some of these. Because it is the kind of thing, like you said, birthday parties as well. You yeah. know, when you have kids' birthday... I'm yeah. talking about kids as if this isn't a grown-up component. I'm all over this as well. Oh, yeah. But, you know, it, you, know you can literally get them to make their own lovely pieces of jewellery. How proud Absolutely. they are. You know, encourage that creativity. Creativity. If you've never done Kumihimo before, that's what the discs are on the photograph right now. Um, any questions, do message us. We're live here in the studio, but Debbie can show you. But also, there are literally thousands of tutorials. Yeah, there are. Kumihimo is an ancient form of knotting, isn't it? It's basically, it was invented by monks as a mindful um, exercise. And they used to have a, like this Kumihimo disc on like a wooden thing, and then they'd sit and they'd do it, and it was mindful. Um, so it was a mindful practice rather than making adornment. Yeah. And then it, it worked down the centuries. And of course, then they started using it for adornment. But also a lot of people are about their mindful techniques. It's so relaxing that, as I said, when I started doing it, it literally, I had rows of it. I didn't even know I was going to do it. There was a lady on my Facebook yesterday and she went, Kumahimo, addictive, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Yeah. It really is. It's, I bet. It'll keep the kids quiet, honestly. <laughs> um, somebody's asking me about the length on these. Oh, the gauge. Mm. Would you, oh, it's hard because if I hold it out on the screen, it's actually like a soft fabric. So if I could, could you see that? Now, the thing is with this... It will stretch, won't it? It will come apart. So if you sort of um, just get your fingers, you can pull the threads apart. So if you're asking because you want to know whether you can get beads on, then what you do, which I've done, is if I can't get the bead hole through the thread, then I just take it apart and you've got like three or four strands. But it's like a yarn, isn't it? Yeah, so like you've actually yarn. got a stretch to this. Yes. So, so most beading beads will go through. Yeah. And also um, you can take it apart, as I said, and and so that that will make it go twice or three times as far as well. Yeah. So this will go on all your rounds and yeah. things like that, won't yeah, yeah. it? Um, look at how many they're actually getting. So three lots of letters. Um, of the alphabet, 96 different colours with your storage and your three different Kumahimo discs. If I can, Debbie, can I ask you a question? Yes. These bundles are coming up as well with the, with the spools. They're available on pre-order. Make sure you check out your baskets. What do the different shapes of, of, of Kumahimo discs do? You can you could do the same thing. Um, the big blue one is more of a traditional Kumahimo disc, so you'd be able to do lots of different braids. I'm going to show you a basic eight braid today, but it goes up, mm -hmm. um, so you could do lots of different ones. The small pink flower disc, mm -hmm. um, there's a really simple Kumahimo technique where you just put seven strands on and leave one space, and then you just keep moving into the space and moving the disc around. Very, very simple. That one and then you've got another version of that as well um, with your medium flower disc but you can you've got the capacity of using more strands okay so nice. you can make all different braids with these discs um, the size doesn't usually make a difference to the size of the braid itself it's the amount of cord that you use but um so so versatile well over to you because i'm really over excited to, to learn I, I for all the years that i've been watching kumahimo um we discussed this earlier on it's mm. gone from my memory it's been that long it's gone from my memory and um, i taught my daughter when she was 10 and i've done so many advanced techniques of this over the years that i wanted to show you the basic technique and i forgot how to do it so i said <laughs> to my daughter who i taught originally when she was about 10 
uh, is it like this? And she went, no, mum, you're making it more too complicated. It's this. I went, oh, yeah, because I'd forgotten. Yeah. You know, I could have looked it up because I've got books and everything. So what I'm going to do is use the blue disc because mm -hmm. this is very um, sort of the traditional four braid uh, warp, we call it, uh, that you would use to make your very simple Kumi Hemo braid. Now, what I've done is at the compass point, so if north, south, east and west, I've done this with a permanent marker just so that you can see. And there are seven of these little petals in between each one. And really, you can forget about the numbers. Unless you're doing something really complicated, forget about the numbers and just you're going to use those four compass points. Or you can think of it as 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock and 9 mm. o'clock. So you're only going to use those. And if the numbers are going to confuse you, then just get a permanent marker and just put a little, a little blob on on there if you've got um the normal sort of beadsmith or the white disc you'll see that they have those on them yeah so this is really good because you can put a mark on there wherever you want depending on, on what you're doing now i tend to work on the general rule of um if you're saying making a kumihimo piece of taking three times as much um cord as you need for your piece so okay. if your bracelet's that long you're going to do that three times right now you can use, I'm going to do an eight braid warp or eight braid uh, braid. We call it a warp when you're doing um, Kumihimo. Now you can do eight completely different long strands. But what I tend to do and what I've done here just to save time is take um, four colours. Term. So if we're working on the um, three times as as long as the piece, then I do it six times as long and then I fold it in half, if that makes sense. So just let me pop my glasses on. So I'm going to get all of these together. So there's two there. And what I had so much fun with this, just choosing colours together. Uh, it was great. And I just thought, oh, will that go together? I haven't thought of that combination. So I've got four there, four strands, which are six times as long as the piece that I need. And then what I'm going to do is just fold it in half. OK, so that now I've got eight strands. And then what I'm going to do, there's lots of different ways you can finish it off. But this is uh, just the way I'm going to do today is I'm just going to tie all those into an overhand knot, making sure that I get all of the ends there and I'm just going to push my knot down towards the the end so that I've got that anchor point there and then you just need to set up your disc so if we're looking on the overhead we're going to be looking at these four compass points so you might want to say 12 o'clock six o'clock three o'clock and nine o'clock you might want to go north east southwest whichever way you want to look at it and what you do is you put the end of your braids through the center of the hole and then i tend to just grab them with my fingers so that i've got that anchor point now whichever place that you put the colors is how the pattern is going to be and if you find a pattern that you really like, it's useful to write down or take a um, phone picture of how you've set out your board. For example, if I put both of the pinks together and the same pinks here and then the same reds here, it'll go in a stripey uh, pattern. If I mix them up and just do a random, it will do more of a random pattern. Um, you can even make things like little flowers and you can make little stripes. And as I say, if you do think oh I love that then just take a picture of how you've set it up and then you won't forget how you did it so I'm just going to go a bit random here so what you want to do is take one of the lengths and just pop it either side of your dot and it will just pop into your little groove or your petal in this case so I've got one on the left of the of the dot there and it's actually the number eight if you're wanting to know numbers and then the other one the other side okay so I've got two at the top and I'm going to do the same on the side here and then I'm going to do the same at the bottom popping that in there sorry just make sure I'm in shot now you wouldn't they wouldn't be all as mixed up as this because you would have got them off the thread. I've been transporting them in my bag, which is why they're a bit fiddly and tied up. Come here. There we go. So two either side of that dot. I'm still holding in the centre there. And then I'm going to do two either side of this one. OK, now that's my setup. Let me pull them and then I'll give you a really good look. So it wants to look like that. So you've essentially got one cord either side of your compass 
points and okay. there are your eight braids. Okay, now I'm holding it underneath with my finger, but you can get Kumihimo weights or mm. a bulldog kit, um, clip with a key will do it just to kind of keep some tension on here. I'm just gonna hold it with my fingers. And then what we do is we take the top braid on the right hand side of the dot and bring it down to the bottom. And then we take the bottom and bring it to the top. And we just turn. Now, it doesn't matter which way you turn as long as you always turn in the same direction. Okay, so if you, or make sure you're going either clockwise or anti. Yeah, so you don't want to go clockwise once and then anti-clockwise. And so just sort of decide. When I was first learning, I put an arrow. I actually drew an arrow. Oh, that's a good idea. So that I, because, you know, if your brain's doing too many things at once or, you know, you've got distractions, if you put that, then you think, oh, I'll always go that way. Yeah, that's a good um, idea. So that's what I did. So I'm going to, again, exactly the same, nothing different. I'm taking the strand from the right side of the dot and just bringing it down to the bottom. And then I'm taking the strand at the bottom, the left side, and bringing it to the top. And I'm turning it around. So obviously I'm doing it really slowly here so that you can see what I'm doing. And so it, once again, I'm bringing the right strand. And it will start to move around the board so you won't have the dots anymore but you're doing exactly the same thing so you're bringing it down and then you're bringing it up and this is just this braid there's so many different ways of doing it and then you turn it and that is literally all there is to it and you'll start to see underneath that that braid will start to grow and grow and grow and grow and you can just stop when you want now other ways of doing this are exactly the same thing is adding beads or gemstones and you can do that by actually threading your beads onto your cords mm. popping on a little bobbin to stop them falling off and then every time you move a cord down you drop a bead down and move it um, you'd need to really see a tutorial on that but there's loads on our website and, and, and on YouTube now after you've kept going and kept going um, and you've got the braid now I've already done some so that we weren't here just repeating and repeating you'll just take it off of your board so you just literally take it off of your board and you'll be left with something like this so i've just popped a bead stopper here so it didn't come undone so you only take it off when you're ready to finish and there's a braid there i oh, love look at those that. colors so that's just a little braid i did so that i could show you and then when you take it off you've got all of these strands you won't have as many as this because you'll probably just have a few now you've got a couple of decisions to make here of how you would like to finish it off and this is the question that i get asked most with kumihimo is how, how do i finish it off now you can if i grab the blue bracelet i'll just grab it you can use those as a design oh that's picture. lovely so what i've done here is i've tied it in a knot and i've actually left some fringing so that i can add and in this case seed beads spacer beads lovely to use um, with your kumihimo and also these gorgeous um, little beads that we've had in the last hour yeah so you can use this as a design feature so I've actually what I've done is I've tied on just with an overhand knot and two of the strands a jump ring mm -hmm. so that I can add my lobster clasp and I've actually left these I haven't cut them off I've left them so that I can use them as a feature which I think would be particularly nice um, on a necklace yeah gorgeous okay that. so that's one option um, the other option is to just tie them in an overhand knot again as we did in the beginning and then you just want to bring that knot down to the end of your braid. So you don't really want to see some sort of loose threads. Now, I know it seems like, oh, tying a knot's really easy. But what you want to do, once you've tied that knot, is go through each individual strand and pull it. Okay, just each individual strand so that you're getting a nice, tight, even knot. And you will find that as you pull each individual strand that some of those will give more than others so that you are actually pulling every single strand into that knot. Now, if you haven't got any Kumihimo end caps or any ribbon, ribbon um, crimps, which I'll show you in a minute, you can just tie on your findings. So let's get some findings out. I got some different ones that were in my drawer just to show you all the different things that you can do. And if you wanted to just tie on, say, um, a toggle clasp, mm -hmm. so that's nothing special. We've, we've all got these, or you can use a lobster clasp. Yep. You can just pop it through the hole there, 
choose the strand that's next to it and then you can just tie these. I'm not going to do it because I want to show you different ways of doing it. Um, just tie it into a double knot and then you can burn off with your thread zipper or cut with your scissors any remaining strands and then you have got your that's just very neat, clasp isn't it? on there, right? But if you want to use sort of the dedicated clasp, and these are all jewellery maker findings from previous years, these Kumi, and I know we have got some Kumihimo caps coming. Um, they weren't here in time for my last show. I was going to use them as something else. So I know we have got some coming. Um, they come in really different shapes and sizes. So they'll go from really huge to really tiddly, which means that you can use them yeah. for any sort of width of braid. And if you're going to use those, then what you're going to do is take some sharp scissors. I've got my, um, my Fiskar scissors here. These are my go-to ones. And then you just want to trim off any excess thread next to that knot. And then you need to pick which one of your ends you're going to use. So say you're going to use this one. Now this one's too big, but you know, if you, usually they come in different sizes. Um, so let's imagine that that's the correct size. And then what you would do is pop some glue in there and then pop your end in and just follow then the manufacturer's guidelines. So whether you have to leave it overnight or maybe you've used an instant glue and that's a simple way of doing it. Another way of making this knot fatter so that it will fit into your um, end cap is before you cut your braids is to take one or two and actually start winding them Binding around. Binding it around, that's a good idea. So you can wind them around and then this will start to make your knot larger and you can bob a bit of glue on there to hold it and then you'll be able to get it into your end cap. Another way that I um, use the ends of these is these. Now, this really is going back. <laughs> going back way? This is going way back in the oh day. Oh, my goodness. This is possibly many years ago. But if you've been a jewellery maker of you for a long time, you'll have these. <laughs> 2012, I think they were. Yeah, so, but you can get these now. And they're little ribbon crimps, actually, or little mm. cord crimps. And, of course, you can use these by just bobbing them into the yep. cord there and then you just get your pliers and squish them together but of course these are sort of dedicated clasps if you don't have any dedicated clasps just do what i said with the toggle clasp or the lobster mm. clasp and tie on your findings which is essentially what i did with this one Love i just it. tied on and then i left the loop that i started with and just put a jump ring on and, and use that so you can use any of the findings in your stash as well now this is a very basic braid you can add your beads to this braid and you could use this braid time and time again there are so many braids you can do oh. so you can add lots and lots if you want it to be a fatter um, braid just let me show you so this blue one is a bit fatter because what I did instead of using one strand at all the compass points I used two and I used them as one so that if I hold them up you'll see the difference oh, yeah. in the width of that so the one on the top... So it's top, just bulking out your cords? It's bulking it out. So the one at the top is just one strand in each slot, and the one on the bottom I put two in. But you could put as many as you want, as long as you just use them as, as one in one motion. And you can also make flat braids on a round disc. Uh, lots and lots of tutorials available. And of course, macrame, knotting, wish bracelets. If I just quickly show you this one that says breathe, which sometimes I need to be reminded to do when I'm getting yeah, don't my knickers in a twist about things, um, <laughs> is just on one piece of cord. And I have knotted either side. And then I've just put the ribbon crimp on, or you could just tie that onto your wrist. That. So you don't even have to do anything fancy for it to work. No, but I really like that. Children could do that as well. Yeah, I love that design. And they could put their name and wear their name or oh, mummy or bestie. Yeah. That's what I hear a lot at the moment. Oh, she's my bestie. <laughs> um, now, make sure you check out on those kits. It's been incredibly, incredibly popular now. On pre-order, these have been grabbed as well. These are more limited than the kit. So I've got 80, did you say, Ross, of these? Uh, started with... Oh, these are amazing. Uh, 30 have already gone. They're big spools, aren't they? They're I had these the other day in a kit. Um, 200 not, metres. Not these colours, but oh my goodness, they're amazing. And you know, it's fantastic because they're on the spool, so you can just take what you need. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I'm thinking knotty do it all tool as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And knotting in between uh, gemstones. Yeah, well, this is it. Your malas and things like that. They're 0.4 um, and you're getting 200 metres on each of these spools. So Gorgeous colours in this. Yes. One. Really lovely. Six. Um, oh, my goodness. If you do mala knotting or pearl knotting yeah. or any of those techniques, yeah. then this is going to be a an absolute dream because... Um, Brand new colours. Never, I love that yellow. That yellow is so beautiful, isn't it? Um, very summertime-esque. And you've been crying out for vibrant colours. Well, here is your chance. That doesn't just apply for your gemstones, does it? I think that absolutely applies to, um, the, you know, the materials that you thread with. Oh, yeah. And, you know, by putting these colours through some translucent gemstones, you're going to get that colour showing through. Yes. Also, these are very handy to just have on a shelf. And, you know, you're looking for your cord. It's all tangled up. It's in the drawer. It's in yeah. your bag. You can't find it. When you can find it, you can't be bothered to untangle it. You're not going to get that with this. No. Because they can sit. You can clearly see what the colours are. You can clearly see yeah. how much you've got of it. And it's under control. <laughs> under I like that. $14.99. Goodness me, that's what, for all of that. For all of those. That is amazing. Now, normally they would be about $3.99 each. That seems incredible. Some of them are what? Some of them are $2.99. Really? Okay, so let's say they're all $2.99 then. That would be just shy of £18, so we're giving you an extra saving with your bundle. 200 metres on each, that seems incredible. I don't know where you could, I mean, I, I haven't, it's just my opinion, but I don't know where you could get anything like that for two pa just over £2 each. That's really amazing. And of course, this is fantastic for your crochet. And I keep going on about crochet. I do love a bit of crochet. This is great for your crochet. Um, you know, if you're into any of your soft crafts, mm. perfect. I think this goes across genres of craft, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It really, really does. Um, uh, yeah, my cousin does uh, a lot of crochet work for, ch for, for charities and things like this. Yeah. And thinking, at that price tag, I should literally just send her some. Or just crocheting with your beads. Yes. Because you can make use of the colour as part of your design. It's totally. Beautiful. And we've been speaking about how colour is everywhere at the moment, yeah. aren't they? We know it's like we've come out of the pandemic and yeah. everybody wants these wonderful rainbow displays. Um, these colours have not been seen before here at Jewelry Maker. They are brand new. I had 80 of them available and they are flying out the door. Um, because already I'm well we're working on the second row um, of people making confirmations Barks has got two Cheryl Beverly Devon Pamela Suzanne Doreen Karen Margaret Gordon Jan uh, Kathleen Virginia Hazel Charmaine Gillian Sandra Sonica hello to you Angela um, there's still loads of you with it in silly baskets that's unbelievable it speaks volumes to me when I can see guest designers getting involved as yeah. well um, because knowing that how, how good a deal that is see I mean imagine in. We, were about, we talk about jadeite, so imagine that beautiful red knotted yeah. in between a jadeite. That's what, you, you know, I often really admire the pieces that are kind of traditional with the jadeite and the reds. That seems to be sort of a, a traditional way of doing it doesn't it i mean i don't i don't know about that but it just yeah no so something red is, is very it? traditional yeah. um the yellow i don't know i'm feeling that in between some lovely pearls yeah any of them in between pearls i oh. mean that it, baby pink would be beautiful like for wedding jewelry bridesmaids yeah. Uh, jewelry and you've got such beautiful colours there. So Kumihimo, macrame, uh, your knotty do-it-all tool, simple friendship bracelets. Yeah. I mean, there's literally knotting of your gemstones as well as your pearls, yep. and they're very close to selling out. Very, very, very close to selling out. I've got eleven oh my left. Goodness. 33 of you with it in your baskets on the web um, and, and the app and people still on the phone line. So it will be a sellout. It's first come, first serve. Well done. That is a bonkers deal, isn't it? I've still got two more uh, cord bundles to actually bring you. These are in this sort of satin cord, um, which you can all you can mix all these together. Yeah, absolutely. You? Different textures, different thicknesses makes it really, really pretty. Um, ah, hello, Jan. Speaking of lovely ladies, this is get oh, Jan. Hi, Jan. <laughs> I'm missing you, my darling. Hello, lovely ladies. Nylon thread is great for knotting pearls and heavier gemstones. Mwah. Yes. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Between because it's nice and strong. And having these colours, you can really make pearls traditional, can't you? Love it. Traditional oh, they've pearls sold funky. Out. I mean, well done, well done, well done. Lovely to hear from you, Jan. Um, okay, let's do the next bundle, shall we? Zoop. 
Should I tell you why I like satin cord? Yes, please. Because my thread sapper will melt it into itself. So instead of using glue, you can actually just pop your thread sapper on and it will melt the knot so that it doesn't come undone. Because it's man-made? Yeah, and it will cut it and also seal it. So that's why I love working with this. It's also a bit thicker and it's shiny. So you get Maybe that different shiny. texture. Um, so I think that was a great idea of using the different ones together because it would give that kind of almost boho look that's beautiful i love the satin cord as well yeah. it's very monica veneda you know we quite often reference the fact that monica veneda do those braided yeah not uh, sort of the fabric braids as well where they're normally triple figure prices well if you love that look and you you know, don't want to invest that amount of money then make it yourself uh, sorry what was that ross one millimeter in their thickness um and you're getting 30 meters on each of those spools Again, it's a lot. It is a lot and it will go a long way. Look at that. So I just braided um, some satin cord just so that you could see what it looks like in comparison. So it's fatter um, and it's lovely. So you can really... It feels like silk. It's very silky and very lovely against the skin. So, you know, I've just used some random colours together there and it just, as you move, you get different colours coming through. So that's the sort of difference you get with a satin cord. It's a little bit shinier. It's a little bit bigger in diameter. Um, great for necklaces. Yeah. Um, great for bracelets. You really don't have to put anything on them because they're so, so pretty. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I love that. And again, macrame. Yeah, absolutely. Works in macrame, Macrame, it? you can do any knotting techniques. Look at that. You can see how glossy they are. How many do we have of this bundle? 60. We had 60 of this bundle. Let me scooch that white one down so you can see that too. There we go. Um, and you are getting all six of them at £12.99. Gosh, it, uh, do you know, it's been such a long time, Debbie, since we've actually had the satin cord. Yeah. Um, they're normally £2.99 per spool, per 30 metres. Um, but I think it's going to be one of those scenarios where they've come back into stock and then they're going to sell out again. Yeah, because then we have to reorder quickly. Don't yeah, we, we do. And it's, there's always that, there's that, 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 that time period where we have to wait for them, of course. Um, these are jewellery maker satin cords. And again, amazing. Uh, they're very great. They're amazing quality. Um, like you, yeah, you could literally just melt them, can't they, to seal them off. So they're not going to fray. No, and you don't have to be messing with glue because I am not to be trusted with glue usually. You know, my finger gets caught on the desk or I get it all over my hand. I'm so rubbish. I'm honestly like, really inept with glue. <laughs> glue I glue, you, glue your digits together yeah, as well. Yeah, I get my daughter and my husband, I go, can you just glue this because you know what I'm like. I don't know why. I mean, I can do silver techniques, <laughs> glue, rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everybody. Make sure you check out on those. There's about 20 left. Um, so good luck, good luck, good luck. Now... We've got another bundle here, but, sorry. Oh, I, I've got a request from one of Ross's friends. Hello, Chloe. It's lovely to be with you. We were all going to say hello to Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Chloe. Hi. Chloe. Hello. And there's Ross. There he is. <laughs> oh, hello, Chloe. Does she keep you in check then? Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. He's a good egg. Thumbs up Ross, for Chloe. Yeah, he's a good egg, which no doubt means that you are too, my lovely. Um, hello to Chloe. Lovely to, to be with you this morning. Ah, that's all right. Um, OK, one more bundle to bring you. That's on the verge of selling out. <laughs> OK, now... Can't decide which... Um, I love them all, don't I? I think I'd want both of those. Oh, <gasps> Carl, it's like a paraba. Mm. I know. Sorry, I don't, just made that noise on time. <laughs> <laughs> that colour makes me do that. I sometimes forget that we're on live TV. I, know, but... I do it all the time. Oh, I was talking that. about milking cows the other day. Goodness <laughs> me. Um, now, this is the last of the bundles before we dive into your, uh, your, your, your base metal chains. Um, you can pre-order those. They are already flying on, on pre-order. Um, so this, a little bit more... Muted. That's the word. Staples, these colours. They're yes. staples because they... You're going to want blacks, you're going to want unisex, you're going to want Navy. sort of navies, like just a, those sorts of colours. So I wouldn't want to choose because I love the bright colours as well. And you've got your grey and white in the other one. So well, I think this is like an add-on, isn't it? I think so. Well, let's price it so that you don't have to choose. Oh, OK. Um, that's good. Nine, uh, nine ninety nine for all four of them. I agree. Because, you know, if I was to make something for, 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 for my... Oh, they've sold out. Oh, well done. <laughs> I was going to say he wouldn't necessarily wear that colour, whereas I would. Whereas 
something on in yeah. a navy or a black tom would definitely wear um okay now you're moments away from your brand new type a carvings they're absolutely unbelievable i'm really excited about those because there's unlike carvings that we've seen before um so they're coming up but just before we dive into that look i'm going to show you them one by one scooch that over for a minute make sure you check out on debbie's kits they're getting very limited now take a little look at that one perfect things like your bubble style yeah yeah yeah, yeah. take a look at this one Oh, that's a nice one. It's isn't a it hammered lovely? chain, isn't it? It's yeah. like textured. Diamond cut almost. I like, like this one. It's my favourite. Me too. Yeah, I love this one. Take a little look at that one. We have 243. Take a look at this one. This is beautiful too. I love this one. That's so unusual. It's, 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 it's like the Gucci stirrup. It, yeah. And then last but not by no means least, we're almost going to Tiffany's for that Elsa Peretti diamond dot inspiration. All of these are 18 inches. You know how big layering is at the moment, yeah. but even as jewelry makers, we have to be stocked up on chains. Now, yep. recently we've brought you your sterling silver chains mm -hmm. in, in amazing deals, but we haven't brought you your, uh, your plated base metal. And there's a reason why we, we bring you uh, sort of your plate, uh, plated paste metals because they're more affordable. And so much so, you still want that luxury. Well, they're diamond cut, that speaks volumes, doesn't it? Um, I don't think the price that we are taking this set of five to should be the price for just one of them, even though they're base metal. I know, and it, there's such, you know, you don't always want a sterling silver chain. You know, especially if you're making to sell or you're yeah. giving little gifts or, you know, like you said, children's parties and you're giving them all a necklace or you don't always want a sterling silver chain. No, You want exactly. the less expensive makes on your craft stall as well. Absolutely. Totally agree. All of these designs, you haven't got to choose, you get all five. We have 243. Do you want to see how quickly 243 <laughs> are going to sell out? At this price, yeah. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, it's very good. It's absolutely mad. They're still diamond cut, so don't think that diamond cutting is exclusively exclusive to your platinums and your and your golds and your silvers. I mean, obviously we use that we use that technique, but we even diamond cut your more affordable chains. Layer them up. I bet lots of you are looking at that, thinking, "Oh, I could frame a nice gemstone in there." Yeah. Um, oh, I could bubble style onto this technique. Oh, I could customize that to be an anklet or a bracelet or a pair of earrings. Are you ready for this? Is our call center ready? Because I think this is, we're about to give you an opportunity. So good. I don't think you're going to even hesitate. It's going to be one of those where you go, oh, I might as well have a few then. I've showed you, Debbie. These yeah, are still silver plated. They're still precious metal plated. Oh, are they silver plated? Yeah. So you go into Topshop, you go into Zara, yeah. you go into Oasis or Debenhams or any of those Marks and Spencers. They don't always have silver plated. No, they don't. They These haven't. are precious metal plated. If we were to stop here. Mm -hmm. That would be working out about, about six pounds each. It's not bad. They're diamond cut, they're silver plated. Well, we're about to warm things up on the phone lines on the next price crash. Let's skip five pounds per chain. Let's even skip four pounds per chain. I'm gonna half what's on your screens and then I'm gonna tell you something. We're not even stopping there. I love this one that we're looking at. That's so Gucci. I would buy this bundle for that design. Yeah, and I'd wear that on its own. Me too. I wouldn't put anything on it, would you? Yeah. Walk into Gucci and look at the stirrup designs and see the price tag that you pay. Um, yeah, you're paying for the brand, aren't you? 
We're not even stopping here. 243 might seem like masses. I assure you it's not, especially when I say we're going not just a little bit lower either. Uh, Kathleen, Yvonne, Essex, Sandra, Denbyshire, Margaret, Karen, Beverly, Lorraine, Marily, Janice, Mary, Lynn, another Lynn, Maker, Margaret, hello to you, Elizabetha, hello to you, Gillian, Jackie, Linda, Daniel, Debbie, you're there as well, Berkshire, already, thank you so much for trusting us. I mean, you're happy here, aren't you? What are we, what are we talking about now? Three pounds per silver plated chain? Three pounds. I'm fairly sure I paid more than that for my coffee this morning. <laughs> fairly sure I did. And that's still no way near. Have you got a favourite? I like the Gucci one. Me too. I mean, it's obviously not really Gucci, but yeah. The Gucci inspired. Gucci inspired, yeah. But this one again, do you see it's a little bit Elsa Peretti, isn't it? The diamonds by the yard. I like that you get all different ones. Yeah. I really like that. Because you don't know what, you know, you can use it for different things then. I struggle with anklets. It's madness. It's madness. That's so good. It's madness. That's really good. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Yes, they are diamond cut. Yes, they are silver plated. Yes, you get all five of them as well. Yeah, I struggle with our anklets. They're either far too big or far too small. Yeah, you ha I have to bespoke them because yeah. they just never, 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 never look right. No. Um, so, I mean, at that kind of price tag, I can make multiples. I've also got, uh, you know, just take inch sections to put them in your earrings. Earrings, you can make, obviously, your bracelets. That's the beauty about being a jewellery maker. Nothing needs to stay as it is, does it? You can totally bespoke it. I love being able to see people's names. It's gone absolutely nuts. Nuts. Nuts on the phone and on the, uh, on the web. Um, that's £2 per chain. Yeah. £2. That's amazing. That's so good. And they are diamond cut. Yes, they are still precious metal plated. That's amazing. Unbelievable. Yeah, loads of you there. And also, pretty much, oh, it's, let's estimate about 70, 80% of you have chosen to get more than one. Why wouldn't you? At the end of the day, I mean, look at that. Does that look £2? <laughs> It doesn't. You don't need to do anything to that, do you? No. When it used to, when you used to have the bead shops, you'd go in and they'd have them on a big spool, and then you'd buy them by however much you wanted, and it really added up. It really yeah. was not an inexpensive way of doing it at all. No. And a lot of the time they were base metal, like zinc free, but not like silver plated. No. Um, so to get, I like it that they're not all the same. That appeals to me as a jewelry maker. Yeah, because I mean, there are certain designs where. You know, you'll want something maybe just a little bit more subtle. So you might go for the, yeah. uh, what I describe as like the, a bit inspired by the Elsa Peretti diamond by the yard, where you have yeah. those little punctuations. And you, or you might want to go all out for something a little bit chunkier and heavier, something a little bit more fluid and lustrous. You might go for that um, sort of stirrup inspired design. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Two pounds, Very two good. pounds each. Um, I had 243 of these available. How many have we got left? 53. Naughty prices. Hooray! Yeah. yeah, you know us, Liz. See, at home they're making the noises I made, but they're not on television. <laughs> what was that noise you made? Well, I don't know. They just come out. I can't, I'm not in control of them. <laughs> <laughs> Little oohs and ahs coming from our yeah. Debbie. Well done. <laughs> Stay where you are. Now, you can still get hold of the kit. There's still just a few of those available. I'm going to be adding mine to my order as well during this break. Debbie, thank you so much. It's oh, so lovely to see you. Oh, what a lovely you. morning. You're going to go home and look after a couple of little um, poorly people. Some poorly people I'm looking after, so I whiz back up the M1. Bless and I'll you. be we'll back on safely. the 27th, I think. Oh, well, I hope to see you then. Yeah. Um, well, I hope they all get better. Thank you. I hope they all get better soon. Bless your heart. It's lovely Debbie Kershaw, everyone. But do not go anywhere because there is some brand new, utterly exquisite master carvings being launched after the break with the wonderful Jake Thompson. You haven't seen anything like these designs there. They go from the super cute to the ultra poignant. We'll be back after this. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. 
Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. What a special, special Wednesday morning you have in store. Brand new master carvings and unlike any that you have seen here on Jewelry Maker, ones that are very, very poignant, but also endearing. That's the word that strikes me. And of course, no better person than to launch them here at Jewelry Maker is the wonderful Jake Thompson. Oh my goodness me. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Al. I am so excited for this morning's show. If we've not met before, my name's Jake Thompson. I'm your gem investor. I've been the gem investor here for over a decade. And I talk to you about building a portfolio of the rare, the exotic, the sought after gemstones. I talk to you about how you can make that leap from fashion jewellery, through jewellery, to the highest tier of fine jewellery. And this morning, well, let me put it this way. This morning's show was supposed to be called Jade the Zodiac Edit. But literally, what is it now? It's 10 a.m. Around 12 hours ago, I got back from the world's most significant show, the JCK show. That is the Jewelers Circular Keystone. This is the gem show where when Rio Tinto had discovered Argyle Champagne Diamonds, they announced the discovery at JCK. When Yanni Melas had discovered Aquapraise, 
Eddie Leviano announced it as the gem of the year at the JCK show. And the news and the delivery of what we have for you this morning. We're not calling this Jade the Zodiac edit anymore. Let's change the show. We're calling it Jade the JCK edit because we have got something huge for you this morning. Now, the whole show is extraordinary. Mm. We're talking about a caliber of carving we have never witnessed here at Jewelry Maker before. We have never witnessed across the partnership before. And I'm going to go one step further. I don't think here in the UK we have ever witnessed the caliber and quality of carving that you have in this show. It's here in this box. It's coming up later, and I don't even dare share it with you right now, but you can not miss out because this is really just the pinnacle of a show that I think is going to change how you see Jade forever. It is that big. Now, let's talk about what is happening in the Jade world right now because Jade is a gem that has been around and valued for millennia by the Far East. But for the first time ever, we're starting to see it being appreciated, it being desired, but most importantly, it being appraised appropriately here in the West. And the demand is such that you have industry titans like the, the Swiss gemologist Roland Schleusel having to write an entire book for gemologists, for appraisers, because for the first time ever, it's not just the labs in Hong Kong being asked to grade, being asked to value this extraordinary material. And uh, uh, Roland Schlussel here is very clear. Uh, Dr. Lula, uh, who, who's the most qualified individual I know of in, 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 the, in the gem world, she reviewed the book and she says, look, appraisers and valuers are not left alone in their jade quest. There are two chapters to answer the majority of Western appraisers' questions on jade, one of which is grading and appraisal of jadeite by Roland Schlussel. That's who I've just been talking about. Here's the, here's the, here's the caveat. Here's the, here's the big bit of news you've got to understand. Jade is not simply an Eastern treasure anymore. I've come to realise it's the world's treasure. Well, if it's the world's treasure, call me Jack Sparrow because we have got a treasure chest <laughs> today for you in Jade. This is huge, what's going on right now. Not only that, Roland Schlussel has also... He's also written huge articles for In Colour for pretty much everyone in the world. Now, I've met Ro Roland firsthand. There I am with Roland at JC, uh, uh, the Tucson Gem Show. I've, I also saw Roland again at JCK, and he said, look, if anything, my writings, they're just becoming more relevant. They're more in demand than even they were just four months ago. He talks about how to assess the quality of natural jade. Right, let me make you a promise right now on this show. Every single piece of jade I am bringing you as part of this special edit, every single piece of jade I is certified natural, backed by one of those far eastern laboratories, independently verifying that for you. So that certificate of authenticity you get, the certificate of authenticity, it couldn't be more valuable or supported by independent laboratories with, with Roland Schlussel talking about that there. He talks about the jades of Myanmar and Burner. That is exactly what we are looking for and looking at in this morning's show. Old mind jade for Myanmar. I'm going to talk a little bit about what that means in a moment's time. The GIA, you know, we remember, you may recall if you've watched this show before, the GIA at the Tucson Gem Show, they, had a, they, they opened a new museum in Tucson. And in that museum, you expect to see gemstones of America. You expect to see gemstones mined in the incredibly gem-rich uh, state of Arizona. What you don't expect to see is a full exhibit on jade and oh. particularly on jade carvings. So clearly, we are seeing this huge surge of demand in the West. 
we're seeing this huge boom from jewelers, from collectors, from jewelry lovers for genuine jade that has never been there in the West. So Western demand for jadeite, it's never, historically, it has never been higher. And we, we can see this because we have new museum collections, we have an expanding literature aimed at appraisers who are increasingly commissioned to value private portfolios of material. Now, I'm going to give you a warning right now. This show is going to help you expand that portfolio because these are portfolio-worthy carvings, unquestionably. But your historic window isn't just about the fact that demand in the West has never been higher. I talked to uh, Richard Drucker, who is the, uh, the chief editor of the Gem Guide, and we talk about the Gem World extensively. I talked to Richard Drucker, uh, and Richard said this, look, reviewing the Tucson Gem Face, said the postponed March Hong Kong show has likely helped persuade big firms to commit now. Variety of gems are in demand, but the big three, that is ruby, sapphire, emerald, plus jade dominated interest. Now, he talks about the postponed March show really, be, really being a unique window in which, which allows the jade to come to the West. Mm -hmm. At JCK, everything, everyone was talking about how the fact that the September Hong Kong show has already been cancelled. Now, you might think, great, that means that the window expands. It remains open for us. I wish that were the case. Because unfortunately, whilst, that, whilst it might be the case, and, and the closure of those traditional markets in Hong Kong has disrupted the hitherto closed Pakant, Kowloon, Suzhou. That's how the trade used to work. So Pakant is where it's mined. Kowloon is where it gets taken into China uh, via Hong Kong. Kowloon is in Hong Kong. Suzhou, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about Suzhou later in the show. Suzhou is where the finest jade carvers work. So you've got this triangle, this jade triangle. It should be noted the Chinese are maneuvering countermeasures to restore the closed network. So around the trade, around the trade what's happened is there is now a new gem show, the Singapore gem show. And you're going to have never heard of the Singapore gem show before. It's never happened before. But in September, there is now a Singapore show. But later in this show, I'm going to tell you why there will not be any jade there. So I'm going to tell you right now, this is one of the biggest things. In 2008, the Chinese legislated that jade carved in Suzhou was part of what they term a national intrinsic treasure. You know how champagne is protected, but it's protected to increase the amount that the French can export. Well, the Chinese, it's a similar legislation which says that Suzhou jade, jade carved in Suzhou, is now, and I quote, a national intrinsic treasure. And I was talking to Roland about this at JCK. And he said, what's happened is that legislation was written in 2008 to protect the jade carvers of Suzhou. But it's being tweaked as we speak to prevent the export of jade carved there. It is a national not an international, it is a national intrinsic treasure. And it is strengthening that legislation to close the window to exporting jade. So that's what's happening right now. And then at JCK, it would be completely remiss of me to tell you what I found out from one of the leading jade carvers in the world. JCK show, they broke the news around about a year ago about the new US sanctions that effectively ban Burmese gems. Now, let me be absolutely abundantly clear about what's happening. OK, so I visited Myanmar. I had the good pleasure of visiting Myanmar in the back end of 2019, November 2019. And at that time, it looked like Myanmar was opening up, re-engaging with the rest of the world. The, the, the world had dropped its embargoes. It was going in a very positive direction for the people of Myanmar. They welcomed us. We went there on an historically large buying trip. And we, we, bought, we did. We bought a significant investment in rough jade at that time. Fast forward to the, today. The military regime 
in Burma, they have retaken control, and rightly so. Rightly so, not the fact that they've taken control, let me be clear here. Rightly so for the people of Burma. The rest of the world has said, no, we're not having this. We are not. The Burmese people should be the ones to benefit from their treasures, from buying trips like ours in November 2019. We weren't buying from army officers. We were buying from the Burmese people, uh, you know, direct from the mines. But now that's not possible. And so the rest of the world has said, look, no new jade coming out of Burma. Now, the Chinese, they're not bothered. They don't care. They're, they're saying, fine, we'll have it all. Don't worry about it. In fact, it's probably the best news for the Beijing regime. But for us in the West, we do have to do the right thing. Your jade treasures, you should be able to have those and source those knowing they are ethically sourced gems. So this is all old mine material. And the AGTA, that's the American Gem Trade Association, they say, look, Burmese gems that were already in the inventory, seller's inventory, prior to this action, they're not impacted. Old mine jade, yes, go for it. New mine jade, no, you can't. And I actually spoke to a jade dealer. I actually spoke to a jade dealer at, at, at JCK. His whole business, his family business, three generations of family that, that, have, been, that have been doing this. They are Chinese-American. They've come over here now. They've come over to the United States now. Chinese-American. But his, you know, his parents... And his grandparents are, are, are Chinese. And, and they said to, he said to me, he said, look, this material, the only way we're getting it now is unfortunately when someone dies. I said, what do you mean? He said, look, someone dies. Their family, they take this collection, they bring it to us. They say, can you value it? We're looking to sell it. And he says, that's the only way that even he is one of the biggest jade dealers in the world. It's the only way he is able to get jade now, is when someone passes away and the family go, right, okay, it's time now for us to cash in on our family's historic assets. And that, I think, really tells you everything you need to know about the state of play. Because the Western sanctions, we've closed the markets to fresh Burmese material. And it rightly renders all the old mine jade eye unsellable. And the, and the unintended consequence has been to drive the price of old mine material in the West sky high. That gentleman who I spoke to, Anson, Anson, Anson said to me, he said, look, that jade that was $5,000 just a few years ago, it's 50, he's having to offer 50 to $70,000. He's not buying it at 50 to $70,000 because he loves jade. He does love jade, but that's not why he's paying 50 to $70,000 for it. He's paying 50 to $70,000 for it for the piece that was 5,000 just a few years ago, he's paying 50 to $70,000 for it because he's gonna sell it for even more. This is the news from JCK on this historic, historic Jade opportunity. Now, what I wanna share with you is your first bit of live news from the JCK show. And to do that, I want to unveil the first of today's master carvings. Are you ready? This is, it is a huge pleasure. Mm. I share with you today your goddess of mercy master carving. Take a look at this. Wow. We're going to open our phone lines and then we're going to hear all about why this is one of the most spiritually significant acquisitions of this show. We're talking about a type A, that is natural jadeite. You've got the Buddha goddess of mercy carving. It is over an inch tall. I mean, this is hugely Hugely significant, this piece for you. And what I will do is to have a look at this live. You can see the quality of what we're talking about right now. This is top gem. And you can see the goddess of mercy there holding what the Chinese refer to as a gourd, a vase. Wow. So the symbolism you have here is absolutely extraordinary. It's top drilled at the top there, so you can set this very easily. 20 carats of certified old mine Burmese jadeite. Now, at this point, Around a th now, at this point, I would like to introduce jewellery maker's own, very own, Susie.
I'd like to introduce Susie to talk you through the goddess of mercy. It has also got a, a, a native Chinese name. Yes. Guang Yu. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allow Susie, whose family history is steeped in trying to acquire significant jadeite pieces. And I'm so, I'm so grateful to her for sharing her family's knowledge. Pay attention, because this can tell you exactly why these pieces are some of the most sought after in the world. Guan Yin, or the Goddess of Mercy, one of my personal favorite figurines. Guan Yin, a little story, was an empress, and she achieved enlightenment, and so she was headed towards the gates of Nirvana, and at the gates, just before she entered, she heard the cries and the woes of all of the people suffering on the earth below, and she just couldn't leave them behind. So she decided to surrender her life of immortality and go down and be the helper of all of those people that needed health and suffering. I'm so grateful for Susie sharing her knowledge there, her describing it as her favourite, you know, in her family, yeah. uh, family's history steeped in sourcing fine quality jade. She says this is hands down number one, her favourite carving of our show this morning for you. But it's not just her favourite, because Elle, while I was at the JCK show, Literally, in the last 48 hours, I have for you the wholesale valuation, that is trade value, of this carving. Wow. Now, at home, before I share this with you, I just want you to think about where you think this is going to land. Where do you think a jadeite goddess of mercy in the trade, just like this one here, where do you think the value for this lies? What are you saying at home? Hmm. Pick a number. Really reflect on it. Think of the detail in the carving. Think of the significance spiritually this, this carving is known to have. Consider the quality of the jade and its value in the current market. Have you got that number yet in your mind? Let me share with you just 48 hours ago what this material was trading for at the JCK Gem Show. Here it is. This is your goddess of mercy, not the one on screen, but one that I found from Anson at the JCK show. Take a look at this. 16,000 dollars and $250 extra. 16,250 dollars to acquire one of these. I mean seriously, the fact that I can show you JCK 48 hours ago, 48 hours ago, the fact I can share you, JCK, just 48 hours ago, this very carving going for $16,250. We aren't stopping anywhere near there today. In fact, Ross, I, wanna, I just want to relax everyone because at home everyone's going, were you thinking 16000 Were you thinking more? Were you thinking less? If you were thinking less, I don't blame you. But reflect that the last news update I gave you on this was about four months old now. And this is going out of control in Western markets. $16,250 from JCK just 48 hours ago. Ross, let's, let's relax everyone. Pop a thousand dollars on, pop a thousand pounds on screen for me, please. Wow. 15,000 less. We are talking about, yeah, literally <laughs> well over £10,000 saved. Now at home, we really do have to reflect the significance of what we're about to acquire here right now. Okay? Because I, I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to, 
anyone to misunderstand what's happening right now. At the JCK show, you want to acquire this? No problem at all. And in fact, Pamela's done that. Pauline's done that exactly there. Just the first two. Okay? We're talking about this price. Look at the quality. Now, you might look at theirs and go, yeah, but Jake, theirs looks really translucent. And that, we know that you pay more for that. Okay, well, let me show you here. Look at your translucency. The glow, the quality of your carving here. Look, you can see the whole, you can see even the gourd, the, the, the vase there. Look, guys, this is your goddess of mercy carving. This is why Susie said it was her favorite because she's seen the quality of what we're looking at here. Now, this is, you can see the tra translucency. We're talking about the same grade as a $16,000 piece. Now, you might at home go, well, what's the difference then, Jake? What's the difference? I'll tell you the difference. They've got one to offer at one of the big, world's biggest trade shows. They've got one of these to offer. We have not got one. We've got a few. So we're able to go lower on this for you. We sourced the jade three years ago. And I'm not asking for today's jade out prices. I'm asking for a price that is fair, reflecting what we, what we brought you those years ago. Ross, I'd like a 60 second clock, please. Because we're about to offer our first price point. Look, the, the way this is carved, so when they do this carving, what they're trying to do, the Lady of Mercy, what they're trying to do with Lady of Mercy carving, to, to really get the top grade, is you want to see when you see this translucency, you want top translucency when you're doing this carving. And what they do is they carve the halo, they carve that jade much thinner, much more delicately at the top of the gem. And what that does is when you get the light on this gem, see how it creates that halo effect around the goddess of mercy, around Kuang Yu, 30 seconds to go. Look, I want to say huge congratulations to those of you who are getting involved early, who are seizing your chance. 20, you know, no, you can get involved later, that's absolutely fine, but there will be a wait on the phone lines. We've got 15 seconds to go to avoid that. We, we are talking about a jade carving that we saw 48 hours ago at $16,000. Ross, seventy nine ninety nine. Wow. Uh, seventy nine ninety nine. You cannot get enough of this. You <laughs> no. ask yourself, how much are you saving right now by getting involved? The value for money. This is. I've been to the JCK show. I've been to the Tucson show. When we could, I went to Myanmar. This is the best place in the world to be buying certified type A jadeite bar none right now. And I'm going to say something like that. I'm going to say... pounds on split pay. 20 pounds. We, 20 The pounds. same carving at $16,000 just 48 hours ago. Oh, my God. And, and, and Anson told me, he was very honest. He said, look, Jake, when we carved this, we didn't try and sell it for $16,000. But this is a reflection, not of what we got at the time, uh -huh. of what we got today in today's market, $16,000. Wow. Well, you know I don't work that way. You know I never ask myself, how high can we get away with? I'm always asking myself, how low can we possibly go? You know, and, and I'm looking at that, that photograph that you took, what, what, two days ago, did you say? Literally two days two ago. Two days ago. You must have had that moment. You know, I, I, you're very polite, Jake. I know you wouldn't have actually said anything. But th knowing that this piece was coming and being launching today, you must have been thinking, my goodness well, me. Look, I, I actually it's asked different. him. I said to Anson, I said to Anson, OK, I've worked with Jade before. I didn't say that we, we'd been to Myanmar. I, look, I was keeping some cards close to my chest. Yeah, yeah. And I said to Anson, I said, Anson, how do you come to that price? Talk me through how you come to that price. And he said, look, we bought this jade. It's old mine jade, but we bought this jade. This isn't a reflection on what deal we got. He said, we're a wholesaler. That's not what we do. We're a wholesaler. We reflect today's market. Well, 16,000 is today's market. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you've ever seen a carving like this before, I know you have never seen. You've never seen this kind of value. You have never seen this kind of value. Sorry, this is the lowest you've ever seen. Let me correct that. Goodness. If you've ever seen anything like this before, this is the lowest price you've ever seen. Ross? Oh. Half the price, 39 pounds. In fact, no, 39 pounds and 50 pence on the nose. 
It's Taipei. We're saying right now, close out on Taipei, Jadeite. Close out deal. Over half, over 50% saving right now compared to what Amazing. we have ever done on this historic... We know that this material is being valued more highly than ever before. That's why we've seen... Look, on split pay, you've got less than £10. Seriously. <gasps> oh, my goodness. I've never seen that price tag. You've never seen a split pay this long. No. You've no, no, never no, no, seen... No. Not for this. Not for something like this. Literally 48 hours ago, we put $16,000. And Anson was very clear to me. He said, look, we are pricing this at the replacement value. Someone walks into his store and they're looking to sell, you know, their mums, their great aunts, Jadeite collection. He's having to offer them today's market value. And he's saying, we're a wholesaler. We have to pass that cost on. So these 16,000 value is the value of this material as it was 48 hours ago. Wow. Right now, we are, we are somewhere. We're in another world right now at less than 40 pounds. This is, and that's why so many of you are, look, you're multi-buying because this is the time to stock up. Well, one of the other things that Susie actually says um, on air, she was talking to me about it the other day. She was saying, you know, somebody that, that has grown up with, with Jade, she goes, I purchase from, um, from, from Jewelry Maker because I know that it is type A genuine yeah. Jadeite as well. So you can buy without, not only, you know, knowing that you are getting the real deal, but also the ethics behind this gemstone but, as yeah, well. You, you need to know when you're buying Jadeite, you need to know two things. One, is it certified? That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a huge, huge, huge value add. Yeah. Is it actually certified material? Type A, buy a lab that knows what they're talking about. Absolutely. So you're buying with confidence, knowing that you're getting the real deal. And the second thing, Al, is exactly what you just touched on. Am I getting ethically sourced Jada? Yeah. I was there in Myanmar myself three years ago. I know... I know this is old mine material. So not only are you getting 100% the real deal, you're also getting the ethical deal as well. That's why yes. everyone's buying right now with a clean conscience. That's why you said Susie's saying, look, I can add to my collection at a time no one else in the market is able to. You're messaging in live as well. Thank you so much. This is your show. A collector into Prairie. I've been searching for Quan Yin carvings for a long time. Finally chose two from JM. They are everything I wanted yeah. and more. Oh, Tipperary. I'm so pleased for you. And remember, Tipperary, the value of them is shooting sky high now. If you Think about how, collect how happy you must be, Tipperary, not just with the quality of the carving, but knowing that your, your carvings, your Kuang Yi, they're in a market right now that sees a valuation of $16,000 plus in the last 48 hours. Do you want to be on the same boat as Tipperary? Do you want to be benefiting mm -hmm. like Tipperary is? I can't think of any other product no a car you know, I, 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 literally, I, I can't think of a tv i can't think of anything else where you buy it and the value is shooting up right now you drive the car off the forecourt and it's losing value yeah you absolutely. get you plug the tv in it's losing value yeah but tipperary you've got your Quan Yin, and i'm showing you now 48 <laughs> i'm showing you now 48 hours ago over sixteen thousand dollars at the jck show Exactly. And what's that? Got a halo of diamonds and, and some yeah, gold. No, the price is not in the gold. You're absolutely, you're absolutely right there, L. Let me, let me be, let, let's be fully transparent here. You've got 80, you've got 70, you've got three quarters of a carat of diamonds, okay? Go and look okay. on the wrapper pour. 16, that, three quarters of a carat is not, it's nowhere near no, no. $16,000. No. I probably guess even in today's crazy diamond pricing, maybe, maybe it's uh, 300. Yeah, 300 pounds. Maybe, maybe 300 quid, okay? Yeah. You got a little bit of gold there. Okay, what are we going to call it? 40, 40, 50 pounds? No, okay, let's, let's go a little bit crazy on it. Let's call it 150 pounds worth of gold. You're still looking at over fifteen and a half thousand dollars <laughs> yeah. in the jade yeah. alone. Do you want to make some fine jade jewelry? Now's your time to do it. Look, we're not we're, we're not going to be doing this moving forward. Our old old mine jadeite supplies they are they're they're pretty much exhausted now. Mm. Okay, pretty much exhausted. So when they go. Our window is firmly shut. We're like Anson. The only way we're do the only way we're going to be able to get hold of this is by asking you to, to, to do it. Now let me take you over to our names because I want to ask some of these people a question. Okay, I want to talk to Janet. I want to talk to Mary. I want to talk to Victoria, Gems and more. Okay, so Janet, you've got in, you've got involved uh, you've got involved at thirty nine pounds fifty. Janet, 
If I call you up in a year's time and ask you to buy this off you at £39.50, are you going to say yeah? Or, or, or Mary, are you going to say yeah? Or Victoria, are you, are, you, are you buying this to sell it at £39.50? I don't think so. Make it in Lincolnshire. I'm pretty sure if I ask Maker in Lincolnshire, can I have this back for £39.50 in a year's time? They're going to say, uh, actually, no, Jake, I'll tell you what. What, £80? If I double it, are you going to say yeah? Probably not. You're, no. You're probably no. not. You're probably actually going to go, actually, Jake, I'd like even more. Pat in Lincolnshire. I've got Heather in Middlesex. These are all people building portfolios right now. Monica, Geraldine, Lynn might have bought two, waiting for that phone call. Because it's the only way, once we've cut our material, it's the only way we're going to get more. Lynn might have bought two, going, hang on a second. At some point, the, the reality is, at some point in the future, jewellery maker is probably going to have to do a buyback programme. That is the reality, because there is no way we're going to get more. You can't, you can't buy rough. I can't buy rough now. It's not, it's not legal and it's not ethical. I wouldn't do it even if it was legal, because it's not ethical. So we can't buy new rough to make new carvings. That means we're probably at some point in the future, in order to offer more jade, we're probably going to have to do a jewellery maker jade buyback programme. Well, we but we... We've said this before, Jake, you and I, that, you know, we're both, you know, we're parents. Um, I've, I feel duty bound to get hold of Jade, right? I, 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 am, I am putting so much of this material into my own personal portfolio. Absolutely. Let me, let me show you. You've got another message come through. Let me show you that. that, that this is the same. Uh, here you go. This was temporary. I did get another one today. <laughs> I'm yeah. working my way now towards my 150th piece of Amazing. jade. That's a collection. That's yeah. a portfolio temporary. You could, and they say, look, I couldn't have done this without JM. Best team ever. Tip, well, Tipperary, you're part of that team. Thank you so much. That's we couldn't, amazing. We couldn't do it without you. But Tipperary, that you couldn't have done it. You've got another one today. We're probably going to be calling you back, Tipperary. <laughs> yeah. We're probably going to... Be, seriously, I do think... I, I'm having the, the conversation with Scott saying, look, you want to keep offering jade next year, year after the year after that, then you're probably going to have to offer a jade, a jade buyback program. What? I've just heard Susie, who, who we heard from earlier on in the show, the quality of jade from JM is just beautiful. That's why I purchased almost every item of jade. And, and Susie comes from a rich family history absolutely. of acquiring very yeah, fine portfolio and heirloom quality jade. I love them for their quality jade. Uh, Susie, thank you so much for messaging again. Susie, I think you're going to have a, you're going to love this show as we progress the way through. And thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with us on this show about that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the Goddess of Mercy. That is Susie's favourite piece. I'm going to leave this one there. You saw the weights on the phone lines. This is huge. This is a huge, huge show. We've got so many different carvings I want to share with you. Now, don't forget, coming up at the end of the show... <gasps> I'm intrigued. Very, very special. I'm not opening this box. Oh. This is one of the most sought-after, one of the rarest. And I don't believe this type of jadeite, I don't believe... This type of art form has ever been witnessed, certainly here in the UK, ever before. That's coming up. Not a JM exclusive, not a Jim Poirier partnership exclusive. Let's talk a national exclusive on an art form where the Chinese government have now dedicated a national intrinsic treasure. That's coming up. I'll tell you what I'd like to do next, Ross. Can I share our special year of the tiger oh. carving? Our year of the tiger carving. Now, we know the Chinese zodiac has huge amounts of sentimental value. It has huge amounts of spiritual value. We have never done anything like this before. We talk about, talk about jadeite and we talk about making them pendants, making them earrings. What I'm about to share with you is something of ornamental value. You could go so far as to say that, that, that this, these are objects d'art. This is fine, fine ornamental jadeite quality. You've never seen anything like this. There are nowhere near enough of these available. They look like they've been taken from the Forbidden Palace itself. Are you ready? Take a look at your Year of the Tiger sculptures. My goodness me, look at this. Gosh, 
They're unbelievable, aren't they? And there is a very discreet drill hole as well. There is a very discreet... I'm looking at those as literally the kind I, of I just ornaments. Keep, I just yeah. keep them as ornaments personally, but if you want to drill them, by all means, you could do. But this is your year of the tiger. They look like an artifact raided from the Forbidden Palace. These aren't, these are ethically sourced jadeite for you. I'm going to put a 60 second clock on, Ross, because this is going to sell out almost instantly. Yeah. Now you are getting a pair. You're getting a pair of these. Oh, there's two. You're getting the pair. Oh, I love it. And here's why, L. Here's why. Whenever jadeite, and I'm including nephrite jade there, this isn't, this is jadeite jade. Whenever those fine carvings hit auction houses, there's a price for one, there's another price altogether for two, and it's not double. You pay the convenience premium. Yes, yeah, you buy the, 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 the pairs. You um, buy them in pairs. Think about King vases, yes. Ming Dynasty vases. Of course. When, you know, when they hit auction houses, if you can get a match pair, you can get a match pair, then you get even more for them. Well, what we've done is we've said, look, you don't have to buy two in the auction. We're going to pair these up for oh. you. I put a clock on screen because these are going to sell out. And I didn't want anyone to panic. You've got 15 more seconds just to appreciate. Not your time to act. That's 10 seconds left. Time to appreciate. You have got... Absolutely beautiful. 38 carats in each one. They are... We are talking here about over an inch on the length of these. The phone lines are now open. This is your time to act. Your time to appreciate is now finished. Look at that. And again, you've got that wonderful translucency that we were talking about it, within it, these. They, they are top, top, top gem jadeites here. And, and now, Al, Al, I need to be absolutely clear here because most of the time when you see jade carvings, that is left, right jade. Yeah. Where the value in ritual. In fact, can somebody, could somebody please get me for me the uh, secrets of the gem guide, okay? Because we're blowing open one of those great secrets. Most people, most jade carvings in the world are nephrite jade. Yeah. Because you can't really carve jadeite jade. There's only one place in the world they ever mastered the skill. That was Suzhou, China. So ne most carvings, most jade carvings we see, and Richard Wise really discusses this in detail. He says, look, the value of nephrite jade, it, it's really in the value of the art. It's not, it's not intrinsic to the material. The value, is, it, the value really is... It, 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 is how well it's carved. In how well it's carved. Yeah. And he says that here. Look, you can see that here. Um, let me share. This is, this is, uh, this, this is the uh, secrets of the gem guide. Uh, secrets of the gem trade, rather. Uh, and he says it just here. Okay. Though there exists a hierarchy of quality in nephrite, the artistic quality of the carving itself is central to the appreciation of a nephrite object. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how well has it been carved? Only jadeite fits the definition of gemstone, where the material is valued principally for its visual wow. appearance. You don't really carve jadeite because it's just about maximizing carat weight. Well, hang on a second. <laughs> yeah. For this special year of the tiger jadeite, look at the quality of these carvings. Like I said, they do look like they are, they're almost raided from a museum. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You really see the detail within them too. I, I'm, I'm amazed you get both. I thought it was just a case of we had two samples, but that's wonderful to have so, a pair. Something like this, Ross, 760 pounds for the pair. Wow. Wow. 760 pounds for the pair. Look at the detail. That perfect pair, the prowess. You can see the collar, you can see the stripes carved into the tigers. And they're roaring, aren't they, as well? These are roaring. Tigers. Symbol of protection. Often within uh, the Chinese home. Again, that's news that, uh, from, from, from Sue and yourself. <laughs> Ross, listen to Ross. Ross. It says 760. Not 660. Never mind. We're done. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we are not. I've got to start somewhere. I've got to start somewhere. We don't have enough of these. We are not stopping anywhere near here but just before we move on i do want susie to explain for us the significance what does the tiger symbolize oh, in perfect. in jadeite sculpture tradition when they when 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 chinese master carvers are working with jadeite what properties are they imbuing that jadeite with when they create the visage of the tiger the tiger Tiger represents strength, 
and protection. So if you're wearing a tiger, we have a tiger in your home, it means that you're protected. There it is, strength, the power of the tiger. Mm. Ross? £39.50. Wow. That, that... For the pair of these. I'm not talking one gem. We're talking for the pair. We have we had less than 70 of these carvings available. Amazing. Look, we don't even have that anywhere near right now. We're saying less than £20 a, a jade carving. I don't think anyone in the world was expecting us to go anywhere near there. You're going to have to be quick. There has been an explosion on the phone lines. And, 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 and of course there has been, quite frankly, because look at what you're getting. Less than £20 per tiger jadeite carving. We've got... I need to come and, show you, come, and show me, come and show you this. Again, I'm going to say, I believe here at Jewelry Maker, very close, in the very close future, we're going to have to offer and, and, and put forward a jadeite buyback program because we can't buy any more material and we've pretty much ran out of our rough. Kathleen in Monmouthshire, are you going to be offering me these back at, at £20 a, a tiger? I don't think so. I think Kathleen's probably thinking, <laughs> look, Jake, you can have one of them back for £40 maybe. Nicolette, Christine, Heather, Chantal, Virginia, makers in London's picked up two pairs of these. I don't know if they're going to offer the other one at a pair of auctions or what. Cheshire, Brian and Kent, Jackie, Julie, making... Now, that's just the people who've been successful. I want to introduce you to another group of people. See this line here? This line here. This is the line of fate. And if I, if I show you your name, you're on the wrong side of it. Gail, Nicolette, Janice, the maker of Tipperary we heard from so much earlier in the show. You need to, Oh, they, I think they just have. They have. Well done. Let's jump over yes. here a second. Jump over here. This is, this is a maker making it happen. Well done, Tipperary. Well done, Nicolette. We just saw Pat in Essex. Let's jump back over here. I've got Geraldine waiting on the phones. Geraldine, try not to panic. I know it's hard. Try not to panic. You're stuck on a wait on the phone lines. In fact, you've just been picked up. We will take it out of an unchecked out basket for you. Janice, that could be yours. Margaret, Maker, Yvonne, Pauline, Kevin, Michelle, so many more. You've got to be acting quickly. Ross, come, we've got a live quantity, Ross. Let's, let, let's, let's share it as we race to a sellout. Um, um, we've got 22 oh, genuine really chances available right now, but you can see how quickly this is racing to a sellout. What a moment this is. And the fact that they are the perfect pair, you've got that pair. Um, we had a question earlier on saying, are they drilled? Yes, but very discreetly. So if you don't want to use them as a, um, as a pendant, can you see just between that, at the, his paws, you've got a really, really discreet drill hole. So if you wanted to wear that as a pendant, you could. But, or a pair of earrings. Or a pair of earrings. But if you want to uh, keep them as, as literally ornaments, um, then you can do that also. Single figure quantities, Jake. Oh we knew gosh. this was going to be popular. It, look, it was always going to happen. It was always going to happen today. This is your. Uh, right, we've got seven chances. Can I just show you again the names? <laughs> okay, Let, let's let's have a look. Let's have a look at the uh, the people on the wrong side of fate as we've got seven chances available. Alison, uh, <gasps> Susie, Su Susie, that's our Susie. 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 You should know You've better, be quick, Susie. Susie. <laughs> I'm really hoping you do get these. Uh, Alison, Mary, Maker, Gail, Janice. Right, that's your seven. Maker, Alan, Claire, Miss Janet, Angela. Uh, well, Angela's taken two. There's your next seven, and it just keeps on going down. Five okay. chances remaining. You can. See She's got Susie's hers. Susie's picked up hers. Let's give a quick shout out to Susie. Thank you so much for sharing your incredible Jade Eye knowledge with us, Susie. Caroline just picked up two in the Channel Islands. Alison, well done. Gabrielle, we've got Sean in Nottinghamshire. Maker in Gloucestershire buying three. Look, by the way, I'm not capping multi-buys today. Well, I have With one exception. Sure. That one. Okay. I don't know what's in there. This one. Oh. One exception. The type of carving the Chinese designated, the Chinese government in Beijing dedicated in 2008... When the Olympics were going on, you'd think they'd have bigger priorities. They don't, which tells you all you need to know about this type of art form. They declared it a national, not, not international, a national intrinsic treasure. You'll find all about that towards the end of our show. Let's stick with, uh, uh, Ross, if we could, I'd like to stick around our Zodiac because I know that you're loving the, the, these Zodiac sculptures. So, Ross, I want to open up, if I could, please. Here we go. Lot number eight. 
lot number eight. This is, you're going to love this. Its spiritual significance is fantastic. But it also, they are just adorable ice white jadeite pieces here. Huge <gasps> in their sculptures. Elle's just seen them. I love them. I'll I, I tell you now, Elle, oh. I am getting, I, 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 I made a mistake. I was supposed to get that one. That was sold out. Okay. Ross, I want one of every single one of these Zodiac sets, please. I'm actually going to build a collection for my, I want my own my daughter. I want my mum's favourite. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, oh, see, everyone's got their part of the story. Yeah. Huh? Everyone's got their part of the story. I'm building these as a collection for my daughter. Most of the time, my daughter has to wait until much later in life to get her own kind of jewellery <gasps> collection. I'm saying, look, here it is. Here's, here's your collection right now. Uh, Molly, age five, she'll be having a portfolio of Jada. You'd be oh. mad not to with these kind of opportunities. Let me share with you. They're even better in person, Let aren't me they? share with you the quality of your year of the pig carving. Oh. Take a look at this. Absolutely adorable. We've got two of them again. You've got a pair. You've seen the kind of value we're offering. I'm going to have to open those phone lines best. Now, these are, I, I need to warn you, Al, these are some of the biggest carrot weight of the show. There's actually, in fact, it is. It is the largest of our Zodiac carvings, 48 carats per pig. Let's open those phone lines. He's the sweetest, and do you know what? He makes me smile. But now I've seen it. I mean, I've, I've seen the recording, but in person, Jake, they're even well, can, more endearing, aren't they? You can see the detail, can't you? You can see the, the beautiful eyes, the folded yeah. ears. You, you have got a little drill hole there, you can see. So if you do want to make jewellery out of these, you absolutely can. If you want to keep them as ornaments, the drill hole is discreet enough that it will not devalue them as an ornamental piece. You can see that, you know, borrowing and, and, and utilising some of the finest jadeite carvers in the world to oh. deliver this special zodiac thing for you. And you've got here uh, nearly 100 carats, 96 carats between the pair of them. Ross, I wanna, I'd love to invite Susie... Just before we, before, before we even consider the value here, I want to invite Susie, our resident jadeite expert. For those of you who don't know Susie, Susie comes from a proud family tradition of securing top gem, fine great jadeite. She's had it passed down to her through generations. And here is Susie talking about the spiritual significance. What, you know, when jadeite carvers carve in the visage of the pig, celebrating the pig form, why are they doing it? Here is Susie to explain all about the symbolism. The pig. Now the pig represents loyalty and a harmonious home life. So if you offer a pig or have a pig, this means that you will have a lovely, serene home life full of loyalty, devotion and love. How wonderful. Loyalty, devotion and love. And I think it's so fitting that you've got a pair of them. Mm. You know, they're, they're bringing into your home that loyalty, that devotion, that love. But also you, can, you almost feel that affection between the pair of these. Are you going to keep them as a pair? My recommendation would be because we know with any of these kind of ancient Chinese artifacts, Ming Dynasty vases, King Dynasty jadeite sculptures, we know that there is huge amounts of value in keeping them paired up. So if you are going to gift them, my recommendation would be to buy two pairs of these. Ross, first crash. And I want to be absolutely clear here. This in no way is me telling you this is today's value for these. 680 pounds. And here's why I'm telling you it in no way is indica indicative of the value of these. Because I don't know anywhere where you can buy today, buy today this kind of value I don't, at 680. I don't know where you can no, do it. No. Not with some of the jade out prices I've seen in the last 48 hours. A genuine solid jadeite sculpture there, 17 by 20 millimeters. The quality of the detail, it's got that Suju signature 
all over this material and you are loving this already well done oh they're absolutely adorable they just literally make me smile and look at that you've got a river if i just turn him around for a second sorry mr pig but look you've got a beautiful river of of, of sash of imperial green running through yeah uh, absolutely you can see <laughs> sorry the detail <laughs> all over the pig including oh. the, 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 the adorable little curly look tail on this that one detail l ross for our Zodiac Year of the Pig. You've already missed out on the tigers. So many of you didn't act quickly enough. Ross, let's have a 60 second warning, okay? I'm talking to you right oh, now at home. Them. If you missed out on the tiger, you didn't act quickly enough. Now there's two types of buyers today. There's those of you who are getting involved early. I'm looking at you, Julie. I'm looking at you, Pauline, Diane, Pamela, Janice, Alison, Nicolette, and so many more. You're doing absolutely the right thing. Everyone pays that final closing price. But what you don't do is you don't miss out because you've been decisive very early. Now, there is another type of buyer, the buyer that gets in when they see the final price. That's absolutely fine. But be warned, you run missing out like the hundreds of people who did last auction. Wow. 25 seconds to go to make that choice. Do you want to get ahead of the queue or do you want to sit in the queue? We're British. We love, que we love queuing. We just do it as a <laughs> hobby. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. But don't make that hobby miss out. I don't want you to, 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 for, for that to be a reason for you to miss out. We've got 10 seconds to go on the largest of our Zodiac carvings today. They're so beautiful, aren't they? So beautiful. We're talking about what? How many, what's the carrot weight? 48. 48 carrots. In each? In each, each, each one. Ross? Match the price of the Tigers. Wow. £39.50, despite it being a bigger carrot weight for you. Those wow. Those confirmed. The only thing you now need to worry about if you've confirmed is whether you've got enough. Yeah. That's the, only, that's, the best, that's the best problem to have. So Maker in Gloucestershire, Pauline in, in, in Yorkshire, and, <laughs> and A in Cheshire. They're looking at this going, hang on a second, I bought two. Did I get enough of them? You know, Maybe I'm going to gift a pair of these. Is there anyone else I want to gift a pair of these? Ross, by the way, before these sell out, make sure I'm getting my pair. Uh, no excuses this time, Ross. I, did, I forgot to tell you last time, I'm having them this time. <laughs> Look, and I'm doing it. Let me be really clear why I'm getting involved in this, OK? I'm not going to make any... Uh, uh, hands, full disclosure, I'm not making any jewellery out of these. You can. There is a very discreet yeah. drill hole. But I'm not going to be making any jewellery out of these. Most of the jewellery in, in our family's portfolio is my wife's. And, and my daughter will get the benefits of it. But it's going to be in a couple of decades' time. God willing. But these, I'm going to say to her right now, here is your first ever, your own jadeite portfolio. Oh, no, that's amazing. You, know, you don't have to wait. And she'll love it as well. You know, we can start talking about how, you start educating about how assets work about how you know portfolios work and things like that at a very early age because this is what this is what this kind of gender and you're unlocking that you're unlocking that for twist less than 20 pound a carving this is Madness. historically good value and you know that because susie who, who, who literally generations mm -hmm. the tradition has been of collecting fine jade yeah okay now if there was anywhere else to go and buy jadeite from of this kind of quality susie would know about it of course Look who's involved. Yep. Almost every single auction so far, Susie's getting involved. Mm -hmm. Now, so, so it's one thing me saying, it's another thing entirely mm. someone, uh, you know, uh, uh, of Susie's tradition in this, in, in this art form of collecting Jadeite like saying, look, I'm getting mine. You cannot beat these kind of deals. Alison's done it. Heather's done it. In fact, we've got a full column of names right now on these carvings for you. And you were saying earlier on, I mean, I, obviously with the, the, the carvings being of this calibre, that's an indication, but we saw that triangle of, uh, of quality. You know where you spoke about colour. This is natural type A colour. We also spoke about the translucency. So it's not the four Cs. We don't use that uh, form of grading. Translucency. So how does the light sort of uh, radiate through your jadeite? Well, you can see that here on that recording. And also texture. Um, so you get really beautiful textures. Chinese, in China, they actually say you should feel physically compelled to want to touch your gemstone. Team with that, with the artistry that we've also learned about this morning um, and the symbolism of the pig itself, the fact that you're getting a pair for less than £20 each. I'm absolutely right. gobsmacked. Well, I've got to be completely honest here. OK, we had more of these carvings. And I've just, you've heard, not heard me talk for about 30 seconds. Mm. The reason 
because Ross is producing. Let's have a quick look at Ross. Okay, Ross has said, look, Jake, we're selling out of the Jadeite today. Yep. Sold out of the Tiger. I'm not having Jadeite that doesn't sell out. Ross is telling me he wants to go lower. So I don't mind telling you the reason you've not heard from me just because I've just gone in there and gone, absolutely not, Ross. I have seen what these are going for in the trade. I don't mind taking these to a trade show. Yeah. Let them go there. Ross is insisting, as the producer of this show, I, no. I, 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 I've got to say, I really disagree with what he's about to do. Maybe one day you should take Ross to those trade shows. Yeah, probably should to, to help educate him. <laughs> to, help, to help educate him on, on how this shouldn't be happening. I, 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 I fundamentally disagree with this. I think this is one of the sweetest carvings we've ever done. I think it might be my favourite. And the weight, the yeah, heft they're huge. of Jade. They're huge. Look at the little faces. Ross, uh, honestly, I'm not going to say it. I am not saying it. So you do what you need to do here. Ross says he's going to give you all a minute clock at home. He's always gone over, the, over, over your head, Jake. I... And it's it, going even lower. There's, a, there's quantity of these. That's the only reason why. They could be pendants, but they could also be the most amazing ornament. Do you know what sprung to my mind? And please take this as I mean it. You can go into a crystal shop and buy a little pig ornament for more than what's on your screens. This is type A, Burmese jadeite. You would pay more than that for literally some cut glass. Yeah, uh, the next year of the pig is 2031. Okay. okay. Little question for you right now. Where do you imagine the value of these is going to oh be? Oh my goodness, that's a really good point. In nine years time. And nine years goes like that, doesn't nine it? Nine years time, where do you think the value of these is going to be? Wow. Okay. Jake. He's gone completely over your head. Type A, he's rogue, rogue Ross. That's 15 pounds. 15. Oh gosh, the jacket's off. I, I, oh! I am just absolutely disgusted at that. When did you land, by the way? When did you Sorry. land? Oh gosh. Don't go, Honestly, Jake. Honestly, I'm disgusted at what Ross has just done there. I, I know. I, I landed literally about 14 hours ago. Um, 14 hours ago. I was so excited for this show. <laughs> I was so excited for this show. Oh, well, no, I was so excited for this show to help you understand what is happening in the Jadeite market. We've got this huge news everywhere else, literally everywhere else in the West... In the Western world, everywhere else is bracing themselves for having no more access to Jadeite. Remember what Anson told me? Anson told me, Anson is, is third generation, he's a Chinese-American, third generation. Uh, his, his grandfather and his, uh, his grand, uh, grandfather and then his mother, they're they, they, Chinese uh, and, and then they've moved to Hawaii. They are now there, they're now there, Anson's there now taking charge of the family business. And he's telling me the only way... He can keep his family business running, selling jade. The only way he does that is when someone dies. And that sounds, that, that sounds awful, OK? And I get it. I get it. This is why I'm so furious right now, though. <laughs> it takes someone dying and the family making the decision yeah. to sell their jadeite to, to, a known, to a known dealer, someone who can value it appropriately. They take it to Anson and then he's buying it off them. And he's buying it for about 10 to 14 times what it was just a few years wow. ago. So I hear that from Anson, and I'm excited to give you the update on what's happening in the market. I mean, and then Ross... <laughs> well, would you like to see how many's left? Trying to sidetrack and, you know, maybe skirt over that price drop. Uh, Gloucestershire is saying, uh, I bought my first jadeite carving uh, from, sorry, pronunciation. Suju. Suju. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that, sorry, uh, you know, because that, 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 that is my understanding of how we, how we, how we, how we pronounce it. 
Uh, in, but, but if anyone says that, I, I, you know, I'm not here to do disrespect to it. Um, in 2001, when I lived there, um, it was a small but a carving, a quarter of this carrot weight, and I paid a similar price. Quarter this carrot, wow. and you also won. There's one, yeah. One. one. How many years ago? You got a pair. 20 years ago. So imagine what that is now. We're giving you prices from what? 20, no, you're two giving decades them 25, 25 percent. <laughs> That's true. Of a price 20 years ago. Oh, there we go. Collector in Kent. Collector in Kent. You. You, you understand the significance of, of, of this. And, and Collector in Kent, the next, your, your Chinese zodiac sign, in next, it, we next visit the year of the pig in 2031. Collector in Kent, where do you think the value of this is going to sit yeah, in 2031? Exactly. We're talking £15 a carving right now. I the know. opportunity... I have never, I have never in my history... Here, here in Jewelry Maker, offer this kind of value. We shouldn't do abundant gemstones at £15 a carvings, let's be honest, but Taipei Jadeite. Um, look at everybody on those phone lines. So we've got two full column of names here. <laughs> this is racing to a sellout. Yeah, there was 140, but there are literally just 15 of these I, left. I, I, I think this kind of show, you just need to get them all. You need to build oh, yes. a portfolio right now. I'm doing it. Well, I mean, T I can Tipperary think of, I think about a collection worst things to collect. Yeah, I mean... 150 pieces. That's a portfolio. Yes. You know, when Anson talks about people going to, going to him, oh generation, goodness. couple of generations' time, it's people like Tipperary's who family who benefit from it in generation or two's time. I'm just thinking back to that photograph that you saw with the jadeite yeah. on display. Where was that? In, 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 in Las the, Vegas? It, it, no, in the... Do you mean the one with the, the, the Goddess of Mercy or the museum in Tucson? The, the museum in Tucson. Yeah. How many pieces were there? Uh, that was approximately seven, I think. OK, well, there we oh, go. Oh, sorry, no, forgive me. We'll show you. Seven lots, nine pieces. Nine pieces. Seven uh Tip rare, no, no, 150. I've got it wrong again. One, two, three, four there. So you've got one, two, four, six... Eight, nine, eleven, twelve. Twelve pieces. Twelve pieces. Tipperary's got 150. That's pretty yeah. epic, isn't it? That's pretty epic. You know, uh, I mean, uh, what a collection. I want to move. That 29.99 is really upsetting me. <laughs> Let's, can we just move on? <laughs> OK, OK. There are only five left, so. I love the pigs. I love those. Sweetest. I love them. Please don't misunderstand me. I love them. I just... Everywhere in the West right now is recognising the, the, the reality, which is that this gem is it's done. Except for Ross. Everyone else in the industry is doing it, except for Ross. Uh, where do we... Ross is now going, where do we go next? Ross, I'm, I'm quite inclined to pull the show. Um, <laughs> um, OK. Are well, these carvings are... I'll tell you where I'd like to go, Ross. Now, this isn't technically a member of the Zodiac, OK? It's not technically isn't or is? A, a member of the... Uh, pardon? What did you say then? It's not, it's not technically a member of the Zodiac. OK. But it has got a huge amount of spiritual significance. Mm -hmm. uh, Ross, if we could unlock for me, please, lot number 20. I think this is going to be one of the most popular lots of our entire JCK edit. You've never seen anything like this. We are talking... Wow. ...about an actual, solid jadeite butterfly. Not a butterfly wing. Because a lot of people do that. They'll do the wing, and then you've got to use metal and everything else. Because wing's easy to do. Or easier. Let's talk about a solid jadeite butterfly. Are you ready? Have a look at this carving. Now, Ross, no graphics. Do not open the phone lines. Just really study the sculpture you're getting here. Really study it. And Al, if you, you just lift it up for us so we can really see through the back of the gem. You see all of that detail, those drill holes. You can see the, the formation. I want to have 60 seconds here just to appreciate this, Ross, before the panic sets in. Because it's actually, I'm just having a look. Yeah, it is. It's one of the most limited lots of our showcase today. So intricate. So intricate. And that's doubly carved as well on both sides. Yeah. It's so if I was to literally flip it over, you'll see for a second, literally carved on both of those sides. Double-sided. But um, am I meant to have two? 
We're going to open our phone lines. This is another. We let, I mean, we, we could have called this the Noah's Ark of Jade because right now you've had carvings coming at you in two by two. It's an extraordinary opportunity. You've got actual, look at the quality, look at the translucency. This is how we value jade. It's one of the great virtues of jade valuing is how translucent the material is. Have a look at the quality that you've got coming through here. Oh, if you could, let's have a look at this with, with, with some light behind it because oh my goodness. We, we want our jade translucent. Take a look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Literally, you've got dove blue coming through. Intricacy, as we said, carved on both sides. Very, very, very gemmy. Carved throughout. So it actually, you know, I'm also looking at this. I don't know if you can see, because imagine if you wanted to create something that's moving, so, well, this, put the two together. This is the genius of the sculpture, by the way. This is completely the genius of the sculpture. I don't want to reveal this just yet. I think Susie's worked this out as well. Uh, uh, that, that is Susie, our guest designer. You can do multiple things with this. They each, they each are, by the way, individually a butterfly. Yes. But you can turn them into butterfly wings either this way or if you were to bend them a little bit further across, you'll see that they, they, you can make multiple different butterfly wing designs. It could be a designs. kaleidoscope, couldn't it? They're in flight. However you want to do this. This, uh, uh, this is why so many of you start to get You've just realised it's almost an optical illusion yeah, how amazing. this carving is done. They are a standalone butterfly or you can use them as two wings of a very, very ornate design. Virginia in Hampshire's bought two. Linda in Hampshire's also bought two. This is your opportunity. Beautiful. Uh, and at JCK, at JCKL. Yeah. Eddie Levion. Uh-huh. We were there at the red carpet review. What is the red carpet review for? This is where Eddie Levion tells the whole industry what the trends are going to be for the next 12 months. Guess what Eddie announced as one of the trends in the next 12 months is. If you manufacture your jewellery, if you craft your jewellery for sale, perhaps you don't yet, but you're thinking about taking that step, or you just want to make absolutely on-trend items, what the, one of the trends for 2022, 2023 is butterflies. Ah, oh, lovely. Wow. It couldn't be more timely. I'm going to invite Susie to talk to us about the significance. And Susie's actually involved already. Have a look, quick look. Susie's there with, with, along with some multi buyers as well. Freedom, isn't it? It's, it's symbolic of freedom. Change. Flight, happiness. A change, change, metamorphosis as yes. well. Yes. Yeah, I love the fact that if you, I mean, I don't know what, what, what these are going to be um, on our screens for today, but a group of butterflies is called a kaleidoscope. Is it? Yes. Did not know that. Kaleidoscope of butterflies. So imagine being able to create that piece. Ross, £39.50, straight down, please. That's for, for both? You, am I, again, am I meant to get two? You, you are going to get two here. They're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah, literally piece it together, make one big butterfly or create that kaleidoscope. And they do tend to dance with one another, don't they? Oh, my gosh. They're, they're, they're extraordinary. It's the first time as well we've seen that kind of that art form where you have drilling all the way through yeah. the jade eye. I'm going to talk about that a little bit later on in the show. But I do need to warn you, these are racing to a sellout. Look, we've got a full column of names already on this one. You've seen sell out after sell out after sell out this show. Have a look at the latest one. It's happening right now from Olga in Tyne and we're picking up three sets of these. Remember, I have said we are not capping multi-buys in this show yeah. this morning. Michelle, Gabrielle, Kathleen, Jenny and Oscar are picking up two. Sharon, Pauline, Jane picking up two as well. Well done, everyone who's acting. They're acting quickly on this because remember what I talked about. Jewelry maker will not have jadeite moving forward. Mm. In, the, in the very near future, our rough, our old mine rough from that 2019 buying trip, that will be exhausted, okay? Yeah. It is finite. At that time, jewelry maker is going to have to put in, if we want to have more, um, more jadeite, we're going to have to put in a jadeite buyback. 
It's the only way we can do it, Elle. Yeah. It's the only yeah. way we can do it. I was told in Hong Kong that a butterfly represents harmony. Oh, That's lovely. from Margaret in Stowe in Gloucestershire. Well done, everyone who is getting involved right now. It was now. always going to be a really lovely uh, sort of uh, representation, isn't it? Um, always going to be, because the butterfly is so, such, so beautiful and delicate, aren't they? Oh, look. There we are. There's, there is... Uh, Friend forecast. There's Eddie. And the butterfly Putting the butterflies top. on the map. Love it. Yeah, absolutely love that. Take that inspiration as well from the, well, the biggest name, ultimately. Um, there are less than 20 of the butterfly remaining. Um, let's, have, let's have a live quantity, Ross. Look, OK, we've got less than 20 of these. Now, the thing is, that does not mean 20 people. And you might go, How, why wouldn't it mean 20 people, Jake? Let's be really clear what's happening today. So many of you, it might be, it might be the prospect of a jewellery maker buyback programme. It might be the, the reality of what we're doing on Jade Pricing today. It's some of the most affordable we've ever been able to run these carvings. You've got Linda, you've got Isabel picking up two of these. You've got Michelle in Yorkshire, but then you've got Olga picking up three of these. So you can see how quite quickly it doesn't need, you don't need to have 20 people getting involved right now because actually when people are picking up twos, threes, it goes very, very quickly. Ha if you want to create these large, I mean, look at the size of the wings. We're talking yeah. about here. 30, 30 millimetres. That's well over an inch on wingspan. If you wanted to create a... It's going to be beautiful on the neck, absolutely. isn't if you, it? If you wanted to create a big butterfly design out of the two where you use these as wings rather than the full butterfly, yeah. by the time you put a bit of metal in the middle, you're, a bit of metal in the middle, rather, you're probably looking at about a two-inch wingspan. Wow. It's this gorgeous. is going to be a big stand-up piece of jewellery for, you, for your jewellery right collection. Right through the centre, yeah. Imagine that, literally using some of your maybe faceted rounds, a gemstone, a favourite gemstone, a birthstone, potentially. Um, we're down... We're down... Oh, a brooch, that's a lovely idea. Really lovely idea. Hello, Michelle. St. James, oh. I'm going to set sapphires in the spaces. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. Absolutely. What a wonderful idea. So what Michelle's talking about there, let's have a look at those spaces that Michelle's talking about. So sometimes jewellery designers relish negative space, OK? Mm -hmm. Negative space is the way you have that gap to allow light and, and, and a bit of space there. But actually, Michelle's saying, what she's going to do is just set little sapphires in there to inject colour. I love that idea, Michelle. I really do. I just heard we've got a message from Susie as well. Let's share Susie's message. Here it is. Thank you so much, Susie. It represents uh, you know, transitions, new beginnings there love from from, from Susie. Again, makes it, sense, doesn't it? it absolutely. That idea yeah. of metamorphosis. That, and also that idea of, you know, of, of, of a really, not just a new beginning in a kind of quiet way, but a new beginning in a bang, exploding out of the chrysalis and making an impact. Loving that. The final four, they're on the verge of selling out. Don't leave it in your baskets. I don't believe, I don't recall ever having a butterfly in Jadeite. No. No, no, so I think are, this is the first these one. These are brand new carvings. My next one, I think my, I, I'm going to call it right now. My next one's going to be the most popular of the show. Ooh. My next one is going to be the most popular of the show. I'm just going to have a quick look at my auction guide here. Ross, I'm talking about lot number six. Talking about lot number six. If we could present lot number six. Now, don't forget, just before we've <gasps> got for you, oh. coming up, a form of art the Chinese government back in 2008 legislated to make this officially a national intrinsic treasure. We have never had this form of art on our oh system channel gems. We've never had it here. This is coming up later. But before that, before this... Oh, my goodness. Elle's just had the, uh, the lot arrive to Elle. I agree with you. This is going to be the most popular lot of the show. I will give you... I'm going to give you a minute to appreciate this because the moment the phone lines open, you're going to struggle to get through. Have a look these, these at two. our cat carvings. Oh, oh, my goodness, they are adorable. Again, they can be worn as pendants. A discreet drill hole. Let's get a 60-second clock on. This is your countdown to appreciation, OK? This is the, before the chaos starts, before the madness starts, this is your moment to act. Look, and, and, and I, I also want to share with you, not just the quality of the detail of the carving there, 
But look at the translucency. I mean, this is borderline transparent. Ice white jade. Look at how this glows. Oh. You've got 40 seconds until I open phone lines on this historic opportunity. They are adorable. Yes, we are. Um, we're a, a channel of mostly cat lovers. So I agree with you. Plus the fact that these are just uber cute. They're, I mean, they're adorable, aren't they? They're yeah. absolutely adorable. The Jacob, look at the detail though. You've got the whiskers, yeah. the eyes, the nose, incredible amounts of detail. Ornamental value here for you. All set them, pendants, Little earrings, bow. whatever you want to do. It charms, however you want to use these, but you've just got to get these home. I love it, I love it. It kind of reminds me a little bit as well of the uh, Tokyo Bear. They're a little, like the cat yeah, version of the Tokyo very cultural, Bear. Very cultural resonance there. Yeah. So, Hello, Kitty. I'm just saying hi to the wonderful carving. Yeah. <laughs> Not infringing any copyright. No, no, no. Um, no. Seriously, though, all joking aside, <laughs> this, the phone lines have now opened. Oh. You have reacted. Your time to appreciate is over. Your time to act is upon you. Oh, you know, guaranteed minimum of 10 carats per cat that we've got here. Susie's the one of the first people involved in this. Yeah, guest designer adorable. Susie. Uh, I'm also going to invite Susie. Uh, this is guest designer Susie in Wiltshire there. Janice is there. Pauline's there. Sterlingshire, Isabel. Kathleen's got two as well. Uh, Susie's bought ev every single auction, which really tells you about the kind of value that we're getting involved in today. I'm also going to invite Susie to talk to us about the significance of this jadeite carving. By all means, pay attention. But while you're waiting on the phone lines, you're going to be on hold. It's so busy. You are going to be on hold. Pauline is right now. Use that time on hold to hear what Susie's got to say. The cat. Now, the cat is such a lucky symbol. It attracts wealth and prosperity to the owner. You've often seen the cat with its little waving arms in lots of restaurants and supermarkets. And who would want to have a cat in every home? I thoroughly recommend it. Thank you very much from Susie. And you have been acting while Susie was talking there. I just yeah. need to let you know, you've got a full column of names already yep. confirmed on this one. You've seen the kind of value this JCK edit is offering you today. We've never done jadeite carvings like this. We've never nope. offered jadeite prices per carat like this. You put the two together, it's a historic show. Take a look from Margaret in Tynan, we're jumping involved, Pauline in West Yorkshire. Isabel in Aberdeenshire doing exactly the right thing, buying two of these. Sonia doubling her savings. Kathleen doubling her savings. You've got Pamela, you've got Gail. Uh, it keeps on going down. Look, there is a bit of a wait on the phone lines. Again, let me talk to you about the line of fate, okay? The line of fate's just here. It's this purple line here. And if you see your name to the right-hand side of it, you are on the wrong side of the line of fate. Because we're talking today about old mine jadeite, type A quality. Now, I've had this conversation as the gem investor for the partnership. I've had this conversation with Scott, uh, the managing director of Jewelry Maker, and I've said, look, if Jewelry Maker wishes to continue offering jadeite once our 2019 material is used, if it's a lovely, lovely size proportion here. Mm, that's, uh, yeah, You've got 20 it. millimeters, which is about three, it's over three quarters of an inch I know, yeah. on the drop here. Now, if Jewelry Maker wishes, aspires to continue to offer jadeite after the 2019 material is gone, the only way they're doing that, the only way they're doing that is by offering a buyback. Ross, stick me 600 pounds on screen. Again, I. I'm amazed that we're given these by the pair because the, 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 the significance is elevated, right, in having pairs. It's like your money toads and, you know, uh, your tigers, as we discussed earlier on. The pair of cats. That's amazing with such detail. Right now, you're at £300 each. Yeah. And who knows? There could be a time when that buyback offers you this level. Mm, yeah. Because that's just based on market value. Who knows where the sky is on the market value of these? Well, we've just, we've just seen. Well, you've just seen a piece for 16 and a half thousand. Yeah, dollars. exactly. Uh, they didn't have anything like this. If they did, I'd have got a similar thing for you. Ross, you know the value of the carvings today. 39 pounds 50, please, for the pair making each one of these less 
than £20. Good nice luck. Bad. Ice White Jadeite. You can see that here. Look at the translucency that you got. Ice White Jadeite, less than £20. You are, of course, getting the pair. Good luck getting them on. Yeah. Now you've got to be quick on this. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Imagine those in a pair of earrings. Oh, my gosh. Pair of earrings. <laughs> Are you going to make a, a necklace with just a couple of them dropping down as little charms? Are you going to create a centrepiece of the pendant? It's, ooh, putty cat. Yeah, it, it, it is. Yeah, without saying it. But you've got that beautiful inspiration, little bow on the ear, pure white, natural type A jadeite. As if we're doing this for £39.50. That's absolute madness. I know from Facebook that our channel... They are uh, viewers who, who many adore cats. Another thing you could do. Yeah. Create a little cock collar charm. You, let your cat wear a jadeite oh charm. Oh, my goodness. Let your cat wear a jadeite, jadeite charm. Put it on the collar. Why not? I mean, cats are fabulous, aren't they? Under every 20 cat, pounds. Every cat Under 20 pounds. You know, ask yourself how much do you love your cat. Do you want to give your cat a jadeite? A jadeite cat? Nala would, would rock pendant. one My own cat, she'd rock it. It'd be incredible. Yes. Dave, Dave, oh yeah, he totally would, yeah. So now, we'll just clear, that's not David Troth. Oh, no, that's my cat, Dave. That's Elle's cat, Dave, not, <laughs> not Dave Troth. Although he would love one of these as well. Yeah, no uh, doubt. Look, all joking aside, at £20, at £20 of jadeite carving, let's not devalue what we've got here. No, the definitely The quality not. of the carving is extraordinary. And that unlocks so many design opportunities. Ross, no! He's, a, he's, he's gone rogue lately. Big for his boots, some might say. It is drilled, by the way. If I can just, if I can just flip the cat upside down. Can you see? There you go. Beautiful, discreet drill hole so you can wear it on the neckline. Oh, Jake's gone very quiet. I don't really know what to say. I, I, I think less than 20 pounds of carving it's extraordinary value. It's extraordinary value. And we've heard from Susie mm -hmm. about the significance of this. Mm -hmm. You've got ice white jadeite here. And Ross, it... everyone else <laughs> in the industry in the West is asking themselves, how high does jadeite go? Yeah. Everyone else in the industry is doing that, except for Ross. It's like Ross just doesn't understand the intrinsic. Ross is still stuck in the years <laughs> when the West didn't understand jade value. And I feel incredibly awkward about what's about to happen. I think genuinely Ross should maybe go with you to one of these gem fairs just to, maybe it'll sink in. Ross? That's, I mean, this show is for education. This show is for education. And I do not want anyone to learn today that jadeite sculptures should be under £15 because that is not the lesson of today. No. That's absolutely not the lesson of today that jadeite sculptures are going to be go going at £15 moving forward. £15. You know, what? when you say it out loud, that's madness, isn't it? It's actual it really madness is. It when you really say it out loud. Jade, I mean, pop, pop these on, a nice pair of gold shepherd hooks. Yeah. Can you imagine the oh, demand goodness. they would be next door? The demand they would be at Gempori. The, the demand that well, they the partnership is probably going to have to put in place a jade out buyback scheme soon. Yeah. So, you know, th those of you who are multi-buying thinking, look, OK, that's fine. I'll take advantage of that board buyback. And I was just giving you a huge design idea there. I'm not even engaging with the price. I find it, <laughs> I, honestly, I find it, given what I know, given what I know where the rest of the market is doing, I, I feel a fool stood up here with that. Well, and the, and the global dynamic for jadeite has very much changed it's no longer you know purely an eastern gemstone it's a gemstone the world are desperate to get hold of the world is desperate but it can't it, moving forward it cannot both both that you know the, there is legislation in place to prevent it rightly so mm -hmm. ethically it's not the right thing you've got here certified natural you've got here ethical provenance you've got everything and, and we're quite open about the fact that we're not going to be able to get more of this moving forward yes Yes, we are. Uh, London's messaging in. Uh, whoop, whoop. Jade kitties, one to wear and one as a charm. Thank you. I, our, our viewers love cats. They do. No, absolutely. It is really popular. I, I see that it's really popular. I was really happy for you at 39.50. 
I, I am I am worried about even showing my face at a gem show when Ross is doing things <laughs> like this. No, I, uh, honestly, it's really awkward sometimes. I, well, I bet. I bet it is, actually. Of course it is. Do, is there any strongly worded conversations that go on? I've had, them, I've had them previously. Mm. And if Anson, who took the time out of the show to tell me that one of the biggest Jadeite dealers in North America, yeah. third generation Chinese American, took the time out to tell me the only way they're getting material like this, the only way they get material like this is when someone dies. Okay, and what I mean by that, it sounds grim, but the reality is families build portfolios and they pass down generation to generation. Mm. And maybe that generation decides, look, now's the time, after a few generations of collecting, now's the time to cash in on our asset. And Anson is having to offer 10 to 14 times the price to reflect today's market value that he was just a few short years ago. So you have everyone else in the trade going up in price and Ross going to a price that is absolutely not authorised to approve for today. Well done, everybody. I know, amazing, amazing. Oh, it's limited now on the kitty cats. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Well done. Ross, where do you want to go? I've just kind of lost the plot today. <laughs> Shall we stick with the an animal theme? Because uh, one of my favourites is the cunning fox. I do love this one. It's beautiful. You're not going to do that to me, though, Ross. Or we have the little mouse. I'd quite like the mouse. I like the mouse. I like the mouse. Yeah, I like okay. the mouse. Okay, the mouse is probably... <laughs> the naughtiest thing we've ever done. Yeah. It is. <laughs> it is. Probably the naughtiest thing we've ever done. I'm going to tell you now, we are never going to do this again. <laughs> it is naughty. And Ross, absolutely I need one of these, okay? Absolutely. Even though it's most limited, do not miss out on this lot for me. Oh, it's heavy. I've never seen it in person. I've heard the rumour. Haven't you? I've heard the well, rumour. Well, before you open that, bo that box... It's heavy. ...is full of magic, hmm. okay? And I'm gonna to present to you <gasps> the magic mouse. Have a look at this immortalized oh my jade goodness. form. There's 65. Our magic mouse. This is gonna be ultra competitive. I'm gonna be in there with you, good. Look, look at the quality of the Jedi. Yeah, that's amazing, that is. And then look at your magic mouse. You might know <laughs> them by another name. They're magic mouse here. Look at the quality of material we've got. <laughs> Let's open that 60 second clock just to appreciate. I really want to see the fine detail. Look at the trans extraordinary translucency oh, of the Jade here. These are incredible. I want to get hold of these as well. They're and then absolutely look at amazing. the detail. Oh, my goodness, here. And we're going to do a value where we are probably taking the mickey out of current <laughs> jade prices. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, uh, you're looking at one of the most, well, the most legendary gemstone with probably one of the most legendary characters, aren't you? Well, yeah, Magic Mouse. Well, Everyone loves a Magic Mouse. Everyone loves Magic Mouse. 20 seconds. Look, honestly, look at the detail, though. It look at the eyes. I tell you, if we take away the torch, you've seen the translucency. Look at the detail you've got here. That nose, the big smile, wonderful eyes on this as well. The big ears, classic ears. And, of course, you have an integrated bail yeah. carved into the jadeite here. Yeah. Integrated bail carved in, top jewel there uh, for you. Time to appreciate it. over. Time to act is now. Type A, green and white magic mouse carvings. They're about an inch. They're about an inch here. I've heard about these. They've been months in, uh, you know, one, uh, there was a rumour, wasn't there? I, like, I, like I said, it was probably the naughtiest thing we've ever done. <laughs> We're not going to do it again. Uh, but we just love a magic mouse. Everyone loves a magic mouse. And, yes. and you do as well. I know you do. Do you have anyone you're going to be making jewellery for who'd absolutely love these? Um, Tiggy's, Tiggy's childminder is obsessed with, with that. With Magic Mouse? That, that brand, that mouse, yeah. I don't know what brand you're talking about, but... Yeah, that, that mouse the mouse. Yeah. yeah, obsessed. It's a really lovely gift. But I'm probably going to miss out because the phone lines have gone nuts. 
It, it has does. essentially got a built-in jadeite uh, jump ring there for you. So you can make truly top gem jewellery here. Ross, first crash, £1,000. Mm -hmm. Wow. The detail is just unbelievable. 45 carats. You know, before even opening the case, I could feel the weight. Literally could feel the weight of this type A jadeite. The fact that you get two as well. Amazing, is it? Now, it's on split pay because these should be... £120 for the pair. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. Let's do that, Ross. £120, please. So that's working out what? What's that? £60, which is awesome. £60 for this. That's incredible. 45 carats in each. Your carrot weight has significantly gone up on beautiful translucent jade. So you've got the demand for type A jadeite. Yeah. The demand for master carving. And the irreplaceable and the demand, nature of this. And the demand in general. For magic mice. For magic mice. <laughs> mice that bring a bit of magic into your world. Yes. And you can get this home for £40 on Ross, your split pay. Hold those three split pays in. Yes, this is the normal price. Yes, this is what you're likely to see moving forward. We have put ourselves in a bit of a box in today's show. Ross, £39.50. Really? I was expecting this one to be far, far, far I'm more. It should be. This, this, this actually should be far more because of you know, what we have to do to do these type of carvings. Wow. And they're big. They're big mice, aren't they? Um, oh my goodness, look at that split pay. Oh, I hope there's some of these left. This is, I'd actually go so far as to say this is probably the deal of the show yeah. that we've brought you so far. Well done to Virginia, to Kathleen, to Chantal, to Pamela. Look, take a look at the phone lines. We've already got a full column of names. This is one of the most limited of the show. This oh, is one of the most limited of the show. Goodness me. I'm not sure if you can get a stuffed one, let alone a, a type A. I don't know where you could even go about getting a, a stuffed teddy bear of a magic mouse, uh, but I don't, I don't know what the value of them is. But I do know that you cannot replace yeah, exactly. 45 carats of mm. type A jadeite in today's market. Who are you making this jewellery for? How happy is this going to make them? Yeah. Absolutely. You know, is it a gift for now? Is it a gift for a few years' time? Is it an heirloom in someone very precious to use collection? Perhaps their first heirloom that you're able to present for them. You may have already built some pieces that you intend to give them at a future point. But this is the time to do it right now. This is the kind of piece you can give them early doors. And uh, uh, look, uh, under £14 on split pay for the pair. Yeah. At less than £20 a carving, you put a bit of silver on there. You perhaps you're putting it on a chain. Is it going to be their first piece of jewellery they get to really enjoy? Their first piece of... Fine jewellery. Perhaps you made the stretchy, but it's the first piece of fine jewellery that you're gifting someone incredibly, incredibly close to you and precious to you. This is your time to act. Good luck getting involved. Look at that. It is, it is cool. It's so, so, so cool. I think, I think those of you that love the Tokyo Bear are going to absolutely adore the little mouse. The little mouse. But you don't just get one little mouse. There's two of them. Again, pure ice white. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. That's under £20 each. You can get it home today for £13.16 on your split pay. But um, was I right in saying this was one of the most, most limited? Uh, this is, yes, this is one of the most limited. Mm -hmm. uh, we weren't able to do many of these. Uh, and we actually, we, we should be nowhere near. You can see the three split pays. We actually just shouldn't be here at this point. Hmm. Trousers are very apt this morning, aren't they? For uh... Uh, Yeah, you could say that. You're on brand oh. <laughs> with a magic mouse. With a magic mouse, you know, polka dots and all that. And all that. Yes. All I just need. I feel the ice getting thinner. <laughs> uh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave <laughs> this one there. <laughs> Final seven of those. Okay. Good luck. Good I... luck. Good luck.
I'm going to share with you something I almost promised myself I wouldn't. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of today's deal of the day. Mm -hmm. This is an art form. This is an art form that the Chinese government over, well, nearly 15 years ago, officially designated a national intrinsic treasure. This was actually added extra to this show specifically because of what we saw at JCK. <gasps> I'm only going to give you three seconds to see your deal of the day. Because you have never seen anything like this. I'm not opening it for print. Done. Off. That's it. That's your sneak peek. Deal of the day. I'm going to explain why this is almost locked away in Suju and the world's not allowed to know about it. That's all coming up in your deal of the day. But taking us there, Ross, I'd like to do our last pair if we could. Our last pair of wonderful animals. Oh. The cunning fox. The beautiful. The changeable fox. And this fox is so beautifully sculptured. It is. The movement of the line. You can almost feel the feather-like delicacy with which the jade was, was, was moved and carved by those Suju master artists. Are you ready to witness the fox? Take a look at this. Oh, they're beautiful. Absolutely Let's pop beautiful. a 60 second clock on there for you. As we just take a minute to appreciate the quality of what we've got here right now. You haven't got to panic about missing out. You haven't got to panic about getting involved early. This is your time to just Really take in the detail. Mm. Look at those eyes, wonderfully crafted. Look at the way the, the, the bushy tail curls around, wraps up and keeps, keeps this fox cuddling up and warm. Look at the way its nose is buried deep into its hands. Everything about this level of detail is fantastic. You've got a very discreet drill hole again. Oh, yes, yeah, the, just between the ears at a 45-degree angle. So if you wanted to craft jewellery out of this, it is a possibility, Very, you know, really enabling you there. That, that, that's gorgeous, and I love the fact that that he or she is so beautifully wrapped up. No, they're, they're adorable, aren't they? Okay, your time to appreciate is over. Ross, <clears throat> we need to open those phone lines. Now is your time to act. You've got nearly an inch, millimetres, wow. millimetres shy of an inch on the drop on this one. Uh, it's, it's an extraordinary carving. Again, you are getting a pair of these. You are getting a pair of these. And this is, you know, you're really, you're building a menagerie of genuine jadeite sculptures. This is the kind of thing I could see Bonham's picking up on. Yeah. Christie's picking up on. Sotheby's picking up on. In years to come, a complete menagerie of jadeite carvings. Well, Van Cleef are you, it's all about animals at the moment, yep. aren't they? They're you. Uh, Levion just announced at JCK, again, taking things back to nature. Yeah. Let's have a full collection inspired by there. Look, but you have got here, it's about the completeness of your collection. It's always yeah. about the completeness of your collection. When it comes to auction-worthy lots, it's about the completeness of the collection. And if you could complete your collection even more today, then this is the time to do it. Let's hear from Susie about the significance of the fox when a jadeite carver carves and imbues the visage of a, a fox onto jade, what is the message that they are, they are spending? What is the energy they are pouring into your portfolio? The fox. The fox has magical powers. It's known to be able to shoot you. So what this means, if you're given a fox or you own a fox, it means that you're able to use your influence over others to get what you need and achieve your dreams. Want a bit of a fox. Thank you very much, Susie, for the explanation. While Susie was talking there, 
We, Susie's just jumped in and got hers. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and your passion, Susie, mm. for this, for these yeah. incredible carvings. Susie's jumped in. She's sandwiched between Christine and June there. You've got Kathleen. You've got Gloucestershire. Pamela, Pauline's multi-buying. Janice in London, Pauline in Berkshire. So many regular names. It's so great to see you on these. This is the last, really, of our menagerie of these carvings. Yeah, I lo I've loved the fact that today it's all been about the wonderful animals. Um, absolutely love that. The fox, again, something we've not seen anything remotely close. And they're beautiful, aren't they? They're, they are beautiful, beautiful keep, uh, creatures. So to capture that within the, one of the most beautiful gemstones uh, that exists, unbelievable. Again, perfect pair of earrings or maybe perfect pendants. You don't need to overcomplicate these. I think that's the beauty of each of these carvings, Jake, is you could just literally put your bail on and away oh, you go. Or people not. Are. People are. Yeah. Don't forget, do you remember, do you remember the, um, the uh, beautiful goddess of mercy that I yes. showed you at the beginning? Okay. Yeah. This is one of the highest forms of designer art. If we could, Adam, let's have a quick look at that one more time. The beginning of the show when we shared with you the goddess of mercy carving, mm -hmm. we, saw, we saw what designers are doing with it. Yeah. They're not heavily elaborating, okay? No. They're, they've literally just gone, okay. Let's stick a bale in there. And actually, you'll see that they didn't have a carved halo. So let's create a halo of diamonds. We had a built-in carved halo. Oh, yes. True. But they've just gone, look, stick a simple bale around, a couple of prongs at the bottom to try and hold it in, and then we're done. They didn't have a drill hole in theirs. But you have a drill hole in yours. So it's simplicity. When it comes to jade, it is simplicity that is winning out on these. First crash, please, Ross. 600 pounds. Now, again, okay. I do want to be absolutely candid with you. This is old mine type A Burmese jadeite from my buying trip back in 2019. I can't get fresh material. It is impossible. Absolutely impossible. So when our jadeite is exhausted... We are going to have to go the way of every other jadeite jeweler in the, in, in the world. Well, in the West, certainly. And that is that they have to buy back. So you, you will see probably very shortly, you may see a jewelry maker jade buyback program. Mm. And we'll be offering, say, look, send us in your jadeite. Let us know, right in, right in at that time. I don't know exactly how the mechanical work, but if it's a partnership, we want to continue jade out. This is the only way we're going to be able to access it. Secondary market. Because the primary market doesn't exist anymore. I don't know how high this is going to go. But I know what it's not going to do. It's never going to be as good a value as £39.50. Let's do it, Ross, please. Oh, my goodness. Again, we are talking about... One of the world's most valuable gemstones. Yes. Remember, G Gem Guide said, big three plus jade. It's, yes. It's, it's reinventing the hierarchy. It's reinventing the hierarchy in the West of precious gemstones. We're having to learn that, aren't we? We're having to learn about the jadeite uh, yeah. uh, uh, market, basically. We're slow. We're yes. slow on it. Yes. But thanks to people like Roland Schlüssel, we're starting to learn. The Swiss-born uh, gemologist, he's calling jade the fifth pillar of wow. precious gems. Diamonds, rubies, sapphires, emeralds, and jade. It's now the fifth pillar. So, you know, in a way that Tanzanite never did. Tanzanite never became a precious gem, okay? We, it, it, we talked about it. We said it with, with diamonds. We, we, we compared it to a sapphire. But the industry never really recognised it as breaking the big four. Here it is in colour saying exactly that. Guys, we have to recognise it as the big four. And it's, you know, it's not just Roland who's doing that. You've got other authors and people talking about it in, in similar veins. You've got, uh, you, you've got the gem guide. When they, when they talked about it, uh, Stuart Robertson, who I saw at JCK, he said, look, variety of gems were in demand, but it was the big three, big three That's coloured great. stones, ruby, sapphire, emeralds, plus jade. So again, everyone's now recognised, look, we, ju we just have to start talking about it in the same vein. Very, very precious material. And we're getting it for £39.50. This is why I didn't really want to do this auction. Sorry, I need to update you on a conversation that Ross is having in my ear. He's saying, look, we've still got more. In fact, actually, 
we carve more of the fox than any other any of the other animals. And Ross is in there, in the gallery right now, saying to me, "We're race. I want to be racing to a sellout, and it's not going to happen at thirty nine pounds fifty." We all need though. We all need, or, or we'll come across those situations where we need to change and adapt. The fox. The one thing that shouldn't be changing that. right now, El, is the price. I, I, the one I, thing that shouldn't be changing. I was about to say, Jake, you need one of these foxes, don't you? Because if we're about to... I, um, see, I don't think I'm the one that needs to change. I know everyone <laughs> feels that way. Yes, it's true. I know everyone feels that way, Elle, but I don't feel I am the one that needs to change. Good point. Because I'm there with the rest of the industry. I, 48 hours ago, <laughs> I saw what jade prices were. So I don't think it is me that needs to change. I think it's Ross that needs to change. Yeah, Ross. It's Ross that needs to educate himself and bring himself to the level of every other gem dealer in the West right now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not going to say anything, Ross, because I, I, I don't think we should be moving off this. Uh, right now, Director Adam, he's... Uh, he's he, What's the what's rock and a hard rock and a hard place? That's it, honestly, because he's got Jake saying one thing, Ross saying another. Oh my goodness me! Um, we're all we all have those times in our lives when we need to bend and change and adapt. That is what the fox is um, apparently assisting uh, assisting of. Something serious is going to happen, says Ross in my ear, Jake. Oh, honestly, Al, I'm disengaged. Okay. I, 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 I'm already of the view that... I'm already it's of the view that 20 pound, 20 pound a fox... 20 pound a fox is extraordinary. You've got 18 carats in each one. 18... No, no, no. 18 carats. You've got 10 seconds and then something is going to happen. And I, I, I don't want to be part of it. I actually don't want to be part of what's happening. I don't know. Well, Jake's definitely not ready, but I'm ready. Nobody is paying £39.50, says Ross. For the pair of beautiful foxes. Oh. What the fox? I can't believe <laughs> I've done that. What he said. £10 a carving for Jadeite. Yeah. I, I don't even know why I can do these shows. I actually blessed. don't know why I can do... What is the, what is the point... <laughs> It just, I just feel so silly right now. I really do. Oh, goodness me. Well, a hundred of you have this in your basket. This was one of the biggest quantity auctions that we'd carved. However, are you all right, Jake? I just... <laughs> just have a little sit down. Just... I just, I, yeah, I like, we, we, we go to these gem shows. I know. We go to these gem shows. We talk to third generation jade dealers like Anson. We find out what's happening in the market. We give these updates and we, we've just got a producing team that just don't listen at all. It's just. <laughs> Actually see. Oh, do you know what? It's awkward this is, isn't it? It's properly awkward. I don't mean to be, I, like, I, I, I get like everyone's getting. No, no, I, get, no, I know, I know. And, everyone's and getting a great deal, but I, I also just think everyone's getting a great deal at £39.50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, d d does that £20 really make a difference? Probably not. No. I mean, there was... I mean, wow. I just... I, I, I... Just look at it this way. I mean, like, with this deal... Obviously, all these people, they're going to have help now, aren't they're all, they? Yeah, but they're also getting a great deal. They're also getting a great deal at £39.50. I don't think I'm ever. I, uh, I don't think I'm ever going to bring Jade again with Ross. I'm never going to bring Jade again with Ross. Uh, well, London is saying, "Wow, guys, I feel for Jake, but so happy for all of us collectors." Thank you, uh, London. Thank you for your kind words. I, I'm. I am happy for you, but I'm also like, we. He does look dejected. Why do we go to? The sh I don't know why we go to the shows. We're just. 
uh, Alison saying, just looked at the screen. Uh, he did. I saw that change in your expression, you know. All of a sudden, your face. Uh, hello, Gloria saying, I absolutely love it. Without you, it wouldn't be even be possible. That's a really good point. It's very kind, Gloria. Yeah, you're all making him feel so much feel, better. Oh, I feel, Jake. I just, oh, no, Everybody's going to want to give you a cuddle. It's fine. It's just... <laughs> That's it, it's fine when it's really not fine, is it? Uh, Jake, this is amazing. Thank you for all your hard work in bringing this stunning item to us from Elizabeth in Staffordshire. You're welcome, Elizabeth. I, look, I am, I am happy for you, I am. Um, is Jake crying? It's not far, Val. I think it's very close. Very, very close. Have we ever done, have we ever done a master carving for £10 before? I'm not helping matters, am I? Poor Jake. Someone give him a cuddle. <sighs> Do you want a cuddle? Do I'll have, yeah, I'll, I'll take the cuddle, Jake. I'll take the cuddle out. Come on. Squeeze it. Come on. I just, oh. It's okay. It's not. It's not, and in a year, two years' time, we'll all realise why it's not. Still There's a lot. Look, I'm really happy for a lot of you. I am really happy for a lot. I was really happy for you a lot of you at £39.50, though, to be quite frank. But we are where we are. You've still got what's in your amazing. Uh, your I don't want to do. Box. It. I don't want to do it with Ross. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. I actually. Oh, do, like, do I have to do it? Do I have I'll to do it today? I'll be the media. Yes, because they're beautiful. I don't mind. I'm happy to do it with you on another show where Ross isn't producing. Oh. No, he's, he's really upset me today. <laughs> Just... Because what I've got for you is an update from JCK. Right? What I've got for you is an update from the JCK show about a, fo a form of art the Chinese government designated a national intrinsic treasure in 2008. They wrote law to protect this form of art. How I've got this out of the East, I... I, I'm not a hundred, I'm still pinching myself it's happened, how I've got it out of the East 15 years after that law was written. And I don't know if I want to, I actually... Please, because it is so beautiful. One auction away. I need one auction to think about it. Okay. <gasps> I'll tell you what I'd like to do. I'll tell you what I'd like to do. A pad... Paracha carving. Paracha sapphire is renowned all around the world. And there are so few of this next carving that I know of. It is a carving based on the oriental lotus, the Padmaraga. Have I absolutely love beautiful. this next carving. Take a look at this. Gosh, this is beautiful. It's a brand new... I've never offered this form of... I've never offered this form of carving before. This is something very, very special indeed. What we'll do is we'll open phone lines straight away for you. It's hugely symbolic of, as well, of course, the lotus flower. Yes. I love this one. This is probably one of my favourites. Um, Look at the quality of the translucency. This is top, 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 top gem, gem grade. I mean, we think about the lotus flower, and I'm sure you've heard Susie talking about it in the past. Um, it's quite often uh, a symbol that people have tattooed yes. as, um, as it represents the transition through sort of darker times. Oh, is Susie talking about that? She'll describe it far better than I will. Um, I love this. Let's, that, well, let's, hear from, let's hear from Susie on the spiritual significance of the Padmaraga carving. The lotus. The lotus is for enlightenment. And what that means to the wearer or owner of a lotus flower is it means that you'll be more open-minded, um, fair and really thoughtful and kind and seeing other people's perspectives. Loving that, absolutely loving that. The, the lotus flower itself grows within muddy waters and literally it, t it finds its way to the, uh, to the surface and that's where 
you get that beautiful, beautiful bloom, considered by across many, many, many different nations and countries as the most beautiful flower that physically exists because of the journey that it has actually traveled through those murky waters to reveal such colors. Exquisite, absolutely exquisite. Okay, I'm gonna do something a little bit crazy on this one. I've got to cheer myself up a little bit. I've got to- Dust yourself off. I have got to dust myself off. <laughs> I have got to dust myself <laughs> off on this one. Uh, and, and also, quite frankly, Ross has kind of stolen a lot of my thunder this show um, <laughs> by offering. So, so, so I, I, I need to, I, 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 need, I need to change. I need to be like the fox. I need to be changeable, adaptable, adaptable. I need to, I need to try and change the energy a little bit that's coming from me. Um, okay, Ross, give me sixty seconds. I've got sixty seconds to make a bit of a personal turnaround and try and reclaim some control over what's supposed to be my show. Um, Ross, okay. <laughs> it's a Love single carving, one. it's hugely significant. Yeah. Earrings, pendants, look at the translucency, the quality of this jadeite. This is old mine, you can't get hold of this anymore, not in the West, it is literally, it, the, the only way you're getting hold of this is out of somebody else's collection. And they are not, they are not asking for the kind of prices that we're doing today. They are, they are, they are really, really, really uh, realizing and, and appreciating and recognizing the value of their own collections. We've got about 15 seconds to go until I have to reclaim the energy in this show. I'm going to say, put yourself, put yourself in the driving seat. Right, Ross, just give me that number one more time. Hang on, Ross, 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 Ross. No, no, Ross, where you want to finish on this? Yeah, hang on. Go on. Uh, I want to finish at uh, 24.99. What, what did he say? I can't hear him. He said uh, 24.99. 24.99, yeah, okay. Ross, 10 pound. <laughs> 9.99. Oh. Oh. 9.99. This, Ross... This, Ross, this is a little industry lesson for you. This is why people get really cross when one player devalues gemstones because there's a race to the bottom. 9.99. 9.99. This is why, no, seriously, this is what happens in the industry. In the industry, oh. if one player does something rogue and completely devalues and goes against the tide, completely devalues the, completely devalues the gem, <laughs> it creates a race to the bottom, which normally, by the way, I'm benefiting from. Normally, I am, you, at home, taking that steel deal. And my gosh, I'll tell you what I'm doing. When, I, when I'm doing that, I'm buying it by the parcel. I'm buying, I'm filling my vault with that. I'm filling my stash for you. That's how I get those kind of crazy deals. And I can see right now, a lot of you are doing what I'd be doing. Maker in the West Midlands buying four. June buying three. Maker in Gloucestershire picking up six of these. Yvonne, Michelle, Suja. So many of you yeah. doing ex behaving exactly how I'm behaving in, in your space. But Ross, it doesn't feel great if you're the dealer, does it? It doesn't feel He's great very quiet. if you're the dealer. And this is why, <laughs> this is why, Ross, a little education on the trade. I like to educate on this show. I didn't want to be delivering this lesson, but here it is. Well, I want to show you, we've got two and a half full columns of names. Uh, three columns of names, sorry. Yeah, 9.99, that's utter I mean, There's about a three minute wait on the phone lines. You know what I'm going to say? I'm not going to say sorry. I can't apologize for four, sorry, four minute wait on the phone lines. How can I apologize for four minute wait on the phone lines when you've got 9.99 for certified type A jadeite? But, 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 Jake, you know, going back to, as it sold out, yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, going back to, that is going to be, it's so commercial because it's, it's not just here in the West, the lotus flower, it's massively so in the East. It, uh, Ross, Globally. Are, are we calling that a sellout? Yes. Oh, 17 left, but 165 in baskets. And a queue on the phone lines. Yeah. Um, everybody okay? Okay. It is time. It is time for us to do something that 14 years ago 
Chinese government in Beijing legislated to try to stop happening. What we are about to bring you, even amongst the pantheon of master carvings we've brought on this show, I'm talking about some of the most significant I've brought, I'm talking about some of the most significant David's bought. Do you remember the double, the double sided big, big round disc? Do you remember that one? Yeah. Do you remember the carved, the, the carved, uh, the carved tiger, tiger tooth? Yes. With the top part, cut, beautiful artwork. I'm talking about some of the most significant carvings we've ever seen in the world. What we have next blows them all away. And I really want you to recognize just how special this is. So there's a gem lab in Thailand called Lotus Gems, Lotus Gemology. It's run by Richard Hughes. And because it's based in the Far East, it has got more access than, say, the Gemological Institute of America or our own, uh, our own GMA in, 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 in Eastern Treasures, particularly Jade. And so one of the first writers in the English language to engage with Jade was Richard Hughes. And he wrote a groundbreaking piece called Jade, China's Gift to the world. And you can see that at its highest caliber, jadeite carvings are intricate and they're all the way through. They're moving around. There's lots of movement in them. That is the finest jade you can get. For Elle, I know that you used to have a very fine jadeite sculpture that had lots of movement there. That, sorry, very fine jade. That was nephrite when we talked about it. Mm -hmm. That was nephrite. But you, again, that sculpture of movement. Where did all, where did all of those ultra intricate carvings come from? I talked earlier on in the show about the Pekant Kowloon Suju J Triangle. Mind in Pekant. It gets traded in the rough at Kowloon, Hong Kong. And the very finest specimens make their way to Suzhou, mainland China, for carving by families that have been carving this material for centuries. Okay? This is, this is, a, this is a, a, one of the centers of jade carving in Suzhou. It's called the Jade Lodge. And it is home to one of those families that traces its tradition of jade carving through the Qing dynasty to the preceding Ming dynasty. That is you know, five, six hundred years of jade carving tradition in Suzhou. Wow. And, and it is, it is the cradle of Chinese jade carving. There is no greater center of excellence for Chinese jade carving carving. And to this day, it holds that, it holds that prestige. What is the highest ever jadeite piece? What is the highest ever jadeite piece sold? Here it is. Most valuable white jadeite ever achieved. It was uh, an imperial inscribed white jade seal. Belonged to the Qing dynasty. It fetched 18 million US dollars. Why? Because of the intricacy of the detail and, 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 and the critiques of this all mentioned about the fine detailing around the mouth where you could see teeth and then open spacing. Mm. That is a signature of Suju, that open spacing around the mouth there. And that is a big part of the reason why it achieved an 18 million, and it's Suju provenance, certified Suju material, why it achieved an 18 million dollar price point. Now, throughout China's interaction with the West, there are kind of two key trading periods in China's favor. One of them was the Roman era, when 
the Romans loved silk, but had no way of getting silk because all the world's silk was produced in China. And so they essentially just had to throw cartloads of gold, cartloads of silver at the Chinese to try and get hold of the silk they so demanded. There is another time when the very first few pieces of jadeite started to hit the West. And those of you who follow jewellery auctions know that this period of time is quite limited. It's the 19th century. Okay, it's really the opening up of, of, of those trade lanes in the 19th century. When people, visionaries like Cartier, Fabergé, these great design maisons, first introduced to the West just one or two pieces of jade. And what they swapped in return this time wasn't gold. What they took in return was lace from a very small village in France called Chantilly. And Chantilly lace mm. gave its name to the style Chantilly lace that we know of. But really, back then, it was much more of a, of, of a, a provenance in the 19th century. This idea of lace from Chantilly in France, it was like champagne is today mm -hmm. in, 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 in modern world. It wasn't something one could reproduce. The art was limited to the, uh, to, to the origin of Chantilly. What the Suzhou traders did, they swapped their greatest jade carvings for lace certified from Chantilly. And it inspired one of the first East-West fusion art forms. Over a hundred years ago, master craftsmen perfected Chantilly lace inspired jade carvings. Oh my goodness. Very fine detail, intricate, great use of negative space in there. Mm. The most delicate, intricate carvings Suzhou had ever mastered before, and they built in those floral motifs. That Chantilly lace became a that became a signature for Chantilly lace. In two thousand and eight, the Chinese government, just as jade was starting to be appreciated by little pockets of connoisseurship in the West, the Chinese government went, "Okay, the boat has really sailed already for stopping the pie carvings. You know, the big discs. Mm. They're out there. We can't." We can never pull that back. The boat has already sailed for the great big carvings. El, the kind of one that was in your family. Yeah. Can't pull that back. But the Chantilly sculptures, they have to stay. And in 2008, Beijing legislated to prevent those from leaving the Chinese mainland, and the legislation essentially said this is a national intrinsic treasure and had greater value as a result. Now, we've been bringing you jade well, here at Jewelry Maker for how many years? This is the first time anyone, not just here at Jewelry Maker, anyone, including our sister channel, Gems TV, and I believe it's the first time it's been seen on these shores, certified Suzhou Chantilly carvings. Wow. Are you ready? I'm going to show you the one pair I found at JCK first. The one pair I found at JCK first, okay? So have a look at what I saw at JCK. Have a look at what I saw at the JCK show because this is the kind of jewelry we're about to unlock for you. This is the kind of jewelry we're about to enable. You. You're gonna see this thing, I could never make something like this. This is the kind of jewelry we're about to unlock oh. for you.
And those of you who are struggling right now to look at the bottom left and you see a little price there. Comfortably five figure jewelry. That was your first glimpse of Chantilly. Suju Chantilly carvings. Let's show you now today's opportunity. This is unlike anything we've ever seen in the partnership. Take a look. Here they are in a presentation box. This is something else entirely. Wow. Take a look at these. Oh. Wow. Look at the, you can see the fleur de lis motif of that yeah. Chantilly inspiration. You can see those floral designs built into the carving right at the early doors. Ross, I'd like a 60 seconds on this as we talk our way through this. Look how you have those flower motifs built in there, inspired from the original 19th century Chantilly lace, those first few pieces, the Suju carvers interacted with you've got almost a, an, an abstract fleur de lis in some of those floral patterns it looks like it's taken inspiration from the palace of versailles itself and instead of making it in gold leaf the jadeite carvers have done it in solid wow. type a jadeite you've got 30 seconds till i open the phone lines on what i believe to be the first time this art form designated as a Chinese national intrinsic treasure to protect it, to keep the secrets of it. This is the first time this has ever been seen on these shores. If you've ever seen, correct me if I'm wrong, message in the studio, but I know of no other place in the UK, even Bond Street can't get access to this. And yep. your time to appreciate is over. <laughs> Ross, it is time for the first time in this country's history that we have certified Suju Chantilly carvings available on this show. You are getting a pair to enable you to create that design. A, both <coughs> of them in this one deal. <coughs> Excuse me. This is history in the making right now. Oh, my goodness me. I, 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 yeah, I mean, those literally with, again, that simple drop uh, shepherd hook. Earring with some flat uh, diamonds, if you like, drawing yeah. your item. So, That's so, the tens of thousands of pounds. So, Anson, ten, you, you saw you saw five figures comfortably. And hang on, that's trade, right? Huh? Trade. Yeah. They're trade. That's trade Those deal. Those prices are trade. That's a, that's a trade deal right there. That's so a trade deal right there. Imagine what they're going to be actually at full retail. And, and, and the diamond carrot weight, just for those of you who are interested, the diamond carrot weight from memory was about 1.05 carats. It was just a shade over a carat. Look, these are going already. Huge congratulations, Sonia, who's multi-bought. Congratulations to Susan, who's multi-bought. Susie is involved in this. Guest designer, yeah, Susie. Yeah, I don't blame Now, you. Susie, you're the jewellery maker, not me. So I'm not going to tell you what to do with these. But I will tell you what I have seen historically. I've seen these at a JCK. I saw that one pair where they're using this art form. They said it with diamonds. Do you remember Roland Schlussel that I told you about from Pillar and Stone? Mm -hmm. Now... Roland blew me away with his use of this material. So his lovely wife, Nata, uh, who, 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 who is from the Far East, Nata has done designs with this material. But she didn't go the diamond route. She went another route, which I actually personally preferred. She went and married this with coloured stones. Yeah. So she had, so she had, um, she had th th this with maybe a tanzanite. So can you imagine how you have that ice white... Bang, contrasting with, 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 with the blue of a tanzanite. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, she, she also has done similar things with rubellite. I fell in love with amethyst the rubellite. Well, Mandarin garnets, amethyst, yeah. you know, coloured stones with it. But you could just go as simple as just popping a silver, uh, you know, a gold, gold finding. Personally, I'd recommend gold. But if you want to go silver, that's okay. absolutely fine. You've got over an inch on the drop on these. Now, let me show, I want to just show you something. I want to show you the history makers. Okay, those who really, those who understand what we're looking at right now, these are the people who are making history. This is the first time I know of that this Suju Chantilly art form. Remember, the Chinese designated this. The Chinese government mandated this as a national intrinsic treasure. And they wrote, so Linda, first time this is in the UK that I know of. Linda, Leslie, Susan's treble ball. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not capping this. June, Patricia, Joyce, Linda, maybe I should, Linda got four of these. 
Uh, Birmingham, May Isla White, Maker, Ken got two. Christine, Sonia got two. Pamela, Susie, guess it's Susie's further down. Now, line of fate time. Here it is. Here's your line of fate. You're on the wrong side of it here. Now, I get it. You've got no idea where this might be going. That's fine. But I'm just telling you, you do really run the risk of missing out on this. Why is this material so valued? Why did the Chinese say the pie, which has got thousands of years yeah, of history, yeah. that can go out? Why did the Chinese say the carvings, which has got hundreds of years of history, mm -hmm. let them go? But the Chantilly carvings stay. Why did they say that? The reason is because of what you're not seeing. What you're seeing right now are the few pieces of jade that made it. Look at all that intricate detail. Now, we know jade is a very hard gemstone. And when you have a very hard gemstone, it doesn't give. It's unforgiving. So every time they're, every time they're piercing a hole through that jadeite, Every little bit of detail you're seeing there in the black of the background colour is a risk. Yeah. It's a leap of faith. And at any one of them, any one of them, we could lose it. Oh, gosh, can you imagine? And so these pieces of art are so rare within the Chinese, even within the Chinese jade markets. Think about all the times we show you, this is what's happening in the Chinese auctions, this is what's happening here. Think of all those times we do that. When do you ever see designs like this? That's why the one or two pieces that do make it to the West, you're looking at five figures. Now, I'm not going to ask you for five figures, but I'm going to stick £5,000 on screen and say it represents good value. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Oh, imagine these and would it be would it would it be entirely decadent to talk about lariats? Yeah. Well, these are oh, imagine. There, there is nothing. There is nothing that is too opulent for these. Oh, you get both. That's incredible. A pair of Suju Chantilly, Chantilly carvings. There are, there are certain things in this world you shouldn't... You should, well, if you can get a chance to get a pair, you do. A pair of Ming Dynasty vases. <laughs> a, a pair of King Dynasty carvings. And a pair of Suju Chantilly portraits. Let me show you one more time at JCK. This was 48 hours ago from a third-generation Chinese-American jewellery house the only example they had of this type of carving. Same grade of material, you can see that there. Same quality of carving, you can see that there. This is the only material they had of this kind of quality. And the price, wholesale, was over $10,000. Wholesale? Wholesale. So that's why I say £5,000 is good value for this. Ross, I'm not going to mess around on this deal of the day. I'm going to do one crash. One crash only. What I'd like us to do, I want to share... A deal of the day sting. I want to show how to get involved sting. It's so unfair if someone doesn't know how to get involved right now and they're about to miss out on their own moment in Jadeite history. The only Suju Chantilly portraits in solid Jadeite. You have got a tremendous crash for your deal of the day coming up. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Deal of the day. But more than that, a deal, a historic deal. Yeah. A deal for the trade, for the industry. The first time in this country I am aware of Suju Chantilly portraits enter the retail space. Let's have a 60 second clock until we bring you your crash. We know in the trade they're looking at this, add some diamonds, add some gold, and it pushes it over $10,000. Yeah. So I think 5,000 is around about a fair trade price for this. You got 50 seconds to go until we act on this huge moment. I want to say well done to Olga, Jane, Isabel, Geraldine, and so many more. You've secured it. You haven't got to worry about missing out on this one. You have your moment in history. What are you going to do? Message in. Let me know. Are you going to put a shepherd hook finding on this? Are you going to put a little space of colored gemstone in here like Nata did of, 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 of pillar and stone? Are you actually just going to put these in presentation boxes and keep them for ornamental value? Yeah. Let me know what you're going to do with these. This is your show. I want to hear from you because this is a huge moment in the history of Jewelry Maker. I've not even shared this, this, this material with our sister channel, Gems. So the only, type, the only people who are going to have jewelry like this are you and it's the jewelry you make at home. Are you ready to take that leap? Are you ready to take that step? Are you ready to make something of huge importance and value? Ross, a lot of people right now, I think in 999, maybe 499. I know when we talk to our sales management team, they felt it was £299 for the pair. It was extraordinary value for money. Yeah. The most intricate and delicate, the most historic carving we've ever brought you. £99.99. Under £100 for the pair. Jake, that's 50... Uh, like, uh, something springs to mind right now. Yeah. People in glass houses and all that. That's 50 pounds. That is 50 pounds per portrait. Per Chantilly. Per, carved in Suzhou. Work of art. Chinese government designated this 14 <laughs> years oh ago. Oh my goodness me. As, and I quote, this is what the law says in China on this material. This is how they went about trying to protect it. They called it a national intrinsic treasure. A national intrinsic treasure is what they called it. Carved by the same families as those who carved the imperial seal, the most valuable white jade ever to hit the auction houses. It, 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 from Suju to you right now for, 40, for 50 pounds That's per Chantilly portrait. This is the, the provenance, the art form, this is unprecedented in UK gemstone history. Oh my goodness me. The drop on these, by the way, well over an inch. So you are making sizable jewelry. You could make them earrings. If you wanted to go a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more conservative, you could, uh, you could make a pendant out of these yeah. as well. They'd be sizable pendants. Uh, on this. I think a lot of people are buying two of these because they want the option, you know, what you could probably, I imagine what you could do with something like this is buy two. Make a pair of earrings, make a pendant, you're still going to have a leftover piece and then just put that into an auction. Wouldn't that, yeah, 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 totally. That's that, You'll I'd, probably pay for your whole piece of jewellery just from that one. I'd be lying if that thought hadn't crossed my mind. Um, yeah. yeah, absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, so simple to actually make those that, you know, that, that Christie's, Sotheby's uh, um, style of auction, you know, that, that's incredible, absolutely incredible. 30 carats, and that's 30, gosh, goodness me, considering you've actually, uh, um, considering, you know, how wasteful a cut like this would actually be as well. well you're, pay you're, you're paying, you're paying for what, what you're you not don't getting. have. You're paying for what you're not getting. You're paying yeah. for the detail of all that negative space. But perhaps more importantly, you're paying right now for the pieces that didn't make it. 
Because that's what has to happen. That's true. That's what has, the cutting, the, you know, the sculpting lodge has to has to find a way. They have to build that in. That's why this is some of the most valuable material on the planet. Because every single one of those little pieces of detail is a risk. Every single one of those pieces, little pieces of detail is a moment for it all to go wrong. And thank goodness it's not. Now you've got the finished piece. You've got the finished carving. Mm. You've got something that is truly, truly irreplaceable. How beautiful. How incredible. I need to get some of these. I want to get some of these as well. Are there apps if I get a chance? Ross, I am not finished here. Oh. I am not finished here. A pearl and jadeite rope. Wow. With these at each end would be amazing. Yes. Do you know what? I was, I was very keen to sell this out in this show, but actually I've just had a thought what I really probably should do. The first thing I probably should do is actually leave these here at 99.99, then give the rest to Susie for a show to do exactly that pearl, that pearl, and, that pearl and carving design. Susie and I spoke, I know what design she's talking about there a while ago, and we, we, we had, she loves pearls as well, obviously, and I, I spoke about a design that I'd come across and it was literally not, not a, a whole 360, it was almost like a scarf. Wow. So, and you sort of wrap it around. So now imagine, like Susie said, a length Those, of pearls the with these two at the end. How beautiful that would be. I'm going to do one more crash and then anything that's remaining, Susie can do that as a masterclass. Oh, yeah. I don't know if there's going to be anything remaining. I, I, I don't want to get Susie too excited about <laughs> yeah. that prospect but also if you are going to be watching Susie's just doubled her order by the way based off what the fact that we are we are going for another crash on this one happy at 99.99 but there's Susie again who's just doubled her order picking up two of these the first time we've ever brought this Suzu Chantilly portrait style Ross I'm not talking a pound or two I'm not talking a pound or two This is going to be significant. Take a look at your names one more time. Every single one of those is a huge amount of money coming back to you. Sonia, Sonia, I'm just going to give you a little clue, Sonia. Sonia, you're happy picking up four of these. That's £400. You're going to want another one. You are going to want another one. I'm just going to give you that little clue. Ross, £79.99. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. That's 20 pounds back to every single person someone like linda who spent 400 pounds for four linda quickly call the contact center get them to add another one i remember everyone pays the Thanks. final closing price on this linda if you do that that 400 pounds is now getting you five that's incredible you get isn't another it? two for free essentially that linda is. huge well done and sonia has actually just done that sonia's done she had four she's just gone up to five look there it is 79.99 you need to stock up on these especially if you want to follow susie's inspiration you know, we will try and do that where Susie gets a long rope of pearls, ha get some of these, stick them on the end, uh, and does that design almost like a scarf of gorgeous. pearls and jade. It's really gorgeous. We had something like this in the studio once upon a time, but no, obviously not, not with the Chantilly uh, carving. There are 27 of these left. Absolutely beautiful. Which is a real significant moment because I had 127 pairs. I remember exactly how many of these portraits were able to secure. Yeah. 154. That was all we're able to secure. Wow, and they're all going today in this one auction. They are all going today in this one auction. Yeah, um, well done, everybody. They're absolutely beautiful. The intricacy. Yeah. I've never... I, I, I don't believe this level of detail has ever been witnessed in the UK market before. And you spoke about this earlier on, didn't you? Yeah. You know, we're certain, but it is very much about, you know, the, 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 the quality of the carving. 100%. As well as the value of the uh, gemstones. The quality of the carving is why the Chinese government, in 2008, they moved to protect it. They moved to almost try and keep it in the country. And, and the way they did that is by enacting a piece of legislation that essentially labelled this art form as a national, not international, national intrinsic treasure. Wow. Amazing. True. Huge, huge well done. Every single collector, every single con every single portfolio builder, those of you who are crafting jewellery, you are now atelier standards of jewellers working yeah. with this. Amazing, amazing. Um, there's only six left. 
Only six of these left. Let me show you who's Let missing out. Point out as well that you were saying quantities like fours and fives, and that's that's. So that means Olga, who got five, yeah. you've actually, you're actually getting ten because I mean, they're pairs, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I, I will say Olga, something like that, a collection of ten. You probably could go yeah. to an auction house with them all in a nice presentation box and just offer it to an auction house just as it is. Um, yeah. We've got how many chances left? Sorry, I can't see the five. Five. Okay, this is everyone who's trying to get hold of it. Yeah. This is everyone who's trying to get hold of this right now. So you tell me how five works there, because I don't know. Yeah. You've got to be checking out. Absolutely. Especially when Olga's picked up five. I'd, I'd be doing the same as Olga, for sure. Oh, absolutely it's a historic beautiful. moment. Huge congratulations, every single person who's got involved there. Amazing, amazing. Down to the final three. Get these homes and uh, you will... I mean, they look amazing on our screens right now. But when you see them in person, you really, really appreciate the detail. I want to say huge well done. Huge thank you to everyone who's joined us for this Jade JCK edit show. It's been so historic, featuring the Zodiac carvings, featuring the news from JCK, featuring the Suju Chantilly portraits. Huge well done, every single person who was successful. I'm honest, I'm over the moon for you. So thank you so much. Thank you, Al. Thank you. Not so much thank you to Ross for some of his antics today, <laughs> but I'm sure, I'm sure on your behalf I can say thank you to Ross. Uh, and, uh, and of course, that's it from me today, but uh, you've got some more deals coming up very shortly and I'll hopefully see you very soon. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay.
makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. this morning gone it's been absolutely amazing huge huge heartfelt congratulations to every single one of you that has managed to secure some of your beautiful jadeite this morning um now we've got literally about 15 minutes to bring you some last minute clearance so what we thought was okay let's bring you some of your absolute essentials goodies that you know you're going to need um, to go alongside your fine amazing gemstones to create your fabulous earrings or your beautiful necklaces um, absolute clearance deals so i'm going to race through some findings packs you know what to do if you're a little bit light on your essentials you know when you go and do your food shop um you don't miss out on some of your like your milks your breads your butters those kind of things these are clearance deals so what that basically means for you guys at home that basically we might not be recommissioning this exact findings pack so they might be we'll do findings obviously but there might be a certain uh, alteration to maybe a design of your toggle clasp or your shepherd hook or your magnetic clasp whichever it might be anyway we have got quantity within the vault and we intend to clear those locations within the vault as well now this is a pack of 17 pieces which is inclusive yeah of a magnetic clasp now these aren't base metal that's gold plated 925 sterling silver. Now, hang on, Roscoe, when you say clearance, 200 available, right? Show me the should be price. Yeah, makes sense, about a pound per component. That's really good, really good. I launched the magnetic clasp. Remember that conversation we had not so long ago? I launched the magnetic clasp on what was our US channel and it wasn't far off the price that you're seeing right now. That's a single magnetic clasp. Now you're getting your shepherd hooks, you're getting your toggles, you're getting your jump rings, your crimps, your crimp covers and your head pins. 200 quantity, massive clearance deal now let's give you a 60 second countdown that's your call to action jewelry makers go on give me a little heads up roscoe really yeah okay uh, okay um um we're absolutely on your side everybody at home i'm going to tell you this is a little bit of a hint see that there we've sold it at prices that we're going to take this entire entire findings pack we've actually bought for that one individual magnetic class. So you'll get an incredible deal for gold-plated 925 sterling silver. Uh, for your toggles as well, definitely a stock up your stash, one of those amazing moments. Now we've got 200, so it's not a case of we've only got a handful of them. 200 is plenty, frankly. It's, a, it's another big auction. It doesn't quite justify the fact that we, we you know, we're gonna do a clearance deal. Hey ho. It's what was uh, decided upon by the management, and who am I to argue with that management team? When we said clearance, a necessity. I think you're paying for your magnetic clasp, and you're going to get the entire 17 piece findings pack, or the remainder, for free. Do we all agree? Because I've launched a magnetic clasp for more than what's on your screens in the past. You are getting the entire, entire lot, all gold-plated 925 sterling silver. 17 pieces, there were 200 of these available. Technically, that's not really a clearance quantity, but you know, 
um, we're amongst friends right now. Well done. Make sure you check out. And again, you're not limited on quantities. If you want to stock up with twos, threes, fours, five, sixes, why on earth not? At that kind of price point, it'd be it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Just. Um, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the uh, of a magnetic clasp, but I just think they're so revolutionary. Obviously, if you do have a pacemaker then obviously you're going to need to um, avoid that however revolutionary in your jewelry wear because check a little look we've got to do it every single time that we actually have a magnetic clasp on our screens there we go it is that simple and you are guaranteed to have that perfect perfect finish that almost replicating then an eight millimeter uh, bead. Well done, everybody. Hello, Jalanta, Alan, Diana, Jenny, Lynn, Hilda, Barbara. Hello, Cheshire, Michelle, Lisa, Marie. Hello to you, Kathleen, Cynthia, Lincolnshire, Jill, Alberta, Jean, Ria. New customer, Sharon, Angela, Jenny, Tracy, Sterlingshire. Hello to you, new customer, Hazel, Pauline in Cornwall as well. Um, well done. Again, you're not restricted. If you want to get multiple quantities of these, you absolutely can. Um, so many of us, whenever we actually have, I, I know I'm very much focusing on the magnetic clasp and perhaps I shouldn't because all the other uh, findings are absolutely beautiful as well. But the reason I'm doing that is because that's £10. Surely that would be a £10 price point. But you're getting everything else for free. Everything else. But so many of us all talk about, and I think it was lovely, Susie, we've spoken about um, a, a lot today, haven't, haven't we, with Jake? But we were both having the conversation alongside pearls. A magnetic class just seem, seems to be that seamless finish. You know, all of a sudden you haven't got something which massively uh, uh, um, breaks up the design. It has that wonderful fluidity, um, especially if they are circa, uh, sort of round uh, pearls also. £9.75 pence only. Jean, you've got four. Well done to you, Jill. Sharon, hello to you, Manchester. Uh, keep on dialing through, everybody. Right, stay where you are, because I've got more clearance deals to bring you, including... Um, okay, little swap -a -rooney. The rose gold earrings? What do you mean? I've got three pots. I'm, I'm confused. Okay. Oh, I got, uh, yeah, I got that. Here he is. Here we go. I've got it. One, two. These are earrings. Shepherd hooks. Slightly different findings pack. This is one of our, you know, very much, I would class this as contemporary, quite contemporary in its design. There's all your shepherd hooks just there. You know, it's um, a finding pack like this. You can see that's half of the design, isn't it? Straight away, immediately you've got half of the design um, because you could just literally suspend a gemstone from your hoops. Likewise, with that gorgeous marquise-like shape, we're even providing you with this opportunity. Um, we're even providing you uh, with the actual uh, jump rings as well, uh, <laughs> plus your chef and hooks too. So I know there's no pleasing me, is there? Sorry, Adam's like, Elle's saying she's cold. It is bitterly cold in here. I'm always the first person to complain when the air conditioning's not working um, because, yeah, I don't like it all hot in the studio, but all of a sudden it's Baltic. $9.99 for all of these. So straight away, that's one, two, three, four pairs of earrings. And look, you've even got the, uh, the head pins to create that. That's a brand new low. Ooh, even lower again. Yes, they are rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. One, two, three, four pairs of luxury earrings, potentially, unless you start looking at these as maybe, uh, as maybe, I don't know, pendant bales or something like that. Plus you're getting the rose gold uh, head pins there. Six pounds and 45 pence. How many do we have though, Roscoe? There are a hundred of these available. Um, we're going to be bringing you the yellow gold uh, variety of these immediately after as well. So um, make sure you're ready if that's the colour that you're looking for within this finding packet. And it does, it's half the design done for you, isn't it? You know, sometimes when you just want to make something really quick, really, um, you know, really quick and simple, they'd be perfect with your Chantilly Jades. Absolutely. Um, or any, actually, and your putty cats and your piggies. 
all of the beautiful and angel lotus flowers all of the type a jadeites that we've bought you this morning stroke this afternoon i think they would be perfect and it would be almost criminal to put anything other than precious metal with the likes of uh, uh likes of your uh your jadeite particularly i have to say um with that with that level of carving six pounds and 45 pence only there are a hundred of these available again the yellow gold um is coming in a few moments time do make sure you check out your baskets i can't yet see See you make sure you check out your baskets on that let's bring you the yellow gold and we're gonna match that price tag there you go I've said it I've said it go 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 there's a hundred of these available very contemporary aren't they a little bit Monica Veneda I think so you could say Monica Veneda oh oh hang on a minute am I meant to have jump rings Oh, that one didn't have jump rings, but, oh yeah, you do, you do get the jump rings, there we go. Um, so, yellow gold plated, 925 sterling silver, again, your hoops, you've got your marquees, you get two pairs of your, uh, of your classic shepherd hook as well, and then your jump rings and head pins just there. We've matched that price tag for you, Sarah, Cheryl, hello to you, Marie, Linda, Sharon, Kathleen, Gloucestershire, uh, <coughs> Devon, Hello to you, Janet, Elaine, uh, Tamina, nice to see you as well this afternoon. I hope you're all well. Helen and Jill, make sure you check out your baskets. It might well be a case of we're just not recommissioning this particular um, findings pack. So, I don't know. Um, it's a case of maybe clear that location within the vault and do it at, 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 at such an irrepeatable price tag. I mean, I don't think you could buy many simple... Even if it were like pairs of earrings, because they are so contemporary, buying those individually, I think that'd be, that's quite a good deal. But all of these you're actually getting as well. Pack of 16, uh, well done. Check out those baskets. Now we are running out of time within this uh, 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 today's show. Um, let's do some butterfly backs. Something really secure. So um, it's all down to personal preference, but... Um, if uh, you know a butterfly back so effectively they're like a stud really secure so you're less likely to have any earrings sort of topple forward um <clears throat> they are you know let me show you that way so you've got all your pairs of studs and then you've got the corresponding butterfly as well butterfly back so in total number of pairs that you're getting here 10 pairs so 10 of what i'm showing you just now 10 of those you also have that really clever little loop at the bottom which means that you can then obviously attach uh, attach your head pins or your gemstones or you could weave onto those your tassels I'm thinking back to our lovely Debbie's um, our, our lovely Debbie's kit hour now this is a previous closing price uh, 16 pounds and 99 pence Ten pairs, Ross. Are you still all rogue, you know? He's all brave now, Jake's gone. <laughs> you broke Jade. Uh, Jade, sorry. You broke Jake. Today, Ross. You did. Broken. Four pounds and 99 pence, that's for 10 pairs. If you don't want to turn these into waterfall style earrings or drop style earrings or just turn them into studs, literally just cut away that little uh, little jump ring there. Because if I show it to you that way, look, let me just, there we go. They're really beautiful little stud earrings too, even without that loop. But again, imagine waterfall designs. I'm thinking back to the, uh, to the wall of fame that we had earlier on. Maybe beautiful cascades of those garnets that were in the eight o'clock hour, um, <clears throat> mixed with some beautiful seed pearls. How many do we have of these then? We had 200 available. Also, peace of mind. 
because this might sound the most mundane thing, but it's a really good uh, point to, 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 you know, to appreciate as jewellery wearers. If you look at the actual post, look, and, and just guide your eye in, can you see there's a very, very, very gentle divot? That is like a key in the door. It gives you absolute peace of mind and security, and that's what you feel click. That's where you know you've got safe jewellery. Keep on dialing through and checking out on your, um, on your earrings, and well done, every single one of you. What an amazing show it has been from start to finish with the lovely Debbie, and then, of course, wonderful, wonderful Jay. Congratulations, everyone. I'm back with you now bright and early in the morning and I'm going to be joined by Claire, lovely Claire McDonald, who I've seen literally wandering around the corridors somewhere. Have a fabulous afternoon. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow.